White boy Godzilla. Well, thank you for coming in. I hope you're good. Hello, everyone. Hi, Monster. Uh, Smoky Leg. Thank you for the resubs. Uh, thank you very much indeed. I hope you're good. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm glad my ancestors. I'm glad my ancestors left England. I can't even say ancestors. If uh, if, if whatever floats your boat, just if yes. It's lovely here, you know. It, it's so nice. The weather is perfect in England right now. It, it couldn't be happy. It's actually not bad. Six six Celsius and a bit windy today. Lovely it is. Lovely. <laughs> uh, hi, Miss V. How you doing? Hello, Dan from Cambodia. I'm... The meaning of life, the universe, and everything. We're going to get an azalea, which makes Cambodia look like Kansas. 
<laughs> Antithesis, yeah, that as well. <laughs> it's cold and wet in Manchester. It's always cold and wet in Manchester, McFisto. That's kind of its thing, isn't it? Trucker, hello from Suffolk. Also hello from Suffolk. I hope you're good, dude. I missed the stream yesterday. How did you find the new map? It was good, actually. If you get the chance and you're bored, the first half of yesterday's stream was really good. We had a good run. We teamed up with a dude. It was fun. We teamed up with a rando. We had a, a fun little life. I managed to avenge him. All good. Hey, Wilson, dude. You right, man? Somerset, eh? All right, er. Funny comment here. Error 403. Forbidden score goal. Well, that funny comment. Mitchie, dude, thanks very much. I hope you're well. Socially awkward, socially awkward gamer. Prometheus. The meaning of the life, of life, the universe, and everything. Ah, 42. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Right, I'm just joining the server. We ain't fucking about today. Cold in Clacton. I should imagine. Mozart, apologies Time for putting a damper on so living fast. in Clacton. But I feel like Clacton in December must be a really depressing place. I could be wrong. And it could be worse. It could be J Week, right? <laughs> <laughs> but like, like coastal seaside towns in December must be quite depressing, right? Could be wrong. It might be the, like the best place to be ever. But... Boom, boom. The server is currently locked. Just went down for a restart. Let's have a look. Don't know what's going on. It says it's got people in it, but... Oh no, it's gone down for a reason. Cold and wet in Liverpool. Yeah. Hi, wasted dude. I can see someone saying hello. Liverpool, one of the only teams to handle Villa this year. I have them beating Arsenal. I hope they do. Arsenal need to pick him back, don't they? If someone can beat Arsenal and Liverpool can win, then uh, that sounds like a, a good recipe for a Liverpool fan. Stay humble, Paul. Much love and massively well done on Sunday. Do, 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 do. Stay humble. Well, I might start saying I have an average side penis at some point. I might start picking it up, you know. Glorious and Jaywick this morning. Ooh. I we we parked the dog the car. At the, there's a car park around, just around Jaywick where you, where you can just like walk straight to the beach where you're allowed to walk the dogs. We had to part, part a load of uh, like just discarded cans of beer and bottles of beer that were like all broken and shit on the floor. Had to kind of like scuff them out the way to get down the steps to get on the beach. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I, I haven't seen it, Belly, but Trent's been playing pretty well lately, to be honest. I don't know if he played well yesterday or not, I really don't, but he has been playing pretty well lately. Park the car to walk the dog, yeah. We didn't park the dog, really, no. Yeah, I was. I would try to watch the foosball yesterday, and then I ended up in Tesco's instead. I've entered the play area. Whoa, coming into my play area, love. It's beautiful. Oh. Right, hang on. Let me turn that music off. Do, 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 do. Right, the music's off now. We've started now. Helicopter crash site. I'm just going to go straight for the heli then. We might be the first ones at it. Let's go. I think that's where the heli was yesterday. Is there a ball pit in the play area? Well, I don't know if it's a pit or not, but there are two balls, yes. Some people only have one. I think Hitler only had one ball. Oh, Belly, I see. Did he Did he do a bit of a reveal, Belly? Interesting. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I'm sure that probably didn't make it on the match of the day highlights, I'd imagine, from the way, you, the way it's just been sounded. The way it's just been described, even. Oh, I see. God, look at that. It popped up on my phone and everything. Oh, he's showing a bit of plumber's builder's ass, is he? It worked. They scored. That's a new technique. I like that away kit. I've not seen that away kit before. 
purple away kit. That's all right. I, I'd, I reckon I'd look good in purple. This map, new map, real. Is it real? How do you mean, is it real? Well, there's a guy cooking there, look. Oh, shit. I'm not sure if the heli was on top of the hill or if it was, like, down here. Oh, it's there, it's there. It's the where it was yesterday. How would it shape my ass crack? Uh, I don't have much of an ass crack. My, I've got a very flat ass, a little bit like a rhino's. <laughs> oh shit! Now I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm probably going to die. I've got no water. I've got no. I, I, I wasn't a new spawn when I started today, and I hadn't really realised. So uh, yeah, I think we've done fucked up here. Oh well. Uh, hello, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Savage Goon, thank you for the gifted subs as well. Cooler King, Adam, Jeff. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you very, very much. I am absolutely fucked here. I've really made a mistake. End it on my own terms. Exactly. Take the heli loot, go and hide it in a bush, and then die. might be able to get up the hill up there. There was some kind of thing up there. We might go to that. This sucks. I re I'd forgotten. We went to the castle just before I switched servers. I'm in deep shit. One of us is in deep trouble. Please have no zombies. I'm finding the... Uh, Finding the lip smacking more annoying today for some reason. I'm not going to ref eleven, adult. I'm going to I'm going to loot the heli. There could be a can of food at the heli. There could easily be a can of food. There's one zombie. That's kind of lucky. And then if I can I can make it up that hill, I might there might be a well up there. You never know. Step in a Christmas. Hi Holly. Hi Mowgli as well. Hope you're good. Hey Daniel, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. There might be a can of food here, you never know. The zombie might have a can of tuna on him. Let's just hope it's not a can of sardines. I hate when it Heli. Oh, it's really shit. All right, let's go up here. Sometimes you get like a. We could even get a Zagorki bar. That would help. Look at that smoke. It looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> Can't eat fucking shells, can you? Can't eat shotgun shells. It takes 10 minutes to die of st hunger and thirst. If you're dying of both, you're in deep shit. There might be a well up here. If not, I'll probably just chuck myself off. Hey, TMZ, are you okay? I'm good. Yeah, I'm pretty good, dude. I'm alright. I've been for a walk round to me, uh, me mum's this morning. So I've been and been see me mum. Not done a great deal. I don't know why I picked that up. Ah, oh, done goofed here. Maybe there'll be a well. If I was going to build a well, I'd definitely pick the top of the mountain, because that's that's where all the water would be stored, right at the very top. What's the weather like for you? Uh, kind of not that cold, 6 degrees Celsius, but it's windy, so it feels colder than it is. Like a camel's hump, yeah. Hi pop server Marius. No, I don't play on high pop servers. 
I play on empty servers and then I uh, I get the mods in. The, the mods come in and uh, try to RP with me. That's why everyone I meet is so boring. <laughs> I always play on hype up servers too. Military. Woot. I've never been up here. That is something that is a slight issue on this map. It's partly my own fault because I know it and I've still made the mistake, but around where you spawn, there aren't many places Happy to find food. Month, brother, almost to four years mark. Sailing would be useful. I tell you what, there could be food in here, couldn't there? That's good. That will help. That will stop me dying for a little while. Tea biscuit. Happy forty third inning, dude. Thank you, Syx. Thank you very much for the support as well. to get hit by these. Yeah, a saline bag and a start kit would be pretty useful, actually. I take that. We might make a friend. Crazy friend! That didn't last long, did it? I think a lab coat would be uh, would be warmer. Look at that. I'm I'm going camo now. I just need to find a polar bear to stand next to, and then I'll be fine. There is some water in there. Come on, give me a can of tuna. Dan, holy shit, dude. Thank you very, very much. 50 gifted subbinings on YouTube. Holy shit, dude. Thank you very much. That's insane. I think that's the biggest uh, membership gifting we've ever had. I've only been streaming a month, but nonetheless, that's insanely high, dude. Thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate that, man. Fucking hell, it's going to take YouTube about half an hour to work out what to do there. Thank you very much, Dan. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I reckon I'm going to get deaded in here. All right, that'll be okay if I find an animal. Hi, Clive Turkey. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Dan, thank you very much. That's really, really cool, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Oh, look, plate carrier. That helmet's probably better than the one I've got. Oh god, I couldn't afford that, really. I opened the door, and as I opened the door, I opened my inventory, and I thought the dude... I've, that happened to me. That's the third time ever. But as I opened the door, I thought he was standing in the door. <laughs> that was fucking scared me a bit. My own dude in my inventory scared me again. That's the third time that's ever happened. <laughs> I thought I was about to get killed by me. <laughs> uh, that's That's kind of stupid, right? But there we are. Rewinder, dude, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Dan, thank you again, dude. I, I saw you... That, that was Dan from Cambodia, right? Oh, 
a simple fishing rod. That could be a pretty useful thing. There's two. Simple fishing rod could be useful. I've got a hook. If we go down to the water, we can just... Uh, we can survive. We can thrive with that fishing rod. I've got a knife. I've even got the ability to uh, make fire. Hope today's running sim goes well. Much love. Thank you, dude. The last few streams have been really good, I think, you know. Certainly, uh, the second half of the one with Sour and Muller was amazing. Yesterday's was really, really good. The one last week on Winter Chernerus was absolutely cracking. I might carry on the Winter Chernerus character later today, but... I feel like there should be a well up here. It's all good, Hot Mayo. I hope you're good, dude. Anything nice for food? I've just had a jacket potato with uh, cheese and beans. It was alright. <laughs> I really enjoyed the 15 minute team up with me. I agree, it was great. Just the right amount of OG, I'd say. <laughs> It was a bit shit, actually. I, I, it is what it is. Sometimes he does stop a bit early, you know. But uh, and I started on time as such. I wanted to try and get earlier, but I was on time. I was I, well, I was slightly earlier than my time. United 2 to 1 yesterday happy days still don't think we will get top 4 hope you're well they are considering how much they seem under a cloud like I, I know this is a silly thing to say but I feel like Ten Hag is one of the most at risk managers for the sack and, and maybe I'm wrong but but they are creeping you know they're still getting points you know they're just not doing well well enough for United but they they're not doing terribly in the table you know they're, they're what are they fifth like the way I'm kind of thinking about United, you'd think they were like 12th or 13th or something. <sighs> yeah, City losing to Villa. That's four games without a win in a row for Villa. That's the worst run they've had under Guardiola. Equal worst, I think. Four games without a win, that, that's a hell of a thing, isn't it? And yeah, you're right, City didn't just lose, they were absolutely beaten out of sight. Villa, Villa, the stats for that game, Villa absolutely bossed it, you know, they, they got a lucky goal, but they were unlucky not to already be well away with it, you know? I think this has been looted fairly recently based on the, uh, the crap loot we're getting. Hate that it does that. Kind of makes sense that it does that, but nonetheless. I wanted some rags. But... I think the biggest miss, I, they, they are missing De Bruyne, but Rodri was missing yesterday. Rodri is about their most important player, I think. This is more like third-hand information, you know, from, from like listening to the radio more so than watching the games. But Rodri was missing yesterday. How shit must it be for uh, Calvin Phillips? Right, like Rodri's injured. He's not even in the squad. I don't know if he's injured. Maybe he's injured. But Calvin Phillips can't even get on the subs bench. Dan, holy shit, dude. Fucking hell. Steady on, Dan, from Cambodia, okay? I'll be here next week as well, dude. That's incredibly kind, man. Holy shit. I think Calvin Phillips is a good player. I think he's incredibly unlucky. Not He just... Clearly, Pep just doesn't fancy him. He doesn't think he's the right player for his team, but he was right at Leeds. He was a good player. He, 
There's a reason why City signed him, and it wasn't because he was shit. Dan, dude, holy shit, man. Thank you so much for the, uh... The, uh, the gifted sub... Or the gifted membership bomb, I should say. Let's get the terminology right. Yeah, I thought if I were Calvin Phillips, I'd be a bit pissed off. I think that's fair enough, you know. They signed him. He doesn't even get a fucking chance. He's not got. He's not really had a chance since they signed him, you know. What did they sign him for? They knew who he was when they signed him, you know. He's not like he's a different player, right? It's a bit hard. Klopp would turn him around. Well, Klopp would have to turn him around. Klopp doesn't have the luxury of being able to buy someone and then not even need him, you know. Like, I, I think Pep Guardiola is probably the best manager in the Premier League, but he's also... If you use poker terminology, he always 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 gets the best cards, you know. So he might not be, you know. It might it might be uh, Emery is the best manager in the Premier League. Look what he's doing at Villa, you know. But it, Guardiola always gets the best cards to play with, you know. And sometimes uh, sometimes that's all you need. <laughs> uh. Hi, Burrow. Thank you very much for the Prime. That's really, really kind. Thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate it. Dan, thank you very much as well. I, need, I guess if you've got a Rolls-Royce, you put premium petrol in, right? And and Guardiola's a Rolls-Royce manager. He's only ever had premium petrol, you know? He's been at the best club in Spain when they were when they had the best players by a mile. He's been in the best club in Germany when they had the best players in the league by a mile. He's been at the best club in the UK when they had the best players in the by a mile, you know, like... He's never once had to do anything like what Klopp has done, or even like Alex Ferguson, you know, like... When C he started at United, he, he didn't just get a blank check and the best team, you know? It's analogy day. I, those, those two analogies work pretty well, though. <laughs> Tesla, Ted Lasso, I still haven't watched Ted Lasso. I can I'm pleased to report though that me and the missus last night watched Bad Center on uh, on uh, Now TV. So I, we'd never watched it and someone pointed out to me that it was available to watch and I hadn't seen it. I didn't realize. So we sat and watched Bad Center. I'd never seen it before and it's something I'd meant to watch for a long time. Uh, I have to say I, I, it was it was a difficult first 15 minutes while I got into it, but it's really fucking funny. There's some bits in that. My missus was fucking crying, creasing up, laughing at it. It was, it was properly good. You, you can eat one rotten mushroom. That'll help a little bit. I could do with being warmer. I wish I was a little bit warmer. Those mushrooms never look the freshest, no. They don't, do they? Right, I'm going to go to that Millie base next. Maybe we'll find ourselves a can of tack backers. Holy shit, did you see that? I don't know maybe whether I should have this bright white jacket on anymore. Yeah, the film is good. I like, I have to say, I quite like Bad Santa. What I like about it is that, my missus made this point, but you actually really don't like the main character. It's quite rare that you kind of detest to some extent. Uh, like, there's no endearing feature about Bad Santa, about Billy Bob Thornton's character at all. You don't like him whatsoever. And you're not meant to. But it's quite rare that you watch a film where the main character is horrendous. And the film is still good. Azalea's new King Paul. Yeah, there's been a few tests of it, but it's it's like on in a test phase now, so it's only open for a short while, uh, and then it'll close, have some more development, and then open up again later. Yeah, he's not exactly got a lot of charisma, and he's such an unlikable guy as well. But even even like other people in it, like the boy that he kind of befriends, you know. The boy spends half of the fucking film with, like, snot pouring out of his nose and, like, encrusted onto his face, you know. 
there are elements of it that are tough to watch, you know? It's, it's a tough watch. It's almost meant to be. It's like a... It's like intentionally shocking in a way. And... But nonetheless, despite it being a tough watch, it's fucking hilarious in places. Jambon, yeah, OG handed me an azalea thing that was poison yesterday, so I, I did see one. King Paul, it's quite small right now. It's going to be bigger in the long run. It's five, it's five square kilometres right now, which is quite small. Uh, I think it's five square anyway, but it's going to be bigger in the long run. It's smaller right now. That's really handy, actually. That's a really good thing to find. Billy Bob Thornton is a pretty good actor, yeah. You should watch Bad Santa 2. I probably will watch it at some point. It has much lower uh, scores on like the review sites than the first one, but that doesn't mean it's uh, not worth watching. I may well give it a try at some point. But the first one was great. Some of the dialogue, you know, like... Some of the dialogue uh, between the elf and Bad Santa and the elf and Bernie Mac, R.I.P. Bernie Mac, uh, like, like Bernie Mac's character in it is fucking hilarious. <sighs> yeah, it, it, the reviews sort of highlight the first one's way better than the second. Bad Santa 2 is no bueno. Mm. Yeah, uh, Chimney... Uh, OG told me about the crossbows yesterday. The thing is, if you can poison them, right? If you shoot somebody with a crossbow bolt, they normally die anyway. Unless you're unlucky. I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's weird. Dan, holy fucking hell, dude. Steady on. <laughs> holy shit, man. There ain't going to be enough viewers to receive the, the memberships, dude. That, uh, what the shit? Uh, Dave, dude, I've missed your one as well in all the excitement. Dave Highs, I'm, I'm very sorry, Dave. Uh, thank you for the support. That, that's very, very kind, dude. Pop up now. Dave Highs, thank you very much for the support, dude. Oh, I've just fucked that up. Dave, thank you very, very much. I've missed your one as well. Dan, thank you very, very much too, you crazy bastard. I'm not used to this YouTube chat business. I'm I'm struggling a bit there, but thank you. Yeah, that's the thing, Chimney, I guess. If you if you hit somebody with like a, a metal crossbow bolt, they're likely to die anyway unless you hit them in the plate carrier. Uh Jayron, I, I play modded Daisy. Yeah, this is a modded map Hope right now. Is well. Uh Hooper, thank you very much for the resub, dude. You're very kind. Dan, thank you very much. And Dave, thank you very much before that. You're incredibly kind, guys. Thank you. You can melee with the poison arrow. I wonder if you can poison other weapons. Mm. What is the traditional Christmas meal in the UK? It's exactly like the Thanksgiving meal in, in America land. It's, so it's roast turkey. Originally, it was roast... Uh, I think it was goose or duck, but it's turkey. It, turkey is the one, but... We're not having turkey, we're going to have pork, like a pork joint. Maybe a pork leg joint or a pork shoulder or something. But yeah, Christmas uh, meal is like turkey, uh, probably cranberry cranberry sauce, <laughs> like roast potatoes, gravy, like loads of veg, Brussels sprouts, all of that kind of stuff. Seasonal veg. Just back out of prison, missed six months of streams. Dude, I didn't catch that bit. Well, I hope you're okay. I hope you were convicted of a crime you didn't commit. Well, I don't... I, that seems like a weird thing to say. I hope you weren't convicted for anything horrendous is what I really mean to say. <laughs> I hope all is well, dude. I guess it's worse, isn't it? You'd probably be better off being committed, convicted for a crime you did commit. That's worse. That's worse being, being innocent, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, I didn't really think that through. What I was trying to say was, I hope it wasn't anything too bad, <laughs> like murdering Frank. Exactly. It did go well, that boonie. I think that came out perfectly fine. Shut up. <laughs> I am absolutely fucking knackered this week. I have to say, I. 
Today's stream might not be the longest ever. It might be more like five hours. I have got the pleasure of watching uh, the draft video of the uh, part four 10 year highlights video. And Cooper sent me the draft just before I went live. Well, an hour before I went live. But the video is an hour and something like 13 minutes long. So I, I've, got a, I've got the pleasure of watching me play DayZ straight after I've done nothing but play DayZ. That's going to be fun. I can't say I'm excited for for the prospect of watching me. It's going to be good though. Like the video's good. It's got so it's got the, some good years in it. Like like some good videos in that in that uh, period. Crazy Chris, for example, I think will be in that and all sorts. I'm looking forward to seeing what's made the cut. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what's in. Right, I definitely need that. Time to do away with the bright white coat. It's a lot of zombies here. I don't really know if I need a gas mask. I don't think the, the keycard area is a gas mask, so I don't really know why I'm bothering. Uh, what's with the melee sound? The zombies just don't have the right objects to them. It, it'll be a work in progress bug. The, ma the map's not finished, right? So the zombies make some weird textured sounds when you when you melee. Them. Please. I'm just stop that for a sec. Oh, I forgot I'd got the plate carrier to be honest. Yeah, you're right. I, I must be honest, I've forgotten I'd got it already. I did just get it at the last base, didn't I? That's dumb, isn't it? But there we go. These things happen. Like I say, I'm not exactly with it today. I'm wishing people, I'm wishing resubscribers were put in prison for crimes they didn't commit. <laughs> Fuck me. It's a bit disconcerting that sound, isn't it? Yeah, the zombies have got an exoskeleton. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that that I make you right. There's a guy. He has got guns on his back, but we might be okay here. He did wiggle. That's, that's a good sign. Pistoler away for a sec. It's a fucking handguard. I thought for a second that was a suppressor. Let's just drink the drink right quick so that if he kills me, he won't have my drink. That's that's the main thing right now. Let's make sure we have it.
I don't normally bother with painkillers. I suspect we won't need them. I never, never remember to use. That it then. Oh, there's one more barrack. Look, I haven't checked that one. Another month of fun and fuckery. Thanks for all the entertainment, and I wish you and the family an early Merry Christmas for me and to mine say, to you and yours. I'm surprised she read that with the uh, fuckery in there, you know? I'm surprised she read it. Robot lady's getting a bit cash for Christmas. Dan, thank you again, dude. Uh, thank you for the for the crazy uh, gifted subbing. Incredibly kind. Dave, beforehand as well, thank you. Reggae, uh, cheers for the resub. Lee, thank you for the resub too. Are you the wiggler? The who? The wiggler. <laughs> no. Have you got bullets Who's for that wiggler? gun? I saw the wiggler. No. You've not got who bullets. It? It's just a guy no. that was wiggling on that tower up there. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> Do you want this gun? I'd love it, yeah. Do you know, why don't you want it? I'm just checking out the map, see what it's like to us, really. Oh, oh, dude, thank you. Yeah, you don't need a gun for checking out the map. I haven't got any bullets, but it looks good. It makes me feel... I'm oh, no, sorry, I'm not trying to point it at you. I can't shoot it anyway, look, see? Makes me feel more of a man, though, you know? You look more of a man. I do feel it, yeah. Must feel, like it feel. Here, My E-peen is engorging. You look, you look good with that gun. Yeah, thank you. Uh, have you found any loot? I'm not really finding anything. Well, you found a gun, obviously. That's more than I've found, but... Where do you go for the Literally good stuff? just a gun... I don't know, this is the first time I've ever came into this map, so I haven't a clue. I spawned up where there's a castle or something and then just made my way. Yeah, down yeah, yeah, here. I went, I did I heard, that yesterday. I heard gunshots down here, so I was thought I'll just go this way and see what's what's going on, yeah. but obviously nothing really. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go to Echo Beach. I think that there's another castle, I'm heading that way. Gonna have me no some worry, fun. No worries, man. Thanks for the gun, dude, I appreciate you it. Easy. Love no you, boys. See ya. Who did he sound like? He sounds like an Irish fella that's off the telly. Or off the films. He sounded like someone. He sounded a lot like someone I've seen on the telly. I should have teamed up with him really, but fuck that. Let's just go and take the mushrooms Hi. with us. Make way for mushrooms. Let's have it. Sure, old dude. Thank you very much. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. James Nesbitt. Uh, can't think of who he sounded. Patrick Kilty, maybe. Yeah. John Richardson ain't even Scottish. I'd say sorry, ain't even Irish. That dude was definitely Northern Irish. It could be someone off of Dairy Girls, you know. It's probably someone off of Dairy Girls he was reminding me of. I was saying Far Away Inside yesterday instead, because it was inside the lake. It could be like the uh, the dad in the Dairy Girls, maybe. Or oh, it could be Colin Farrell. Yeah, the the, uh, the Inner Schillin film or whatever it is. It could be him too. Derry Girls is great. I think Derry Girls is really good. My missus likes Derry Girls, but I think it's really funny. Obviously, uh, I, the music of the 90s, which is what's played in it a lot, is music from uh, from my my time, you know? Like, what, me being an old bastard, you know? The music's good. That's what I said, in a, in a shilling. Exactly that, Twitchy. That's what I said. That's a weird film. Kind of good, but weird. Tommy Tiernan, yeah, he, he's pretty funny. The granddad is, is fucking hilarious. Mr. Lalo, thank you for the 35 months. Oh shit, that shot's where I'm going. Do, 
do, do, do, do. Right, let's. Uh, anything else I can reload? No. Then. Dairy Girls, program for people who wash up paper plates. I don't see that at all. Dairy Girls is funny. That was the weirdest way. I don't know how to say it. Tiananus? I don't even know how to say that. Tiernan? I don't know. By keeping the rotten mushroom. You can eat... You can eat... You can eat rotten mushrooms, just have to, like, not eat them too close together, so... I'm, I'm not really wanting to rely on it, but I've eaten one already, so I'm waiting a little while, and then I might eat another one. Tiernan. Well, that's not how he spelt it. It looked like he'd spelt it like Tia, and then the French for ad pineapple, is it? Ananas? I don't know, whatever it looked like that. Tiananas is how he spelt it. I see Rufus Sewell has got engaged to a girl 30 years younger than him. I don't even know who Rufus Sewell is, so yeah, alright. As long as he's not 35 or like 45, then whatever, you know. As long as he's like 50 or over, then that so that's, doesn't really affect my life any, I don't think. Uh, flirty dude, thank you for gifting Dob Dobby the sub. And uh, Mr. Lalo, thank you for the 35 months, dude. I would imagine the uh, the tree base is now no more, is it? You know that we found that tent in the trees. It won't be there anymore. Young offenders better than Dairy Girls. Well, I have to take your word for it. I've not seen Young Offenders. Dairy Girls is cracking though, I really like it. Oh, oh come on Paul, get get with the fucking program. There we go. There's shots at this castle, I'm fucking alt tapping out just as I'm arriving. Sensible approach, I'd say. Young Offenders. Yeah, I'll try and remember. I'll probably forget. I think what resonates with Dairy Girls, for my missus as well, is that she would have been about the same age as they are at about the same time with the music, right? So... If you're the right age, Dairy Girls is just right for the for the right people, you know, like I don't know. I may, maybe not, you know. She when what year is the Dairy it's like late night is it setting, isn't it? Or is it early nineties? Can't remember exactly when it's set to be honest, but it's around the nineties anyway. Gazing, I've got around sixteen thousand hours, dude. At least, yeah, I've been playing. I've been full time on as a Daisy streamer since twenty sixteen, dude. So, I've, it's been seven and a half years since I went full time. And so, in any job you do for forty hours a week for seven and a half years, you're going to rack up the hours, right? It's set in 1994, so yeah, my missus wouldn't have been quite that age, she'd have been uh, a little bit younger, she wouldn't have been a teenager, but she would. she's younger than that, but... In 1994, what with me being 38 and all, I, I was only a young nine-year-old. 
Or maybe I was just starting my A-levels, I'm not sure which. I'm going to go and check the tent. There won't be anything in it, but you never know, do you? You never know. Hello from Brazil. Hi, uh, Decorous. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. I watched early Red Dwarf, yeah. I watched early Red Dwarf, Chas. Yeah, I like the early ones a lot. Oh, Botmans, I'm not streaming until Sunday after today, so I'm going to miss the launch of the day before. I don't see me playing it immediately, but we'll see. It depends how good it looks. If it looks amazing, I might be streaming it Sunday, but I doubt it. So the missus likes I'm young. Yeah, either that or I'm uh, I'm an absolute liar, barefaced liar about how old I actually am. One or the other. Yeah, seems like the good loot has gone. Got an SVD and an M4 out of there yesterday. We have heard a shot here, so there's definitely somebody here. They've been making some more Red Dwarfs. So they, they made some more on Dave, didn't they? The, uh, the channel that's mostly repeats of old stuff like Red Dwarf that start making new stuff like Red Dwarf. It's also where that uh, fucking... What's that show called with Greg Davies? That was on Dave and now it's on Channel 4. That show. Where they do all the taskmasters. They do all the tasks. And he's the master of those tasks. Taskmaster is the name. Patron saint of running, blimey. Uh, Rundalandi and uh, Juki, cheers for the resubs, both of you, thank you. And Rewinder, thanks for gifting Mangas the sub. Oh no. I guess he didn't really complain about the ads, so I think that's kind of okay. He made a joke of it, it wasn't a complaint, so I think fair play. Thank you very much for the support, thank you. I saw tundras like fucking crazy here yesterday. There's a de decent chance this might be capped. I'm gonna go for two. Why not? I know I've got the canteen as well, but I don't want to fuck about really. I'll just I'll go for two. That'll do. There was a tundra on top of here yesterday. There could be food in there. Not to check. Oh, that's good. That's very, very handy. I don't really need a tundra. I've got a scope and a savannah. What I need is a box of bullets. Ideally a mag, but a box of bullets will do.
I have not got enough gear to be here. Big Duke, if you're thinking I'm 47, you are entirely wrong. That is very wrong information. Fake news. I like the castle change, General Daisy. I think it's only a small thing. It's not, like, huge, but it works properly. You don't get hung up on the stairs. It, well, I say that. I nearly did then, but they are. it is definitely better. First as, thank you for the 14 months. Coco, thank you for the subbing on YouTube. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. I did just get stuck on it, actually, but there we go. I think it's better by and large, for sure. I've never been 47 in a day, a day of my life yet, not day, and that's the honest truth. Fucking 47. What a fucking outrage. Fucking 47. Please, fuck me dead. It was a compass, dude. Forty-seven isn't that old. I I completely agree. It's not, but I'm not I'm not forty-seven. That's the thing. See. Calm down, kiddo. You'll get there. <laughs> yeah, not very long as well. It's not going to take very long. <laughs> about seven months. Uh, Punster, thank you for the support, dude. I mean, uh, about eight years and seven months. I don't want to go in the base with just an FNX and not even a full mag. A dam a badly damaged FNX as as that as well that as well. Have a nice stream, T R M Z love. Jokris, I I don't I'm not I don't look old either. I've I've got this secret technique to look younger. You just put on weight progressively over the years and so you fit your skin stretches and then you you get fatter, but you don't look older. It's magic. Dave is definitely not 47. Dave is 46. This is not going well. Oh, that really went well. GG, Paul. We heard a shot down here. That Normally, I wouldn't necessarily focus on this. I should probably get some bolts for the crossbow, but... I don't know. That, I think the crossbow is pretty low percentage. I need to try and find me an SKS, quick. How old is HB? I don't know, but he's he's a good looking fella, that much I do know. Oh look. Here's one I prepared earlier. Somebody else must have got the SKS though, otherwise they wouldn't have dropped it. How funny would it be if we killed somebody that dropped me the crossbow with their cross oh look shit.
Got any nine mil rounds? We haven't had a lot of luck with what we've found so far. Fuck, I must still be here. Thing is, I know he's now looted it, so I'm just like looting whatever the shit he didn't want, you know? Like, what am I gonna get? I'm going to have to get really lucky to get an SKS or something now, I think. Feather, I haven't seen it. No, I, I, I use a now TV box, and so I haven't noticed any change, but I, I was on it yesterday. I was saying earlier, I watched Bad Santa last night, uh, and never seen it before. It was fucking hilarious. It was really good. Those NBC boots on the roof. God. And I think we might have to take that. Yeah, me and the missus watched Bad Santa and were creasing up. That's just a fly, that wasn't a dead body. Fuck, whoever's here is geared as fuck. Shot at me. What the fuck? Where did the crossbow go? I just did all of that intentionally to pick the crossbow up and fucked it up. That's why. Five MP5 rounds. The 
only the door that's closed is the headquarters door. That could have been the zombie he shot. It was pretty close. Whatever zombie he shot was close. I'm going to get on the roof of this building. He might be in the headquarters. I don't know. I feel like the dude's nearly done wherever he is. He could be in here. Where did the guy go? The gun is on semi. Yeah, I've got five bullets. I think full auto is a bit optimistic with five bastard bullets, don't you? <laughs> you think that might make sense? Oh. to hit him in the head. I should have fired there. When he stopped at the car, I had a slight second, but I'm, I'm somewhat doubtful I can even shoot reliably out of that window, and with a 9mm round, I really don't think I can. I'm going to be dead any second. I just do not have the gear to take this guy. He was running back. I don't know where he was running back to. Unless he's going in the headquarters. I wish I'd gone back to the edge of my building. He might have gone in there. He's in here, but I'm not sure. I think he's next door. That should have been a fucking headshot. That really should have been a headshot. I think it was a headshot. Headshots to the helmet are meant to be uncon. Even with 9mm now. Thank you. 
Oh, no way. That was kind of fun. I just, I, I'm a bit, I feel a bit aggrieved with the headshot. A, a headshot with a 9 mil round is meant to be on con now, unless the server's got a different damage system, or maybe I was unlucky, but should have stayed. It's easier to say, should, should have stayed. I got a Mosin, you know, it, it was the only gun I would have had that would have given me a chance. I I don't think my decision waking was bad. I just got a little unlucky with the Zeds, like, and where, where I needed to go as a result, you know, but that was fun. It was tricky, tricky situation, but it was kind of a a fun sort of try, you know, but the zombies really did for me, unfortunately, which was a risk, but waiting up there that close with a pistol that's badly damaged, it might have, it might have jammed on the first round, you know. I was trying to give myself a chance to win, a bigger chance to win, and I think the Mosin would have definitely done that, you know. But uh, I actually don't think a 9mm round should be unconscious when you're wearing a ballistic helmet, but it is the way the game is in vanilla at the moment. You know, anything other than a 22 is an uncon, so I, I feel a little unlucky that I didn't knock him. Uh, I feel a little unlucky that it didn't knock him. I, I didn't even... If I'd have expected him not to, I could have followed it up real quick, right? I, uh... I didn't follow it up with another shot because I was like, oh, I'll go on con now. That should be a piece of piss, you know, and clearly it didn't. Anyway. It's really easy to follow up a 9mm with another hit, but I only had five bullets, so I didn't do that for obvious reasons, you know. It's a shame as well because my, my, uh, my, the route I went, he had no fucking clue, did he? He had no clue at all. Thank you, uh, Kino. Cheers for tuning in. I appreciate it. We're on the other side here. I've not been here, so we'll have a look here. This is near the big city. We might as well have a look. What? How unlucky, though. Don't I? Maybe I should have used the ACP, but I, I don't. I don't think it would have made a great deal of difference. Would the crossbow have knocked out one shot? Matty, if I'd hit him in the head, yes. But the crossbow with those bolts at that range, even if you aim at the head, you're not sure to hit the head. Uh, the, but the, they can be out by at least a foot. They're not accurate, those crossbow bolts. You need the feathers on them for them to be accurate. Brendan, the hours don't affect the outcome always, dude. They really don't. Uh, that's not the case. <laughs> uh, not in a game like Daisy, anyway. Although I think I was a little unlucky. Like it is, it is legitimately meant to be one tap uncon with every round other than twenty-two now. So, where was my one tap uncon? Don't understand. Soldier, you always load in with no gear and have to try and find it. It's not... It, it, part of the game is looting and uh, learning to, to get better at it, you know, you know, like trying to work hard for your stuff. It, the element, that element of, or that phase of the game is a lot of fun for a lot of people, but also, if you just spawned in with gear, it wouldn't matter if you lost it and the game would completely lose its edge, you know, if you, if, if you didn't have to work for your gear, it wouldn't matter when you, somebody was trying to take it from you. It's not, it's, it, that, that's more of like a Battle Royale, PUBG sort of style, you know, which is not Daisy's kind of shtick. Well, that doesn't give me a lot of hope, does it? There's fucking zombies dead. I'm basically <laughs> just sloppy seconding. Am I going to buy the day before? I don't know. I'm certainly not going to make a decision until I've seen what it looks like, which will be uh, probably tomorrow or whatever. Comes out later today, but I probably won't be able to see it today. Mojo, I think I hit his head. Hello. The loot here is dog shit. Dog shit.
as old as you. Congrats on an awesome fundraising. He's coming to take my gear now. He. I think he was just eating. He must have got something off of that zombie. Kind of annoying. I could have done with something off of that zombie, really. What's the most fun server you ever played on? Oof, I don't know. I, I, I don't think the server is the, the, the thing that really matters. It's the adventure on the day, you know? Like, like the Trumpet Brothers, for example, was on a really quite heavily modded server, you know? it's not. And the Trumpet Brothers is one of my favourite adventures, you know? So... I think people get too wrapped up on the server and what don't really kind of get to grasp of the fact that you make your own fun in Daisy and the server won't make the fun for you that's your job you know like uh, you've got to try and make the fun however you do it you know you can find the fun in the game when you meet other players on any server uh, I think too much emphasis is placed on the server for a game where it, it, it it's a bit like uh, you've got two kids right you give one kid a big pad of paper, some pens and some tools, like some little rulers and some protractors and whatnot. And they can sit there all day having loads of fun. And you give that same stuff to another kid and they sit there going, I'm bored, what the fuck am I meant to do with this shit? You know, like, and Daisy's a bit like that, it's on you to find the fun. But uh, I, over the years, I've had loads of fun in, like, Daisy Underground. Spaggy's vanilla servers, like day one through various different uh, versions. Older servers, there was an old server called UKA that was really good back in the day. It's like, uh, like zero now and, and, and all sorts. But the reality is that the server doesn't make the fun, you do. I could probably play on any server and, and find it, find an adventure or find something that was give me a reason to come back like you, you do see it a lot but people will come in and say oh this server looks fun what is it uh, Every server's the same. <laughs> Obviously, you get really heavily modded ones that are more shooty, but the game is the game. Is it an official map or modded? Dawix, the, uh, the only two official maps are Livonia and Cherneris. Everything else is modded. So Azalea is a is a community made map, it's not official. Hello. Spa map, dude, hello, I hope you're good. Thank you for the support. Site for Sorise, uh, thank you very much, I think. JR dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. Drake, thank you, Miss Magoo. Uh, Rewinder, Runderlandy, Punsterlam. Thanks a lot for the support, guys. Very, very kind. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, guys. One I'm just down. Many, to many sure I more to go. Those. Loved every stream. Ah, oh, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the one year inning, dude. I don't really know. I think the main town is over that way. I don't really know what's this way, but I'll come around this side. I've never been around here, so we might as well have a look. A bit open. I think the best place for us to be is right in the middle of the open, right? Probably. Piss the cow. It's de demanded by the gods. Isn't that what... Uh, Do you think the devs will have a special update ready for the 10-year anniversary? Uh, no. I think there'll be some little, little like, 10-year anniversary... Uh, 
up little bits. You know, like when they have like Halloween or Christmas, and they have like little bits for an event in the game, like you can find Christmas presents and such like. I think they'll do something like that in the game. I think they may announce something new. I really hope. I hope. I hope there's an announcement of something big for the game, like DLC that gets to console as well, or. Maybe even Daisy 2. I seriously doubt they'll announce Daisy 2, but I really, I really place. wish and hope they do. That would be epic. Yeah, it's demanded by the gods. It is. <laughs> Fucking Jar Jar Binks. What changes would you like to see in Daisy? Uh. I think mostly everything the same as already people know, you know, that is, the zombies need to be reworked. The devs have already said that's something they want to do, but uh, the zombies really need some love. Uh, most everybody knows what the bugs are, you know, like, so just re reeling off the bugs we all know about seems a bit dull. So I get asked that question every day, to be honest, but the only thing I'd like to see that's probably not likely is, is use of the ocean in Chernerus and, like, I'd love to see Chernerus have and some islands files when you're fun. that you get to by boat and maybe a aircraft carrier, an oil rig, or broken down battleship or something like that. Areas you have to get geared to and go on an adventure to get, you know, that would be cool. Certainly some textures on some of like the barn doors and some of the buildings. Some of the textures are looking 15 years old, because they are. Oh, if you type exclamation charity in the chat, it can take you to the link and it will show you all of, all about it. And you can see so exclamation charity in the chat, and then you can go and have a look, dude. Uh, the the total amount raised was uh, about sixty seven thousand six hundred pounds, which is crazy. Not straight away, Thunder. No, I might see how it is and then make. Jay, I really liked it yesterday. I had a bit of a bad run loot wise today, which kind of sucks. Uh, but that's luck of the draw. Sometimes the loop's tricky, sometimes it's not. So you can get a poisonous bud from the azalea flower. And then you can make poisonous arrows. And you crash up on the hill to the left. Is it? Where? I didn't loot that fucking feed shack. I'm going to have to go. I don't see a heli crash. What? Oh, you're right. Oh, well spotted. Dude, GG. All right, forget that. We'll go up to there. GG, what a spot. I hadn't even looked. Well spotted, dude. I think I might just loot these two houses first, actually. Because I'm going to need something to drink, something to eat. And if I don't find it, I'm going to be in trouble. Three houses. So these uh, these are poisonous. You can combine them with arrows to uh, poison the, the arrows of a, of a crossbow bolt. And I don't know what it does then, because... Often when you shoot a player with a crossbow bolt, they die. So they might be both poisoned and dead, which seems uh, a little bit overkill, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Lil Miss, thank you very much for the support. Wiki, thank you. Badleg, thanks very much too. Cheers for the resubs and tings. Thank you. Pumpkin seeds. Well, we, we might be desperate enough. Military shit. a stone anyway. If I can find a rock, I can make a knife and then I can cut him up to get bones and rope to fish. I'll keep I'll keep my eyes out for a rock. It looks like it's all grass at the moment. I could get another stone I suppose, but 
If we run along this track and then we run back along this track, it's possible a stone might spawn, I suppose. This ma the only two maps on console source are Chernarus and Livonia. Everything else is made on the community side for the modding, and that's only available on days on uh, console. So oh, sorry, only available on PC. So you can only play Chernarus and Livonia on uh, console. just joined how modded is this server Graham I think it's mostly the map that's the mod dude I don't th there are some ma mod mads start again there are some mods but it's it's a smaller map PvP focused it can be hard to get gear at times but it's uh, it's modded more via the map than anything else it's not like crazily modded with like trader bases or something you know what do you type in on PC to play the winter map Call me K. Uh, if you use the DZSA launcher, you can just filter for the word winter and then choose one. Well, oh, Ben, thanks for coming in. Already thirsty? That doesn't bode well, does it? I think that's one thing that is definitely an issue on the map at the moment, and it is only a test phase, but wherever you spawn... It seems to be kind of tricky to get anywhere where there's food. Like, as you've just seen, more often than not, wherever you spawn, someone else has already been, so there's never any food. Like, you don't spawn, like, in, like near a big town where there's 40 houses and a lot of civilian zombies to loot. You end up doing quite a lot of running where there's no well and then there's no but nothing in the houses because people have already been, so... And it's only a test, so it may not last this way, but right now it's tricky because you... You're doing a lot of running, but not a lot of looting. I think it's already been looted. Oh fuck, I already have the bag. a long way back. There's no rocks either, so I can't make I can't use my stone to turn it into a knife. Be nice come crawling. I see Nico Leonard is is releasing a 100 limited edition uh, Tissot PRX on the 11th of December. Uh Nico who I uh, fanboyed seriously hard at the YouTube event about a month ago. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for that. I think it's a a blue dial quartz. <laughs> Fuck me. Quartz PRX with a little, uh, like a little giving the you. finger hand, I Aim think. It's like, a, not a much, but. Boy. I can tap him up for one, yeah. Well, I, I, I he did add, add me on, uh, like, WhatsApp and message me once. But then I replied and he never did, so I, I, I think I, he's probably got me on mute. <laughs> I should think he's probably done that with a lot of people. But yeah, very nice come crawling, dude. I'm not familiar with the model numbers, but Seiko are cool, dude. There isn't anything, any such thing as a bad Seiko. Oh, that's, that's a little lifesaver, isn't it? I know, Vinny, I know. I, I've got the... Uh, I've I've set it so that they'll email me when it's available already, so I, I, I know. It's not my first rodeo, dude. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I don't own a Tissot. I might, I might have a look. It depends what it is. I'd rather it was a, a Quartz PRX than, a, than an automatic, to be honest. Uh, I'd, I'd, if I'm spending that, whatever the money is for one of those, I'd probably rather have Quartz, personally. Hope everyone is having a good day. What's you the negative the animals, for, in your opinion for Seiko? 
at times Seiko can have slightly poorer uh, quality control. They make so many watches, so there's quite a lot of, a lot of examples where the uh, the outer bezel doesn't match the minute day, track quite day. accurately. So the outer bezel marker that should be at 12 is not quite in line with the rehort that's kind of at 10 seconds past 12 or whatever, you know, like they sometimes misalign. They're not 100% always accurate, but for the price that you pay, they are very, very good. Like, the, one other thing that happens with Seiko a lot is that they have uh, hard lex crystals, often into a price where they should have sapphire crystals. Hard lex is cheaper, but it's more of a mineral kind of thing, and it can scratch more easily. And once you've scratched a crystal on a watch, you're fucked. Unless it's incredibly expensive, and then it's worth changing it. Terry, quartz is the movement, so quartz is like a, it's like a digital watch uh, that to keeps the time with time with a, a quartz crystal. That that that's how they regulate the time. Whereas an automatic automatic watch is manu either it could be manually wound or it could be automatic, but it's a spring, and it's all like more old school tech. You know, like watches used to be, 150 years ago or 100 years ago or whatever. Yeah, the quartz crystal vibrates. Oh look, this is the gas zone. Well, that's both good and bad, because now I'm basically fucked. <coughs> so if you get a gas zone, that's where you go. I bet you get key cards in there. So I bet if you... Uh, you, do a, you, you go and get your gas zone NBC loot as best you can. Come in here, I bet you get key cards in there. I can eat this as well. It is rotten, but that doesn't really matter. There's so many shots on this map. Like, there's 40 players on the map, but there's so many people shooting. Have you, Schmoobly? Interesting. Rado are pretty nice, Sweden. Go around the gas to the plane. I, I can't now because someone's just fired from there. So the plane's off limits, I think. Someone's just fired from around where the plane is. You can you can survive it, uh, Arky. You, you last about three minutes if you've got a gas mask on. It's possible to run in. If you go to Riffy Boat on Chernerus, it's possible to run in and uh, like run out with a gun and then die and then run back to get the gun. I think it's a bit fucking cheaty, to be honest. Cheaty is a strong word. It's a bit of an exploit. Exploit is a better word. I actually think the devs should probably make the gas, like, a bit wider so that that can't be done. I think that would be a cool change because it's definitely not intended that you're meant to be a new spawn with an M4 that you didn't work for. I didn't know you could do that. I, I saw that in a fresh spawns clip. I... I I kind of wish they hadn't made that clip, if I'm honest, because they are te cheating people how to cheese at the game, which kind of sucks a little bit. I like the fresh spawns, but it is a bit of a... It's like teaching people to get M4s without putting any work in, which is kind of shite, I think. It's the sort of thing that if you work out you can do it, it's better to put it on the bug tracker than teach, like, fucking 200,000 people how to cheese at M4. Move them inland to make people go inland. Mr. Whip, well, the point of them being where they are is that you don't... You have to go inland to get the NBC suit more often than not. You're very rarely going to get it near where the gas zones are. So the idea is that you're going inland and then you've got to come back again. So more often than not, sometimes you don't get all of the NBC suit till you've been to Tissy. So, so you start in Berezino. You do Berezino, northwest... Sorry, northeast airfield. You do, uh, I don't know, Novo, Severograd, you're still looking for NBC loot, you end up at Tissy Military Base, get the last of your NBC loot, then you've got to go all the way back to Riffy. So the reason why they are where they are is so that you go into the map and then have to come back and it creates more chances of people bumping into each other.
Yeah, I, I didn't see who I was, but as Eventual Demise says, I'm, I'm allowed to multi-stream now. So I'm on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, Twitch changed their rules on multi-streaming, so I'm allowed to multi-stream now. Not liking the way we're going at the moment. It's sounding a bit fucking treacherous. The map is quite small right now, which is why it sounds like there's shots everywhere. 5 by 5, by five kilometres, so it's a fairly small map. I think it should be, Nate. I don't think you should be able to... Like, I, I just said exactly the same thing. You may have typed that before I said it, but if they extended the gas zone a bit, it would, it would stop that being a thing that you can easily do. busy over there. I might have been able to do the plane, you know. It sounds like that they are not at, the, those shots seem like the same ones. They're not at the plane. I think I could maybe have gone to the plane. Maybe we still could. I'm going to check this house first, though. I might go back up the hill. The feed shack over there. I could get lucky on a gun. could still cheese it with an epi though. Uh, maybe. If they make it long enough, I suspect not so easily. I, like, they don't need to make the gas so much bigger before you can't cheese it with an epi, you know? Like, it wouldn't be too hard to do. Like, an epi only lasts like 45 seconds. Like, even if you have two of them. Like, if it takes you a while to get the gun and then it, if it took you a minute to run out once you've already got the gun, you'd be dead hopefully before you get out. You know, like, I don't know. I've, I've not tried it, but it's not something I want to do because it's like it's just not. It, it's it's one of those things. There are there are far worse things to do in the game, but if you've managed to cheese an M4 with a mag and then you're shooting other players, it just doesn't seem quite in the spirit. You know, like Daisy is a game where part of the game is meant to be going and finding your loot and going on an adventure to go and do so. I did see a guy just over there, like the white helmet guy. Part of the game is meant to be looting and the adventure that you have while you're trying to do that. And sometimes the very best moments happen before you get a gun, you know. Or before you get a, an M4, certainly, you know. You're not meant to be able to just spawn in and cheese an M4, you know. It's really not meant for the game, you know. It's not like one of those scenarios where you can say, oh, Daisy's a sandbox game. You're meant to be able to play it like however you want. You're definitely not meant to be able to get an M4 from spawn by cheesing it, you know. That's definitely not meant to be part of the sandbox, you know. <laughs> Uh, so the devs need to try and work out how they can stop it from happening. It's not a big deal, but I guess it will be more of a big deal if people are making videos showing people how to do it. You know, it's more likely people will do it. Don't follow the road into town. Loot the cars. They are full of food. Okay, I'm going to go up the hill for now. I'm going up this way though, dude. I ain't got time for chatting. No chatting for you. I want to go to the plane. If something could be cheesed, people would cheese it. Yeah, but it's possible to make it not possible, Firefly. It, making it, like, allowing it to stay easy to do just because people will do it anyway is like saying, well... They're always going to find new ways to make hacks, so there's no point trying to deal with hacking, you know? Like, that, that, that's not how the world works, is it, you know? Like, otherwise we'd just never have anything good, would we, you know? Like, people will always try and work out an exploit, yes, but devs will also always try to close exploits, thereby making us all have, like, a fun game to play. That's kind of fairly normal stuff, right? It's a bit like saying, well... Holy fuck. It's a bit like saying, well, Olympians are always going to use drugs, so don't bother checking for any of them and just let them all at it. You know, it'd be one way to go. But I think it's better if everyone plays fair, you know.
That life sucked. And here's the thing. I've got the same... Is this the same spawn? Yeah. This is... This is... Slight issue. There's nowhere for me to go to get food. I'm going to suicide for a, for a spawn the other way. This, this spawn is not going to be the, the one for me, I think. So there was a guy shooting on the hill, unfortunately. So that was no bueno. Twelve month subs. Here's to all the leg breaks and Zagorki bars. Yeah, I don't think that was White Helmet. White Helmet, the bastard. Right, where are we now? Oh, fuck me. Oh, wait, well, it's, it's a smaller map, and smaller maps have a lot of action, but... It's bit, I had a really good adventure yesterday and teamed up with a dude, but I certainly want a different spawn. That's me there. That's me. But it's, it's a work in progress map, so anything I'm saying right now, it's not like it's going to stay as it is, you know, it's the map's only 5x5, five five. it's going to get bit bigger, so I'm not, uh, the map creator knows what, what he's doing, he's making a fun map, what's here right now is really, really fun, the, the bits that are here are really good, when it's bigger it will have, uh, I'm guessing it'll have more loot routes and more options and places to go. I don't know where we are right now. fire there. most depressing thing to see when you think it's a can of food. Stick them. I can't stand the red sunglasses. I think you're right, Lottie. I think it is. It's it's exactly like that. You know, it, it needs a bit more. But but I I, I still I like it. There's some, the, the the hills and the the cliffs and the way the military bases are right now allow for a lot of uh, a lot of action. But you need to get lucky on your loot route. Otherwise, you're going somewhere where there's people trying to kill you and you've got no Good gun day, or like when on I that last life. Tell, I had a would you like some tea and crumpets? Had an MP5 with five what bullets a and a FNX that was badly damaged with ten or eleven. You know, like. You're trying to take on a guy that's got so many guns he can't he can't carry them all, pretty much. But he's just looted the base, you're looting after him, which is why you've got fuck all to try and kill him, you know? <laughs> it's, it's a bit like that. But you get that one lucky life, and then it's amazing, you know? That's, you have to kind of... That's the way it is. Okay, dog, you're all right, dude. Uh, dark fit. Uh, good day, Paul. When I hear the term, hit. When I hear the term, would you like some tea, tea and crumpets? What are? Uh, would you like some tea and crumpets? What are crumpets? Okay, now I understand. Crumpets are like things that we had. Well, I don't have them very much, but for breakfast, Wahoo. they're like twenty months. They're hard Man. to describe, really, what but they're like. What do you call a well-rested zombie? Flat An little. Zombie, I'm tired. It's the best I could think of. An ombi. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you very much, Return, dude. Thank you. They're kind of flat and bread-like, and they're a bit crispy on the outside. And you put them in the toaster, you warm them up, uh, and then 
slather them in butter and then eat them. And they're kind of slightly, they're doughy in the middle and they're kind of crispy on the outside. So they, they're kind of, a, they're not like toast. They're very different. I've no idea if I'm going the right way here, by the way. But they are pretty good. They're pretty tasty. It's not fried dough, no. It's kind of not really like an English muffin. Like an English muffin, you'd like cut in half and put some bread, put some butter in it. With this, you're smearing it on the top. It's got like kind of holes in it. They're a little bit like a honeycomb on the, so that it's kind of got like holes in the top, and then the butter will all seep in into it. There's this thing called Google, where you could type in English crumpet, and you'd see a picture of it straight away. However, be warned, you might also see a picture of, like, one of those old Sid James films, you know. English Crumpet, wah, carry on camping or something, you might get that. English Crumpet. <laughs> Googling my crumpet now. Googling my crumpet now. I, 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 just, I think that's a good idea. English breakfast tea is trash. No, it's not, Kenny. English breakfast tea is what built the empire. And maybe crumbled it. Uh, Wig Billy, thank you very much for the support. Uh, thank you very much, dude. Return, thank you very much. Dark Vet, Commando, uh, Little Sad Fat Man, dude, thank you very much for the support. My wife used to be crumpet. Then she got depressed living with you and, 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 and it all, all went south, did it? <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Low blow, I know. Sam, I tried Yorkshire Gold for the first time. Oh, my word. 19 months. Woohoo. Thanks for the entertainment. What is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, Craziness. Hot butter and pissing with Marmite. <laughs> He's got a poetic way with words as Danny Dyer, hasn't he? Well, that's a nice find. I have no clue if we're heading the right way or not. We might be heading to the edge of the map, for all I know. Let's just see what way we're running on our bird shit compass. We're heading south. That may not be good. I might want to... I don't think south is a good way for me to be going, actually. I feel... I think we're best go... We're going to go this way. Let's go more north. I think... I think south is going to take me off... Like, out of the map. Please notice for me. Uh... Oh, my word. Dude, chill. It's okay. You're my idol. Uh, Gene, or John, for a start, you need a new idol, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm your, I'm a false prophet, okay? false idol. Uh, but dude, thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate it. It's okay. South is the perfect way, but I don't think there's any spawns in the north, so I think south is going to take me like off the map. I don't think you can spawn in the north on this, so I think we're not not wise to keep going south. I think we're going to go nowhere. In fact, I've just seen a little spire over that way. I think we might go that way. We're basically going back the way we came at the moment, but I think any other way is going to be a dumb move. Last time I played Daisy in 2016, I just came back again after a long time. Regards from Indonesia. Yanto, thanks for coming in. Changed a lot since then, dude. I don't understand why people get so upset that the tea's not grown in in, uh, in England. Like, Americans, like, are really big on coffee. They don't grow the fucking coffee beans in America, do they? But, like, Americans are allowed to fucking wank themselves stupid about how important coffee is. What's the difference? Like, like, what's the fucking big deal, you know? Like, uh, it's this exactly the same. I quite like coffee.
I, I, I miss coffee a little bit actually. I like I had to give up coffee because it gives me the shit something fierce. I can just about get away with uh, caffeine free, but regular coffee and me just do not mix. I think we're coming up. We, when we crop, get to the top of this hill, I think we're going to see the castle. Look, that's where we spawned. Fuck me. We've got, oh, there we go, look. There, there's the castle. I think we might we'll go there. We'll see if we can get ourselves a, a scope for the blaze. That's kind of a handy, handily timed mushroom. Wait, wait for mushrooms. I much prefer spawning on this side. Oh, there's a guy there. I haven't killed anyone yet today. Maybe maybe we can kill that poor guy. He might have a knife or a stone or something useful and then we can steal it. Then we'll go to the castle. Let me put my gun away so it looks like I've got no bullets. Oh, he's going to go to the castle. I'm, gonna have to, I'm not going to be able to make it. Logan, thank you very much for the for the support. Cheers for the gifted subbing, dude. Very, very kind. Thank you. Where the fuck has he gone? He looked like he was going for the castle. He's moving pretty slow, actually. Let's hope he's injured. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Of course he moves left. <laughs> that sight looked really weird. It's white. I think it's the sun, but it was the sight was kind of throwing me a little bit. I think he's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, he's definitely got a scope. I can I could see him, but I can't do much about it. What a good shot. That's karma for shooting him in the back. That that leg shot was really annoying. There was two. So one had an SKS and the other one's got a Mosin, I think. Something like that anyway. But they'd uh, they'd done me like once my leg was broken. I had to try and get to the rock. That was the only kind of viable choice I had realistically. Uh, there wasn't really a great deal else I could do. Oh man, that sucks. Every fucking life at the moment. Like that. At least I got a gun this time, but... What the fuck? They're, they're like properly geared, and I literally spawned behind where they are, you know? Like that's... <laughs> the flow of that is so unlucky, you know? I literally, they're right behind where I spawned on the road there. That's the castle. We're very close to where they just killed me. That, that, this is the crazy thing. That castle there is where I was just looking at. Yeah, it's a small map. It's 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 got good action. It's just one of those things you're going to need a few lives to get get a good start, you know. Uh, but yesterday we had that on the second life. Today we've not had it yet. In nearly two hours. I don't know whether to run for my body or not. Like. I think they'll they'll obviously loot my my bullets. They'll probably they might leave the two in the blaze. 
See, there's a guy running in front of me now as well. Right? Starstruck, starstruck, starstruck. The real dude. Thank you for the support, man. Very kind. Cheers for the uh, for the resub. Quakers, thank you as well. Logan, Mystic Technician. Uh, cheers for the support, peeps. Is he? He might be the guy I shot in the back. If I'd have had a scope, I might have had a chance there, but no scope. I needed to get to the rocks. And I just, yeah. Uh, Chris, by the way, I, I quickly had to peer through your email. I'll, I'll reply uh, possibly tomorrow. I might not be today. I've got a load of shit on, but I will, I'll reply. Who knows? I think this dude that's running this way is possibly the one I shot in the back. I'm not trying the day before today, no, no. I haven't even I haven't even pre ordered it. I've not tried to get a free code or anything. I'm not not doing it today. I'm uh, I'm only it only comes up becomes available in about two hours time. And I'll be most of the way through the stream by the time. Ooh shooting. Alright, dude. There's some bad guys over here. The bad guys, yeah. <laughs> He's on the road. He's going to see me in a second. I think I can try and take the moral high ground with them for shooting at me when Hello, I wave. Mr. Paul. Happy running. Dude, he's right on the road. I've just seen him. But there's two of them, I think. One's got an SKS, one's got a sniper rifle. There he goes, look. Carrying his great big fucking gun. Oh shit, he's aiming. Oh, oh. Hello! Gilly. What the fuck has he got a gilly for? Where's he got that from? Why? Because he's killed. Oh, look at this. Fuck me. Fuck's sake. We'll give it another life or two, and then we think we might we might change to yesterday's Cherner's character, perhaps. <laughs> Run away from the castle. Uh, yeah, well, that's one way to go, Nate. But unfortunately, the castle's one of the few places where there is actually some fucking loot. Uh, not your Libra. Thank you very much for the 27. Uh, Daryl, thank you. And let's face it, if I get the other spawn, I'm going to be up on that fucking board. hill where I suicided twice just before. Does it remind you of Takistan? No, it doesn't. It's a, it's a much smaller map. It's a lot easier to get to places. Uh, it's not like Takistan. You might get shot in the back by a geared dude, but at least it will be quite soon after you spawned, rather than you've just ran for 40 minutes, you know. Uh, I, I like this map. I think it's going to be good. Really enjoyed it yesterday. Uh, it's just, at the size it's at now, it's going to have geared players in the proximity of where you are. There's not much loot flow yet. and It's got to get a bit bigger before there's much... There's not really a new spawn and a high tier geared player area. That everyone's all mixed in together. Do I like South Park? I've not seen very many episodes. I've watched a few years ago. It was all right. I I don't dislike it. I've never religiously watched it though. That prick has been hanging around there for hours. That sounds about right. Neurotech, thanks for the 7. 808, thank you very much for the resub as well. P is stored in balls, blimey. No wonder I pissed so much then. Oh, I can't get up there, can I? I've got to go round. Oh, oh there's a mushroom though. Right, I've already eaten one rotten mushroom, so we're best... Oh god, he's right fucking there.
If we can slip past them and get to the castle and get a gun. I had a blaze before. couple of bullets, couldn't it? That'd have been amazing. <laughs> they killed me from those rocks. Oh shit, he's there, look. inside the castle now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Where are they getting all their bullets? I guess he's getting his bullets from my gun. I might get one castle. Dude, is there any 308 bullets up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, wait. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I've got a tundra. Oh, dude. They're gonna, they might come up. They know that we've got no gear. I bet they come up. Okay. You haven't seen a scope, have you? in this tower and that's Oh, GG. I just found a found the gun. I hope I can kill him. Dude, that would be amazing. Here, I'll see if I can distract them. They're at the top of the tower. They're at the top of the tower. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, what? How did that not connect? I thought that was a hit. I thought two of those were hits, to be honest, but... <gasps> where are these bullets going? Well, I know where that one went. Fuck me. Three of them. Well, that was lucky. Dude, I don't know how I got hit them. He's just hit me, but I'm okay. I don't know. I've put, I've made some shots that absolutely should have fucking hit him. I don't understand. There's another yeah, one over I, there. There. Yeah. There's. Oh shit. Oh, he's waving at us. Yeah, the one over behind is waving. They're pushing, they're pushing. Dang it. I hope <coughs> I, I was trying to get him a grenade. How the fuck did I not get them there? How, how, I don't get it. Some of those shots felt so on. I know I'm bleeding. Dude, Hello? There's, there's like three fucking full geared guys coming. You haven't got any 308 or a scope, have you? No, I don't. Got some 308. Bandage. Hello? You have a scope, dude. There's a group of three over on the other, on the rocks to near us.
Maybe I could bait them out. Yeah, they, they think they know where we are. Whereabouts did you say they were? I Just try on the next, the tower that's on top of the rock, they're around that. <sighs> that's our buddy on the How top. The fuck am I gonna get up there? Where the fuck are these shots? Oh shit! Where the fuck are these shots going? I I obviously missed that one, but yeah, there was one peek in that corner when we were looking at it. Oh fuck me! I don't have a gun, man. Comes in, just jump on him, man. Oh fuck me! I'm gonna wake up with no gun now. Oh, go, 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 go. Are they coming? Nah, uh, literally down that. I can see them on that castle. They're literally aiming right at me. I'm red flashing. I'm, I don't even know if I can bandage. Come downstairs, man. They're aiming. They're aiming. I'm okay. See if I can bait. See if I can bait them or anything. Weef, I'm sure you're great at taking on three players all at once with no them, scope. One of them just died on top of the castle. Oh, cool. Yeah, one of them just died. Perfect. He's got shot by one of the little guys. He's sat like... I don't know where he's at right now. He's around the corner. I've got, right. I got to get down. I'm so fucking injured. Just, Do you have a scope? Yeah, I don't. I, if I had a scope, I'd have fucking killed him. Yeah, he's him. on the top. He's on the top. He's on the top at the moment. He's still up there. He's using an SKS, I believe. Yeah, he's killed me like twice, I think. When he drops me, you can have a go with the gun, okay? Yeah. About to shoot. Yeah, I can't. I can't peek, unfortunately. He's, they've got scopes, and they're all really geared. They've got scopes. <laughs> hey, you can't kill me! Wait. I'm Wait, sure, I'm sure, Queef, you're the you're the best player the game's ever seen. But I, I've hit some shots that fell on, and I cannot make them connect. Come it on. really sucks. Come on! Wait, he's not shooting me. I like the guy on the roof too. I don't have anything either. I don't know why I would be killing you. I'm not fucking going to kill you. I just... I, I, I feel like I've hit All several lad. shots. Alright, lad. Obviously, I haven't. That's that's my blaze, I think. They pushed over quick, didn't they? They weren't fucking about. This might not be okay, this rotten mushroom. But I'm gonna. If I start starving to death, I'm fucked. So, with me being light blue, starving to death is a real possibility as well. All right, oh, dude. Shit, the yeah, no, it's okay. I, the, the, all the geared guys are on the, the castle at the moment. I can't see YouTube chat just for a second, by the way, guys. The troll was on YouTube, was on Twitch, but I've I've closed the YouTube chat or I've minimized it by mistake. But I, right now, I'm trying to rush. This guy's going to punch me, I think. There's there's four of us here, dude, including you. But there's like a geared squad that's killing every fucking new. Yeah, I, I, I saw them. Yeah, I saw three guys geared to the teeth. So fucking hungry though. This is just like almost impossible. 
Alex? Are you Alex? No, I'm Dave. Well, are you Alex? I, the the gear oh, guys are all sorry. on the castle at the moment. I, I'm trying to go and get oh, them. No, no, I was looking for my, I was looking for my friend Alex. You, you've seen him? There's there's another guy, two guys to your left there. Oh, you Alex? Are you any of your guys, Alex? Alex? Oh. Who the fuck is Alex? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alex. Yeah. Oh, they're on the on the top on the on the tower. What the near one? No, no, the far one. Well, push across. We oh, everyone flood the bridge, right? Let's do it. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm dead anyways. It's been great watching your anymore. streams and YouTube videos. Thanks, Paul. So Are there any more dangerous guys with weapons? No. Which tower are these guys on? The next tower over oh, the bridge one. there, I think. Yeah. Right, let's go. I'll die before I get up there, probably. As soon We're as I start starving, I am fucked. At least I'm a bit warmer inside here. Backed up. Oh shit! You okay? Fucking up. I'm good, I fell down. Oh, there's someone coming here. Yeah, be careful. Hey man! Hey man, man! There is one guy I'm shooting everywhere. Whoa! Oh, whoa! 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 Oh my God! Down, he's on top down. of the he's on top of the castle. Unfortunately, they are, they are camping. They are camping. Yeah, they've the been they've, they've killed me about hey. four times. Oh, dude, give it me! Give it me! Give it me! Please! Give it! Kill the fucker! Rejoice! Rejoice! Dude! How how do we kill these guys? Yeah, Come on, guys, we have to team up. Don't fight each other. Oh, you can't leave a plate. Let the professionals do the I'm job. I'm gonna go and you uh, scope him. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try the other window. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Someone has to distract them in the top. Someone distract them on the top. Right, just hit the ghillie in the head. The ghillie's done. Anyone has to be bullet? Ah! Uh, fucking hell. That shot was clean on his head, but it hit the fucking window frame. That sucks. At least I got the ghillie. That, that second shot was clean on the dude's fucking head, but it got blocked by the castle. How, how exactly does one shot go through and the other shot get blocked? That sucks. That's not the modded server causing that. That's the, the artifact, that window, you know? Like, that, that really sucks. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I think I'm going to change. I, I think I've, I've had enough. I, I'm glad I got one of the ghillies. That, that'll do for me. Though There's enough new spawns there. They've got a blaze and they've got a tundra. They can do it, but I, I don't want to do it anymore. Just fuck, fuck that. Cool. I ain't feeling it. I'm glad I got I'm glad I got the dude. I must have been so close with a lot of those iron sight shots. When they were on that first tower and I was behind the rocks, a lot of those were on. You know? Fair enough, run away. Well, it's not really running away, dude. It's just like not wanting to continually rinse, repeat, trying to kill three geared players when you've got no gun, you know? Okay, we were lucky to get the tundra and the bullets off the dude and then the scope off the other dude. Glad we got one, but... Like, that ghillie can't get back now, really, so... Like, if if I kill one and then the next one kills one, they'll they'll all be dead and that'll be that. That's kind of good, but... I just I just haven't got the, the minerals for that, that rinse, repeat. Here is to another month, Paul. It, it, exactly, Lottie. You know, like I like I I don't want to keep doing it. It can be fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it much more yesterday. But just luck of the draw and how the run goes. So I'm going on regular Cherneris. If any of the mods are available to change the title, that would be amazing. Uh, on Twitch, if you choose. I think I'll do the mouse before Christmas. Redline. I've got a geared guy on Cherneris, so we might as well do that one. So this is the guy that got held up by the men of mass or whatever they were called from yesterday's stream. So I logged out geared, they shot my leg. I'd been to Tissy and I'd found myself a nice plate carrier with pouches and then some fucker came and robbed it. My, guy, my game's not working right. The frames look great. Oh now it's back. It wasn't locked to 120 as it should, now it is. 
I was getting 154 frames. That's very nice and all, but it doesn't work very well with, with me streaming. I've not been back to the Winter Chernerus character. No, I was. I really probably should. Like, that Winter Chernerus adventure was amazing. You know, the, I've got a DMR. Is that a zombie or a player? I think it's a zombie. I'm guessing it's a zombie. Yeah, it's a zombie. Chernerus is the OG map for Daisy, yeah. Uh, Queef dude, uh, that, that, what what a surprise! Uh, a dude called Queef that uses the word simp all the time uh, is, is uh, some thirteen-year-old troll. Who would have thought it? Right, so what was my... What I've, I've got... Yeah, we've got this Remington R700. I think we're going to go to the airfield. That was what I was planning on doing. Yeah, we'll go to the airfield and uh, see how we get on. I'll probably die and have to respawn straight away, but so be it. Rifles are slightly more inaccurate without a scope. Yeah, oh, that's not right. I may have just been missing him though. I, I actually really detest the uh, the iron sights on the tundra. I find them really hard. Like they, they, the sights are so so far away from the the bit you're holding of the gun. Uh, I find that I find more than any other gun of any decent gun. Like I much prefer the iron sights on the Savannah or the Blaze, for example, with a 308 gun. But nonetheless, I it, I, I still felt like I was hitting shots, and clearly I wasn't. You know, I I don't know. I. I just don't know what I was doing there. It's kind of tricky when you're being aimed at by three people, though. You you can't really uh, you can't really waste too much time aiming. You've got to shoot and then get back in cover. And the fact that they kept missing me when they've all got scopes with guns is kind of sad on their part, you know. Not gonna lie, I think AIUK are tier MZ simps. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, but yeah, some of what the questions were in that email, by the way, yeah, like, uh, I think the answer is I'd quite like to do some of those things, I think. My missus is uh, fairly interested in, she's, she used to work in a lab, uh, she's did, uh, she did a biology degree, so she, she might be interested in coming down the line. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll reply to the email. I'm sure Lottie will be streaming later. I'm sure she will be, just so you know. I'm sure she will be. But yeah, as a rule, streamers don't normally answer that question in other streamers' chats. For obvious reasons. Well... Did three of these or two of them? I feel like I've missed one. I don't know. Did I miss one or did I not? I don't know. Have I got any food? I've got, there's a party pack there. Need the party pouch. I did see it before, but I think we need the party pouch. So I don't actually have any food for it. I think we're going to need some of that. Yeah, really fucking solid day, aren't they? I'm going to start start calling my uh, my extra extra tight uh, Y fronts party pouches, and then go up to the missus and go, "Do you want to see what's in my party pouch, baby?" <laughs> I think she would like that. Do you want to see what's in my party pouch? I think that will go well, especially if I use that voice. Uh, 
Uh, a macho bag I've got there. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Need food? Find rice. Find tuna. Choose life. Excuse me. How long has she been dealing with my crap? Since we first met, I guess. The pouch is empty. That's not true. It's badly packed. <laughs> Do you want to rummage in my party pouch? <laughs> uh, Plastic Richie, thank you. So they're doing events from the 14th, are they? Well, the, the the official events that start on the 14th, right? And then the Lights Out starts on the 14th. That, that's a shame. I, maybe they'll be in Lights Out, but... I, I, I'm looking forward to Lights Out. A little bit nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Hi, Victor. I hope you're good, dude. Thanks for coming in. Jojo, Wisp, Dick Slap, Tinker Todd, Plastics. Thank you very much. 808, Nora Tech, Run Dog, and Search. Thank you all of you for the support. Thank God Halloween's over. Sidekick, you, you seem... Uh, Particularly positive today, I'd say, sidekick. Why not using the quick bar? I use the quick bar for the things I need in the quick bar. Melee weapons and knives and things. I don't need it for anything else, like the, the food or whatever. There's no point. If you mean why am I not showing the quick bar, I just think, think it gets in the way. So I use the quick bar, I just I don't have it visible. So I, I don't need it there, because I always put the things in the same place. Badly packed pouch. Is, I don't have a rat, Monica. God, if I get shared that fucking Chris Pratt thing of him doing a, like, uh, version of fucking Eminem. If I get shown that one more time... I'm never watching Guardians of the Galaxy again. <laughs> I'm sure he's gutted. And he's, he's pretty good, but fuck me, he's just singing a bit of like, like Eminem. I I've, I've must have been shared that about a billion times in the last week. What was the total raised? Gun exclamation uh, charity will bring up the link to the fundraising. It, it's currently sitting at around £67,600 plus gift aid on top, which makes it up to nearly 71000 if you include gift aid. So if you included gift aid on top and added that to the raising so far, I think it comes out at around about 143, which is fucking crazy. You've never seen Eminem tame a raptor. That's true. If there was one gun you could add to the game, what would it be? It would be a special gun that looks exactly like a blaze, but when you shoot it, it makes the sound. Subscribe to The Running Man's on YouTube! <laughs> and out pops a flag that go with a picture of my emblem on it. Like it, go, it has like a big bang written on the flag, and then next to it is my emblem. That's what I'd like to see. Guys, sorry, I'm struggling with the YouTube chat today. I've, I've seem to have minimised it like every three seconds. I sub on Twitch and watch on YTXD. I, I don't really know about the guns, Zar. I'm actually quite happy with the guns in the game. The only thing I'd like is a few more non-lethal things. So I'd love them to add the dark gun that... Like a tranquilizer gun or something like that. You know, a trank gun would be cool. Long time no see. How do you feel about the multi stream? More work? Lol. JD King, it's not any more work, is it? I, I still do the same stream. I'm just doing it to two different places at once. It's like a threesome instead of a twosome, you know? I'm basically having a threesome five days a week right now, you know? What's not to like, you know? I've got the stamina of a much more younger and virile man, clearly. Uh, in terms of how it, what it's like, it's, it's so far, it's helping my channel. The only thing it's done is it's kind of chopped, chopped my video views down. So overall, my channel is doing better, but my video views are doing worse. So there's that, you know. 
I, I think it's still working now. I think I'm happy enough. But I'm going to give it until sort of mid to end of February. And then see whether I've made it right or not. And change if needed then. But I don't think I will do. One thing I do know, and it's something I might put in the narration of a video or two. I've got lots of subs on YouTube, but there's only 31,000 people that have, have done the notification thing. So if you do definitely want to see a video from me in the future, make sure you click the notification thing and don't leave it personalised. Leave it all. But I don't normally talk about that, but 31,000 subs with the notification on out of 460 odd thousands is quite low, isn't it, really? It's almost like I've never mentioned it in the nine years I've been doing YouTube. Hi Harry, it's going alright dude, we just had a bit of a shortish run on uh, on uh, Azalea, couldn't really get a decent start to be honest, had a fairly long life but had a terrible gun, hit a guy in the head with an MP5 and he didn't go on com, which I kind of was expecting him to to be honest, uh, which was a shame but after that just struggled to get geared, being shot by the same group of geared dudes. Love the content less than three. I'm just going to go in. I would like some more. I'd like some more MP. Not MP4. I'd like some more M16 bullets. I'm feeling a bit framey at the moment, actually. I'm struggling a touch frame wise. It shouldn't be. I think it's just the lighting. You're set to all notifications, are you? Well, oh, GG to you. <laughs> want the two bullets. I don't need the... Uh Don't need the mag. It's a dead zombie there. Dead zombie there. If the doors are shut at this thing, he could be in there. It looks like the doors are shut. Just like the lights out trailer. I just heard him reloading. Anybody else comes, I'm fucked.
Come on. What are you doing? Here we go again. Fuck you, mate. What's your problem? What's your problem, man? Yo. You. What's your problem? My problem is you. Ouchies. How'd you like that? Bring you some patience. I speak for all of chat and say how proud we are of you. Uh, Saint Nick, Saint Nick definitely didn't bring me any patience. No. Oh, I'm gonna die. What are you doing now, anyway? I've got a grenade, but it what won't... I need five, five, six. What do you I need? Half of that. Okay. How do I get it then? How do I get it? Um, if you leave us, leave me be. Leave you be. I think I could do that. How can I trust you? Uh, I guess you can't. You did say fuck you when I when you first talked to me. That that's a bit of a tricky one, right? Yeah, buddy, that's true. How about you just put your gun away and come out with your hands up? Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea either. I definitely wouldn't do it if I were you. No way. No way is that a good idea. Yep. That's not a good idea. But I'd still do it if I were you. Why not do it? <laughs> Damn it! Fuck me dead! He may well be dead too. GG to him. What I've done there is press the wrong fucking hotbar button, so I've got the fucking sniper rifle in my hand. Oh, that sucks. GG to him. He pushed it and he, he deserved it, you know. Good job, Queefane here. He'd be telling me what an idiot I am, but... I, uh, I pressed the wrong hotbar button and ended up with my sniper rifle in my hand. So I was ready for his push, but when I, when I realised it was the sniper... I should have fired. I might as well have hip-fired, right? But that's annoying. That's one of those deaths where I'm going to be regretting my own actions, you know. It was pretty brave to uh, to push, but because he'd spoke, I could work out where he was, right? And that's why pushing, that's why grenades are really tricky, because you really lead yourself, you're just forcing a push, but 
it's very rare I get the wrong gun out in a pinch. I normally get the wrong, the right gun out. But if I'd have had the M16, I'd have won that, I think. But ifs and buffs. Ifs and buts, you know. I fucked it up. Then you pay the penalty, you know. Shit happens. What's lies, Mars? It's very rare when I'm when I need to get my secondary out. I get my primary out. That's not very common. Mars, I and I, I don't think that's true. I don't think I very often go for my secondary and get the wrong gun. I don't remember doing it in a long time, but maybe you know better than I do. It's very rare I mean to have my M16 out. Sometimes I'll have the wrong gun out and then I'll happen upon something I wasn't expecting. But when I know I'm about to get pushed, it's very rare I press the wrong button. We've said 1v1 me and Roblox, yeah. We are calling to inquire about your car's extended warranty. If you're interested, please push Nima 1. But for you, pushing number 2 works as well. I, the grenade may not have killed him. It might have gone too far into the room. He played that well, though. GG to him. But I'm really annoyed I had my sniper rifle in my hand. That's kind of funny. Kind of annoying. <laughs> We had to put a lot of effort in yesterday to get that gear as well. That's the bit that's kind of painful. I really worked hard for that gear yesterday, and now I've got to do it all again. That was really nice of me to let him win, yeah, if only I'd meant to. Yeah, I, I, I'd still rather, like, die like that to a geared guy at the airfield than, than and then have to reloot on Chernerus than be constantly running back to that same castle and playing the, uh, the clusterfuck that we were having to try and do on Azalea, you know? I, like, looting up on Chernerus is fun. It can it, You can get cool things happen along the way. We could end up teaming up with someone in two minutes, you know, but... I, uh, I, I don't regret the change, but I really wish I'd switched to the right fucking gun in the pinch, but there we are. Shit happens. was incredibly risky. This is why often when people say grenade, 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 like if you're a lone wolf, grenades are really tricky. Now, I, I still think that would have worked if I'd have switched and made, if I'd done it rightly, if I'd have done it the correct way, it probably would have worked for me, but even if I'd done it the correct way, I was still forcing a 50-50 push, you know, like... I could hold the angle, and if I'd done it right, then I probably would have won. But it's not... You, you lose your peaker's advantage. You're giving him the peaker's advantage as such, right? Uh, not that I, that mattered in that scenario, for obvious reasons, right? But uh, nonetheless, it's it's not... It's not easy as a lone to make grenades work for you unless you're inside it. Unless you can safely throw it and they can't immediately push out. Like, if they're upstairs in a building and you can throw it through the window... They, they often work, but if you're doing it in that style, when people are always going grenade, 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 if you've got a buddy that's holding the angle while you throw the grenade, you're laughing, but if you're on your own, you're causing some challenge, you know? Especially if you fuck up on what gun you get.
Wizard, I did draw a little thing. That That's really just about angles. Uh, but yeah, I think I did draw some weird thing. Oh, don't press one for English. GG. <laughs> Ah, it is what it is, you know. I, 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 I died because I switched to the wrong gun, and shit happens, you know. I, I'm not feeling like I did the other day when I was playing with Muller and Sauer, and I died because I like went straight onto a dead body when we'd heard the shots like five minutes before. I was really, really annoyed with myself then. I'm not like that now, you know. I, I pressed the wrong hotbar button and, and I died. Well, shit happens, you know. <laughs> regularity of the zombie bleeds. Jesus. I seriously doubt I'm going to get all these done. I've now got no bandages. Fuck me dead. I would be interesting to know if it killed him or not. I don't think it did. The grenade I had has got the shorter range. And I think it went far enough into the room that it won't have killed him. So I suspect he's still alive. When was the last time you said fuck me dead in real life while not playing DayZ? I probably say it nearly every day. No, normally only to the missus though, and, and not in a uh, like let let's do it baby way. Not in a do you want to play with my uh, my uh, party pouch kind of way. I don't think it might have done too much to him, BP. I think it went far enough into the room that it probably didn't do too much. He might it might have killed him if I was really lucky, but the kill range of that particular gun is relatively small. Sorry, that particular grenade. I just want to know. If I break my leg, we can always start again. Look, there's a fireman there. And now I know. I need a big, strong fireman to come and save me. <laughs> that one's got a satchel. The big one, you, you, one of your former colleagues is behind you. Whoa! Oh, you ruined a bag. That wasn't part of the deal, dude. <laughs> Thank you. You ruined, you ruined a bag. I needed that. Have the jacket or gas mask? Nah. Find everything here. I've got a tomaco. Look, tomaco. Tomaco. Do you have? Did you find any more bandages at the hospital? Well, one here. Oh, dude, that would be amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I, I just used my two because I'm a complete noob that gets injured all the time. On earth did she oh uh, grinds my gears good luck dude thanks for the bandage mind how you go <clears throat> he stopped talking now oh kind of cool how, how we have changed, you know. I, all I was looking for a second ago was a couple of bullets to fill up my, my M16 mags. Now I'm fucking creaming my pants because I've got a steak knife. 
Are you a different fella? Hello? You're not the same fella. Dude, you've got loads of oh, gear. Hello. Where have you where have you been? Oh, shit, hang on. Oh. Zombies are tricky I'll trickster. Be Nine months of running and I'm not tired yet. If you been to get that stuff, why how are you in this town with a blaze? Oh, I had just gone up past in a little bit last night and my buddy died, so I had to come back down here to meet him last night. Dude. Yeah. Oh, lucky you. I had a blaze once. Man, they're not too bad. I think they're shit. You should probably chuck that one away. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're dog shit. I'll, I'll carry it for you if you want. Would you mind carrying some food for me too? I, yeah, I'll carry, I'll carry the food bit. for you. I'll carry your shotgun as well if you like. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll settle for that though. Let's not get greedy. Oh, dude, thank you very much. Cheers. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. No problem, man. I'm going to go to the police station. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, what a nice guy. I, when he was in that corner, I was really close to trying to punch him out, you know. He, he's got no helmet on. He was in the corner. I could potentially have had him there, but... He seems like he's intentionally wearing the hunting vest. He's got no military stuff on. He's running around Berezino with no gun out. I don't think I want to punch that guy out, really. Even I've got my limits. I'm feeling salty about the whole switching to the wrong gun bollocks, but nonetheless, I... Uh, I, I still uh, don't think I can do that. Helmets make a difference to uh, shock damage, Tempe. But they have done for quite a long time, though. You know, only a small difference, but it, like a helmet, like a bicycle helmet or a fire station helmet, sorry, firefight helmet, they do make you go on con slightly slower, just a little bit. Where's the Christmas tree? Uh, shark, I think they'll be probably along by on the 14th by the sound of it. It's a bit like someone we played with before. Dodge sounds like a good shout, yeah. Well, Saturn, it, it, Saturn, it's the helmet you find in the fire station, but yeah, it's the firefighter helmet, obviously, yeah. Where's the Xmas emotes? It's not 12 days before Christmas yet, Redline. Just be, be happy with your Christmas jumper, okay? Can't wait to hear that next to the tree. It's going to be good. Looting the tree at Tissy Military Base, getting grenades out of Christmas presents. Uh, Dark Vet, cheers for the support. Cheers for the for the bits. Hawk, thank you very much for the 11 months. And Sir, some? 71? Su 9 M4? Whatever. Su 9 M71? That one. Oh, shit. Cheers, cheers for the uh, for the resubscribing. Paul, Redline would like his head back that you just bit off. <laughs> I didn't bite Redline's head off. I just caressed, caressed it sensuously. Yes, my name is shit. Sorry, Sue Nine. I I don't know how to say it. it I struggle so with with names that are like that. 
not your fault as much as it is mine, I think. I fucking wish I'd got the right gun out there. That's so annoying. It's very rare, rare I brave a uh, grenade in that scenario. Right? And the one time I do, I fuck it up. It doesn't even get that dark. I don't know why I'm even thinking about it. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year when it comes. Big Guy Flag Scotland. Uh, ooh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Georgie. Cheers for the support. They all float down here, Georgie. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't, I don't know, but terrible impression. I can't even remember how it talks. Fireman Dave's pretty hunky. IRL, Fireman Paul, I guess. Not hunky in the game. That that nice fella gave me all that food. Oh, let's just move on, shall we? Let's get away from this fucking shithole. Oh, that door's closed. Let's check this one. It might not have been open for a while. It might have something in it. Oh, it did. It had some shit shoes. We need Dave Angel, carried away by a moonlight shadow. Well, that sucks. Use the night. It's in the wrong train. Is it? I've got I've got plimsolls on. Come on. a lot of zombies on this hill today, isn't there? I'm glad I stealthed them rather than just running through. Ah, oh, Bones. Well, thanks for coming in, dude. Hope you're good. Gizmo, thanks for the 26. Princess Robot, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for the support. Both of you, thank you. I could probably have switched to that Christmas... Not Christmas, the Winter Cherneris character, but... Based on how my luck is going today, I think I'll only get that character <coughs> killed, so I might not do. I might save it for Sunday or something. Best place to loot in the game, wherever you are, I guess. I don't know, like... Tier 4 loot is at Tissy Military Base and certain parts of the airfield. Mishkino... Not Mishkino, sorry. Uh, Tricresta Military is Tier 4 as well, although I never really find too much there, but... I'd, it depends, really, but... I, I like I like looting for blazes and tundras and scopes and things, really, more so than the, the military stuff. Uh, although I don't play patient enough to be a, a sniper very often, I suppose, but... I think if you spawn in the north and you go to Troitsky military base, get yourself an SKS, you'll probably be doing okay. Or if you get lucky, maybe something like an M16 or a 74. Easy game for Liverpool next. Is it... Who is it? Uh, is it Man United at the weekend? I think they've got Man U coming up. I don't know if it's the weekend or not. He does look like Burnside. It's Crystal Palace next, is it? Yeah, that, that, hopefully they can win that. It is... Uh, I, I saw Klopp was getting annoyed again about the 12.30 kickoff thing. I think that really is getting on his nerves. Like, the presenter made a joke of it, and it was meant to be a joke, and I don't think Klopp saw the funny side. <laughs> Apparently he was getting angry. I didn't see it, but I, I've seen the news on it. 
I, I, it is crazy. They seem to get picked for the 12.30 kickoff, like, every time. Well, I've already drank at the well, actually. Normally I loot this town. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think we'll just, just run through. XK, it should say the name of the uh, the map in the title of the stream, dude, but we're on Chernerus. Big Z, I'm getting asked about the day before a lot. I'm certainly not playing it today. I, I might have a look at how it looks later on tonight. Sort of see whether I think it looks alright or not, but... If I do play the day before, it'll be after Lights Out event, which doesn't end until a week on Saturday, so... There's no day before coming from me anytime soon. Go to the airstrip for full NBC. I could do. The only problem is on this particular server, Riffy Boat is not gassed. I'd, I have to go to Tissy to use it. But yeah, I could. I might think about doing that. Yeah. It's lights out three days straight. Yeah, it is. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. Uh, there's there's no minimum amount you have to play or anything. You, it's just a, it runs for three days. So. Uh, yeah, I, well, last time we played about eight, eight hours-ish a day, something like that. I don't know, we'll probably do the same. Uh, Zevi, thank you. Cheers, cheers for the kind words. It, it went really, really well. Body Snatcher, it's streamed. It was streamed last year. Uh, it'll be streamed this year as well. Everybody in it is a streamer. Uh, all different shapes and sizes of uh, streamer, some on YouTube, some on Twitch. Uh, like, I think the biggest streamer I know of that's in it is Summit, which is very, very cool. Funky, is that... Is that from Smoke you're talking about? What is the answer? What is the answer from Smoke's VOD if you saw it? I don't know, Lars. We've not really talked about it. I would imagine somewhere around eight hours a day, just like regular streams, but I don't know. Apparently he's been saying on stream after that, Lottie, that he, uh, he was intending to. Or he was going to try, so I don't know. So, all right, then, Funky, you're being like, it's it, it's not very easy for you to, you're not giving as much to go on. There's five minutes in his stream. His VOD might be 12 hours long, keep you know. On, like, what what's what's the reason he doesn't play in events? You know, like you could just tell us. <laughs> like, I know something you don't know. <laughs> Scotty, it starts next Thursday, so a week today. Do you know you killed Sour yesterday? I don't think I did kill Sour yesterday, did I? When was that? No, I, I had a fight with Muller and Sauer. I knocked Muller unconscious and then Muller's friend killed me. Rusty, yeah, I've heard all of this. I mean, obviously, I've not spoken to spoken to smoke about it. You know, if he goes in it, great. If he doesn't go in it, great. You know, it's his choice. You know, it's all good. You know. Hello, holy shit! All right, I'm just gonna run. You're gonna waste your time. I've got more stamina than you.
got a gun. Fuck. Only a sporter. I think we can we can probably make it. It's a chambered sporter. following Dark, thank you very much for the support. Thank you. Uh, Woke Jeff, thank you. Gizmo, Princess, uh, Georgie, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot, all of you guys. Thank you. Hey, enemy agent, dude, you're right. Smoking Blue, I've never heard of Genocide Run, dude. The, the event from eight years ago that everybody knew was the uh, Survivor Games. So there's videos on my YouTube channel. There's the three-part series that shows you exactly what Lights Out is. But it's teams of three, uh, and only three players at the end from different teams can potentially win. And it's basically uh, three days where you can respawn, but on the last day when you're dead, that's it, you're out. And so it's like a two days to prepare, one day... One life only. If you're dead, you're fucked. Can anyone join the Lights Out event or is it invite only? I think there's only a couple of places left that are kind of been saved for the devs to ask people in. Uh, like, you need, to be, uh, you need to be a streamer that's streaming regularly on Day Z, And you probably need some kind of an audience. And I don't, I don't mean you need to be big, but you need to have been doing it a while. You know, like, like, if you just started streaming yesterday, you, you probably wouldn't get in, if I'm being honest. But... There's lots of different streamers, like I say, of all different shapes and sizes, from Summit all the way to, like, streamers that are getting maybe 20 to 50 views or whatever, I don't know. Serial Killer, hopefully they'll, hopefully we'll get enough uh, footage to make videos out of it, I would hope so, yeah. At the moment, my edited videos are getting really low views, though, so there's a bit of a balance to... It might be that... Uh, there's an there's an edited video once every two weeks rather than every week. I don't really know to be honest. There's another edited video coming at the weekend, but uh, my edited videos, what I pay the editor to make them, the videos aren't making back. <laughs> so that that's not necessarily a sustainable model at the moment. We'll see. I, I'm still going to get them done, but there might be slightly few. Uh, getting close to that Nintendo Switch. I think the Nintendo Switch is the next one. So if I get to level 10. Uh, although, it, I, I might not because I'm not streaming until Sunday after today. So I may not make it. What's the number in the left hand corner? When I was playing, when I was in game, it was the current sub count on Twitch. Zevi, well, you're here now while I'm streaming, which is cool, but yeah, yeah I, I completely understand it. I don't want to stop doing edited videos, but I need to find a balance. You know, there aren't many people that are doing really highly edited videos that are long. I mean, like, say, 50 minutes or an hour long. There aren't many people doing those weekly on YouTube at all on DayZ, you know, like, Smoke does really regular videos, Amish said does, and one or two others, but most people that are doing really longer ones are doing maybe one a month or something and I've been trying to do one a week and people moan at me about how, how many there are you know not always are they really edited very very long ones I suppose but nonetheless uh, I, I, I want to keep doing weekly videos but I need to see if the YouTube algorithm will settle down because at the moment uh, when I release a video in the first three days 40% fewer oh, sorry having looked at it I'm getting about 40% of the exposure from YouTube I was getting before I was streaming. So streaming has massively hurt my click-through rate.
streaming the, the, the this I've talked about it a lot so I'll only try to keep it brief but while I'm live and I'm streaming the click-through rate is really really strong so people see that I'm live and think oh I'll go and watch for a little while so people get shared my stream and the click-through rate is really really good so then when I release a video the click-through rate is like normal click-through rate my videos have it's not quite as good so YouTube is preferentially sharing my streams and not sharing my videos as much because now my click-through rate on my videos doesn't look as strong as once it did. So uh, before I started streaming, my videos were getting shared with many more pe people when they first released than they are now. Rhubarb, I've tried all of that already. It doesn't make any difference, dude. I, I released this week's video on Monday on a day I didn't stream. The last video before that came out on Friday, the day I didn't stream. Don't make any difference. I'm, it, it's not because people are choosing not to watch it. It's because less people are being shown it as an option. That's why I, it won't matter what day I release it. Tillon, uh, that's cool. I, I, every VOD at the moment is saved on my channel. I, I've just created this morning a little playlist, which is like a best of kind of thing. So. On my YouTube homepage now, there are three streams, which I think are the best three streams so far. Very recent, actually, all of them. But So I'm, I'm going to kind of like, if there's a really good, like today so far, today's stream is not going to be a best of stream, let's say. I've enjoyed the stream, but it's not been that that fun-packed in the game, let's say, you know. So, But if it's a really good stream, I'm going to put it in a little playlist so people have got like, they'll effectively be a bit like the unedited videos I used to do. Oaken Bear, that's weird. Are we talking about people not subscribed? It, both subscribers and non-subscribers, Dark Bear, but it's more just impressions on YouTube in general. So, like, before I was streaming, my videos were far more likely to get shared. Uh, my, my videos were far more likely to get shared on other Daisy videos or other Rust videos or other similar videos. Now they're not being shared as much. The music was made by Wilson, who is linked in all of the video descriptions. He should be linked in the stream description as well on YouTube. This is why I see some YouTubers have like four different YouTube channels for different variations of their content, so one doesn't count. Possibly ever forward, yeah. It's, it's something that has crossed my mind that it might be wise to have a stream channel, but... I don't think I can... I've only been doing it for a month, right? I need to try it for a while and see. Starting a stream stand channel seems counterintuitive. It doesn't seem to make sense. I'm, I make videos on DayZ. I should be able to stream DayZ on my same channel. I shouldn't need a separate one, but I'll see. I, I, who knows? Are you sure I got recommended your video but I saw the live already? Chucky, the uh, the last video I made was not a live... I've, I've released a video uh, on Monday that is... Uh, that is not something you'll have seen on a live stream, dude. But that that's... I, I'm definitely sure. I know I'm getting less impressions. Doesn't mean that people that are subbed won't see them. But I'm getting about 40% of the impressions I was getting, so... It's definitely affected my how YouTube is not sharing my videos as much because it wants to promote it wants to promote my live streams. YouTube the YouTube algorithm has said he's live streaming. That's better for us. That seems to be better for him. We'll promote that. So it's good in a way. It's good for the live streams, but it's bad for the edited stuff, you know. Sticking my neck out, but neck out. But I think the day before would be a dumpster fire. Jay, I think you're uh, you're not sticking your neck out. You're thinking what most everybody else thinks, really. I I am not sure what I think, but I don't know. It's certainly not exactly had the best of uh, pre-launches over the last yeah. eighteen months or so, is it? When is the mods Xmas party? I myself am attending a self checkout, not not an employee Xmas. Oh dear, that's that's not fun. <laughs> Pepsi, yeah, it, uh, 
it, it might help a tiny bit. Oh, that sucks. There's nowhere for me to trap them in here. I can't easily kill them either, so this is going to be a challenge. What is the hype challenge? Yeah, I've got wilds, Lottie. <laughs> Sorry, low blow. <laughs> uh, what is the hype challenge? It's something that I meant to be promoting, and I'm not really... Uh, it's... it's uh, Twitch have done it before. It's it's a very cool thing actually, but basically as as people sub or resub or bit or whatever, it adds little XP to that bar. And the higher the bar goes, the sort of better a prize I might win. I think I'm currently on level nine. Level ten is a Nintendo Switch, which is the prize I kind of really want. I actually would like a Nintendo Switch, that would be pretty cool. But uh I uh what you're meant to do is like have the hype thing and then create some hype that's the point you're meant to talk about it you're meant to uh you're meant to sort of tweet about the fact that you're doing a hype challenge and what it is to try and generate some extra traction on subs and bits and stuff but i haven't done that i've just added it i've just added it and then thought i'd see how it goes you know like rather than try and like use it as a tool to, to I'm not using it in the right way basically I'm just put it on and then see what happens I just completed the task you requested red lines christmas gift jelly of the month club is ordered where would you like me to send it uh uh I don't even know how to answer that question oh fuckity fuckity fuck I don't know how I'm going to do this. Dark Vet, dude, thank you for the support. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Damari, Damari and uh, JG, I, I don't really know what's going on, but can we just stop bickering, Damari, in the chat and just move on? I don't really know what's going on. I've not seen any of your messages, but if you're not happy with another viewer, maybe stop adding them with messages and just move on. That would be good. Domery. Let me get your name right. Domery Nolo. Life's gonna get ruined before I kill him. This is like the ending for the grey, yeah.
I know I'm bleeding, that's okay. Before the knife is ruined, I just I just needed to cut cut that up because now I can make bones out of the hooks, see? I can make bones out of the hooks, see? We're on Chernerus, yeah. I guess we could try the whole you want to eat one of your brothers? Here you go, eat your brother, mate. Now fuck off! <laughs> It only delays them for about 30 seconds, so it's highly unlikely I'm going to get away, but we can try. See what I mean? Like, everyone says, throw the meat, it'll work. It never really works. White fangs are coming. Yeah, you fuck off! Lots of uh, likes on the YouTube stream at the moment. Thank you for liking the stream. It does help a little bit, so if you're watching and you can, that'd be good. If you could also fix these wolves so I don't get killed by them, that'd be good too. My God. I blame that fucker aiming at me with his sport, you know. It's them that push me into this mess. Look at that, we're still looting up as we go. Throw a nade. L over always. Why pay for Twitch when you can YouTube for free? I don't fully understand what you mean, Hickers. Like, Twitch is free as well. I don't have any bullets for the long haul, no. is completely disobeying the laws of physics. I think we're a bit unlucky to get badly damaged bones, to be honest. Throw meat on the ground. Yeah, like I did last time. That worked, Libor, didn't it? I could throw meat on the ground to get me to the next place. I've got a BK. We could go to these tents here, and if we get lucky, we could maybe get a, like a couple of BK rounds. This might work. I guess we'll do that. I, I threw the meat with the less meat in it, if that makes sense. So at least it'll allow me to get to somewhere. a pokeball. Daisy had something a bit like a pokeball, wasn't it? You could trap like a bear in this little circle thing. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Well, I wasn't expecting that, eh? I'm not going to lie. Can you be running away now? trying to get two at once then. I've got six bullets and there's not six zombies so I'll guess I can do it. Oh they just ran away. That was the sound of them running away. They're actually going. I might cut them up in a minute. Let's just check what's in the tents. They've done the, the cry havoc and, and loose the dogs of uh, run away, but they didn't. It, that one didn't seem to get the message. He was like, fuck this, I'm not retreating, I'm going to eat the bastard. And then he wouldn't go, he was still there. I'm trying to cut up the wolves for food, but I, I probably don't need to. I think I'm just going to leave them actually, just probably wise not to stick around this area too much. And uh, why, eat, why eat wolf meat when you can have tack back, you know, like, tack back's the way. Right, I wasn't going to go this way actually, I'm going to change directions. I'm going to go towards Severograd and then on towards uh, West Evac, not West Evac, sorry, Troitsky, because I've got that org, if I can get some bullets, Normally I would go off towards Devil's Castle and do Govosdano and uh, like hunting spawns but because I've just got that Org AX and now I've wasted all my bullets now on the wolves and shit we might as well go towards where we can get more 556 bullets. You can eat you can eat rotten mushrooms if you eat them gradually like one and then not another one for a good while. Why is there a Twitch and YouTube delay? Mr. Krause, YouTube is slightly behind Twitch because it, you, Twitch uses low latency, uh, very low latency. So does YouTube. But if you want to stream at 1440p, you can't use the quickest latency. You have to use low, not very low. So YouTube is slightly behind because it's better quality and it needs a bit more processing. They can't do it on low latency with higher bitrate and such. Hey Spider-Man, how you doing? What your excuse in school, Crowd Control, was that you had to hand your work home, your homework in late because it's going to be 1440p. <laughs> Sheltered. I think they were all the same pack, dude. It was just a bit glitched because of the zombies. It was kind of a bit stuck where it was doing, doing a bit of back and forth. YouTube can't see the messages, no. They'll hear them if I read them out, though. That much they'll hear. Your homework's going to be late because it's higher quality work, yeah. <laughs> and then you got an E minus C me. <laughs> so yeah, uh, does Streamlabs give you a filter to provide viewers with more gamma or is there something else you're using? Scribble, it, it's just another scene. So I've got one scene set up for Daisy, and then another scene set up for Daisy gamma. So I'm changing to another scene and that scene's got a filter on it that increases the gamma. So. It's just another game capture, but the gamma with a gamma filter applied.
Can you see both chats? Hunter Cannon? No, I can't. I'm completely ignoring YouTube chat. I'm not seeing it at all. Not seen it since I started. Do I use Streamlabs OBS? No, I don't, Fergo. Uh, it's actually better multi-streaming with OBS at the moment. There is a... Uh, there is a little uh, extra nubbin you can download. I forget the title. What's it called? You, well, there's something you can download that allows you to change the resolution. Streamlabs won't allow me to do 1080 to Twitch and 1440 to YouTube. Dog's doing okay here, because, yeah, he's doing pretty good. YouTube has ads, Wizards, yeah. YouTube has got ads too. Very nice, Wasted. I personally don't want to venture anywhere any further than Twitch and YouTube. I guess somewhere else other than Kick might be worthwhile, but I, I don't think Kick is for me. It could have been 308, couldn't it? That'd have been nice. Haven't done this route that we're doing right now in ages. Where am I going? Well, the plan was to kill a dude in the camo building at Bash Hill, but I fucked it up and died. So now the plan is to get some gear and then try not to fuck up and die. I'll probably do okay at getting the gear, but the fucking up and dying, that tends to come naturally for me. Start making TikToks, old man. Uh, I don't think Daisy is that good for TikTok, personally. It, it works. I know there's a few that do it, but I don't think Daisy is... Uh, Daisy brought down to a minute. There's some YouTube shorts on my channel. Some of them are kind of funny, but I don't think Daisy lends itself as much to TikTok as other things do. You know, it's like... Daisy's a long game, and like you do get some cool little moments, but it's very diluted down. It... Nothing wrong with it, but it's not exactly where I'm, I'm focused content-wise at the moment, you know? Like, like, 50 second, one minute. I know TikTok, you can make longer videos now, but I don't think that's what people want on TikTok. They want the short, snappy shit, don't they? Ah, I see. You want me to do dancing on Tickle Tockle. Well, I'm sure that would go down like a case of syphilis. TikTok is huge in gaming right now. Definitely need to be on it regardless of the game. Well, I'm not on it. I'm not saying you're wrong. You're probably right, but... The dude that's pretending to me on to be me on TikTok isn't getting many views. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know if, I, if the real me would get many views either. I, I don't... I, I, can't, I understand the appeal of short format content. It's just not something that's right in my radar right now. There's absolutely no money in TikTok, Penlinker, but that's not really why I'm not doing it. If it, if I really believed it would grow my audience loads, I'd be doing it, but I, I don't think it will right now. Redline, I don't know what you mean, dude. You must be thinking of somebody else. I was going to go up. No, I'm not going to. I was going to go to the police station, but I think we'll just go straight up this way. Yeah, the way they make money on Tickle Tockle is with, like, affiliate links or recommending a product. And, like, so most of the people on TikTok that are making money, it's when they, they'll do their regular content and then there'll be one that, oh, I've just found this new fleshlight. It's really good. You could try it too. And then they make their money on that. Yeah, and that that's where the money comes from on Tickle Tockle. But I, uh, I I, don't have the time for anything else right now. It was in my mind to keep making YouTube shorts and then port those shorts to TikTok at some point, you know. And it may well happen at some point from me, you know. I might do it, but 
it's there's always something new to focus on you know and tiktok's not even in my top three of things i need to sort out right now merch is probably number three i don't know i don't even know what's number one and two did i say fleshlight yeah fleshlight yeah why is there no running man's fleshlight there's actually one of uh, TRMZ Enterprises. There's a few products. We're, we're making spunk guards for, for drinks. Uh, every every drink needs a spunk guard, like to go on the top. Uh, it will also work to help stop drinks getting spiked, but it'll also stop them getting spunked as well, which is pretty useful. That's a callback to a stream about seven or eight years ago, by the way. Uh, and the other product we're going to be making is the self-cleaning fleshlight, you know. I've never seen a fleshlight, I hasten to add, but one thing I, I'm sure is that after you're finished with said fleshlight, there must be at some point a period of shame where you have to then clean out the fleshlight. <laughs> Hope no one's eating. <laughs> like, self, self cleaning. They are dishwasher safe. Oh, God, yeah. What's that in th what's that in there? Don't worry, Mum. It's it's my special cup. I got that from the cinema. Yeah, that bit there. That's where the straw goes in. <laughs> oh fuck! <clears throat> Cut to the next day. And your mum's made you a nice milkshake in your fleshlight. <laughs> I couldn't fit much in, dear. <laughs> Hot fix, yeah. How long did it take you to have a consistent stream audience? Fergo, I uh, I didn't start streaming. I started on YouTube. So I, I didn't stream for about 10 months after making videos. My first stream was around... I had about 4,000 YouTube subscribers. So when I started streaming, I had about 20-ish viewers, 20 to 25. So I, I've never had no viewers on Twitch. I started with some because I did YouTube for a long time first. So uh, I got quite lucky with Twitch, though. I, I was on... 20 to 25 viewers when I started that was like in April of 2015 and by June of 2015 which isn't very very many months later you know I I was twitch partnered so it, I, I did grow quite quick and get partnered really quite quick you know what a moment to arrive in the stream you know it duck right I'm just going to quickly check here I just want to check that Wherever it went, this thing. Oh, there. Right, that's going to go well. I'm going to do well acquiring targets. I can't even see the fucking feed check. You're ambidextrous, metric, I am. Hi, Golden Monkey. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. How long would you say it takes to learn a map? Some people really struggle with map learning. Some people are quicker than others, but it takes quite a lot. If you if you mean something like Chernerus, it certainly takes more than a hundred hours to really start knowing it on a basic level. I think like like you don't really need to learn the map. No, you need to learn loot routes, right? But you can pick up some loot routes relatively quickly. But learning the map in its in full detail is a much bigger thing. You're gammonized, yeah. You are indeed gammonized at the moment. The spunk guard thing. Just, I've just seen someone saying, I've just made a drink and now there's spunk in it. Came after I'd, I'd read a story about a man that had been put in prison... Because he, somebody else had uh, contracted, uh, 
forget what it was. Some kind of STD. And it was it was traced to a cup of uh, coffee that they drank at work. And one of the other workers had been applying some special sauce to the worker's drink. <laughs> I think it might have been a hip or something. I, I can't remember the full story. It was a long time ago. But that was what it was. So, uh, yeah, that's where spunk guards came from. It's a niche product, but it's something you probably would want to be sure you can avoid, right? Bison, uh, sometimes people that know the map will not loot where they spawn and try to run in more quickly, so like newer players will often spend uh, many hours looting around where they started because they've never seen it, they've never known, they can't easily travel somewhere quicker, you know, so sometimes more experienced players won't loot where they spawn and they'll run away somewhere, so you might be like, you might be bumping into people with no gear because they're trying to get somewhere better for loot more quickly. I think the shots we heard were at the military base and not here. Hello Paul. Just say my name, that's all anyone really wants. Uh B for Radness, dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in, thank you for the resub. <laughs> These are losing their aggro fairly quick, aren't they? That's actually kind of vaguely useful for Zeds, I suppose. I'd love to find myself a box of 556 or something. That would be really cool. like to drink at that well but I think we're going to wait for a minute. I, I maybe might find a canteen in one of these sheds. Kind of weird. It feels like these sheds have been looted, but the uh, like maybe the server restart was when they'd done the civilian barracks, but they hadn't done the the sheds because these doors are all open, but the barrack doors were closed. Restart was about half an hour ago, just over. May have what been do a woman and a bar have in common? Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Oh dear me. 
Uh, well, if you say so. <laughs> oh dear. Here's for the support, Kenster. I think. So that dead zombie, they might have been here while I was here. They might, they might have left. They might have left just before I got here, but I didn't kill that zombie, obviously. They hadn't been over that side. The medical hadn't been looted, so zombies despawn in about six minutes, which means that they didn't bother with those. Maybe they were looking specifically for a scope. Maybe they're in that house right now. I don't know, but that's strange, isn't it? I don't believe they went in the barracks and the medical because the doors were all closed and they hadn't closed any of the other doors, so I suspect they, uh, they just didn't loot it. I did loot this, however. One time I was being cheesy and asked a woman at the bar what her star sign was and she said stop. <laughs> oh dear. She liked your moves then. Tenster Reefer Front Butner. Thank you very much for the new sub. OMG Digital Kid, thank you very much for the support too. Uh, it's for the new subs. Uh, Sparky Mark and uh, Brutian. Dark Vet, thanks a lot for the bits and subs and things. Thank you. I want to drink my tea and drop my coaster. ZG, uh, the Lights Out event is on Thursday the 14th of December, that's when it starts. Oh, it Dev Fergo, if players are nearby they don't despawn, that's right. So if players are within a close proximity, it might even be close to 100 metres, but... They don't, if you kill zombies in a barrack and then you stay in that barrack, they won't leave. So, it's six minutes after the players left the area. I'm not really ready for this. I've got a shit vest, a bright blue bag, and one gun that's not very good. This is not a, this is not a recipe for success. You're usually done in six minutes. Aren't we all? Isn't Zagoria unlimited stamina? I don't know. For a second I thought I saw someone in that window there, that one. I think it was a tree poking through. We did hear shots before here. Wave, dude, thanks for coming in. Hope you're good. Hi, Matt Mahoney. Yeah, we're doing okay. Not had the best of streams today, but today is still young. Should have checked to my right there. We saw dead zombies down the hill. That means there's likely to be players here.
it would be absolutely fucking amazing if I could luck out on an SKS or something in here. Great if you could vault through that window. Right, if, if you're really struggling with night time, you might be on first person, but first person is darker than day than third person, so if, you, if you're having real problems with night time in the game and you're playing first person, it's kind of intended. There isn't a great deal you can really do. Uh, you're meant to use, like, the chem light you spawn with and then loot a head torch and so on, you know. It might not be a good idea to go around a military base at night with a head torch on, but some of the towns, it's actually surprisingly okay, you know, like... People say, oh, you'll just get shot. But if you loot around a town during the day, you'll just get shot. It's easy. It, it doesn't make it any more likely. Maybe a tiny bit, but less less than people think. Vero Slash. Well, thanks for coming in. Didn't even know I've been streaming before. <laughs> now I'm properly stuck. Oh, GG, Paul. weird to get a zombie out here. I'm just looking for dudes a little bit. Possibly dead dudes from a firefight. Kind of weird, the doors are all shut. I don't think that's going to land here. No red flare at night. Please give me the stamina. Oh my god! Well, NBC kit there. Is that full? That's full, isn't it?
They may already be dead. They may have been the ones that were getting shot at, which is why they the car's just static. Kind of hoping to try and get up. There's a track up this way. If I can get to it, but this is tricky. for a long time. I've not driven a car up here, I don't think ever. So I, I'm guessing that this was getting shot at and they had to come down the hill and jump out. But a full NBC kit, there is a permanent gas zone on this server. I'm guessing the loot at the permanent gas zone is epic and we're at the right part of the map to just go and try and get there. if you drive outside the map anyway. I think the car brakes. There's actually a bit coming up which is impossible to pass, I think. This is a convoy spawn, is it? Or is this always here? I think this is always here. I haven't been here for fucking ages. This is too long to be a convoy. It's not a real convoy. It's a, it's a fake convoy. Fake. Fake news. I haven't got any shotgun shell. What shells are in this? There you go. rubber slugs anyway, fuck that. Right, I've got boots already. What have I got and what have I not got? I've got boots and I've got a jacket. So I need trousers. I need the hood. We'll put the gloves on. So we've got boots, trousers, jacket, gas mask, hood. That's all we need. Sixty ads in twenty minutes, dude. I think you deserve more ads. What we need is more, more ads. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> How many seconds per ad if you've got sixty in twenty minutes? Here's PFC. Take it easy, dude. Thanks for coming in. Oh, oh. there we go. It's fine. I need to cut in at some point fairly soon, but I'm going to keep going this way.
think I might just uh, have one of these things to eat while we're at it. Let's eat this. Have I actually got anything? Oh, no, I haven't. I, what, let's make another knife right quick. Am I taking the spark plug with me? No, because I'm going to get back in the car as soon as I've done this. I'm only, I only stopped here just to go in this thing. Not the one. That's the one. You think the mods are on commission? Either that, or they're just trying to avoid me getting, uh, getting hooked on some boring-ass fucking... We want the stream to be free, you fuck! Conversation. That's what it really is. <laughs> the stream is free, by the way, but... Yeah, there are some ads. Tough shit. Uh, Pest, thank you very much for the Prime. Uh, CKY Dave, uh, thank you very much too. This could be great. I've never been to the gas zone on this server, but a BK-18 is not the best of things to be taking, but I think it'll be alright. It's possible this track might not go where I need it to go, but we'll see. Well, I haven't been up here for ages. This is just before Star ER. Quite a few people build bases in there on different servers, but I haven't been up here in so long. Certainly haven't been up here this year. I don't think I need the earplugs for now. It's not that bad. Star is actually a decent place to loot for like a Mosin or something like that. It's not a bad place to loot. But we ain't looting for Mosins. We're going for a uh, gas zone. This is not the way. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I don't want to go that way. Fucking hell. Reverse, reverse, flip, reverse it. I think that is not conducive to reversing accurately. I don't think I might end up back on the edge of the map again, but we'll see. Did I come from there? I think I turned left when I needed to go this way. Maybe, I don't know, I think I might be going the wrong way, but we're working out, probably. I want to go that way. I 
think this track leads to the end of the map again, but that'll be okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's a beast of a rig, to say the least, yeah. Uh, Boomer, thank you very much for the bits as well. Very, very kind. Uh, CKY Dave, PES, thank you. PC or PC, thank you. Here's for the support, right? We need to get left. There's a valley at the bottom of this that's not so good. lake at the left there. This is kind of good. We're doing all right. Okay. Get helicopter crash sites in this field. Roadblock down the bottom here is going to be a bit fucky, but hopefully we can do it. Wait, no. Thanks for the tutorial. The many ways to kill and get killed. Love you, bye. Dude. I'm certainly good at finding new ways to die. Not particularly pleased with the route I've chosen here. I haven't driven along this bit. I don't remember if I've done it pretty maybe once ever, I don't know, but anyway, we're okay, we're back on the back on the lane. I'll probably prang it on this convoy down here. This is not a convoy you can loot. Get military zombies here. There's a roadblock and there's a few different things that can hang me up here. I need to get onto that road on the other side. track the other lane isn't it? I never run on this road ever. Garrett dude thank you for the gifted sub hope you're good dude. Judge Zed thank you very much for pop swap before that deranged and uh, smacula thank you very much for the support guys thank you. This is good this is taken as the, the gas zone on this server is at the uh, uh, Tissy radar building we're going to end up right there, I think. 
Silvio, lights out, it's exclamation lights out, so it's a command to tell you when lights out is and all about it, that's all. People are asking every day, so it's just a, it lets you know what the command is for info. Love you, bye. Oh, I read it as a message, but yeah, there you go, that's why. Every day now, people are coming in saying, is it lights out, is this lights out, when is lights out? So that's just a command that's letting people know how to find it. Anything with an exclamation in front of it is the streamer letting you know what the command is to, to find out whatever you might want to know. The sound of the engine made me think there was another car for a minute. Yeah, I'm trying to keep on the edge a bit. We're, we're getting close to where we need to be now. This is not a million, sorry, the radar's not a million miles away. dude that left this car though they or it must have been a group I'm guessing for how many uh, how many outfits they had maybe one but possibly not but he must have put in some serious effort to get all of that in or they must have put in some serious effort to get all that NBC look, you know they're not going to be happy having had their car stolen I'd imagine Airbus turbo heater. We are kind of close to where I could just stop, but I'm going to try and get as near as I can. Hip play, dude. Well, I hope you don't get in bother. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Freeboard, dude. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, for the gifted subbing, dude. Thank you. Perfect. Like a glove. Probably wanted to go a little bit further than that, but... Do I usually play vanilla servers often? Shiv, I play mostly lightly modded and occasionally vanilla, you know, like... When I'm playing on a server like this, this is not a great deal different to, to vanilla, really. It, slightly easier to get a military weapon, slightly harder to get a, like a sniper rifle on this server. I don't think I'll ever find that, to be honest. That that car. I think that car's done now.
One, one sec, guys. It won't be long. Forget to set the car alarm. Chirp, chirp, the tarfu. Yeah, I've been talking away. Sorry, I muted. I have been talking away. My bad. Sorry. I've been talking about the skybox. I've been talking about all sorts of shit. Uh, but I hadn't unmuted from when I text my daughter. Which is kind of smart, isn't it? Well done, Paul. Pro streamer. Dizen, uh, Atticus, thank you very much for the resubs. Appreciate it. Treble Ray, Julius, thank you very much for the resubs too. Uh, cool, thank you. Cheers for tuning into the vids. I appreciate it, dude. I don't think SKS is jammed, Dark Man. I don't think I've ever had an SKS jam. I could be wrong. Yeah, I. The, the text from my daughter. She she wants to watch uh, the new uh, Wonka film tomorrow at the cinema. Sorry, not tomorrow, Saturday. I've got to be honest. I didn't even know it was out, but I was kind of wanting to take her to watch the Hunger Games, so she wants to watch that. She'll win. I, I think it's... Uh, is it Timothy Chalamet? I did reply to a couple of people in the chat, in the YouTube chat, Travis, just now. I fucked it up, though, didn't I? I feel like I've seen the story of Willy Wonka enough, but I think this is when he's younger. I don't think it's the same one. Yeah, there's, a, there's another Hunger Games like, set earlier on. I'm not quite going the right way. Will I try the day before game? Love, Booba. Uh, probably, but... Well, possibly, but definitely not today. Uh, I've got a big DayZ event that myself, Sal Sweet and Molly Yogurts are going in uh, that starts on Thursday next week. I don't want to start playing a brand new game so soon. Like, I'm only streaming... I'm, I'm streaming today, then I'll be streaming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then it's the event. So there's only three more streams until the event starts. So I'm not going to start playing another game when there's only three streams between now and the biggest Daisy event of the year. BP, well, there's always been, like, stories from another angle or, like, reimaginings as long as forever, but... 
it is kind of tricky. I think you're right. There is there is a lot of laziness in Hollywood these days. But also, there ain't actually that many stories to tell. You know, they're, they're, it's very formulaic. You know, like I don't know, like it, it, there isn't that much you can do. Like like good guy wins the day, bad guy fails, good guy teams up with good guy, or whatever love story. Or there aren't actually hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different types of story. There's only a few. Sports star done bad, sports star done good, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It is fairly limiting what you can actually do. I know that sounds crazy, but there are, there are billions of new stories to tell. I, I don't know, like seeing... Some films can be really good in that way, you know, like when you've got like a... I don't know, like taking the Willy Wonka one, for example, like when you've got it more of a, like when he's a younger dude, so you're not, if it's just another version of Charlie Bucket gets a golden ticket and whatnot, then the, uh, that, that's beyond dull, like we've, we've seen enough of that, but it's not, is it? it? It's from when he's younger, how Willy Wonka, like, got the factory or whatever, and so I think that's, there's enough merit for a story like that, there's enough interest, but they, what they like is surefire winners, don't they, Hollywood? So if they make that one, they think they're more likely to get success with it. So they 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 stick to something that's likely to get traction and do well. Right. I think I've got everything. Might just take that in case we get a gun while we're there. Might need the food as well. I, I suppose I can't eat it actually, so let's not. Right, I'm in a pine tree just on the edge of a downslope. Tree board, dude, thank you for the bits. I, I, go slip some lead into dudes. I do agree with what you're saying though. It has become really kind of dull. Like, what they will do. I don't know if there's a new area here or if it's just gassed and it's like top tier loot. I've no idea. MK frame. So we've found quite a few of those mags. We've found mags for that particular gun. Two sixty rounders. nice thing with this building is it's actually quite small so it's there's not actually that much to loot I hope we get more than 260 round mags I, I really would like a, a vest and a gun I don't think that's too much to ask Oh, job, yeah, it should be in the title. This is Chernerus. We're on a modded server, so there's uh, it's a different version of Chernerus, if you like. This bit's not normally gassed on most servers. Does that combine with that then or what? 
Probably need a uh, probably need a tool of some sort. Yeah, I was checking the filter. I was just trying to get the maximum juice out of it. It is quite concerning the noise from the near empty filter belly. It's pretty scary. 0 0.50 Desert Eagle. That's not a regular one. That's a different one. Need a screwdriver. MVG scopes suck. MVG scopes on a server that don't get dark. Doesn't get very dark is kind of pretty pointless. Well, the loot actually hasn't been that OP. This, this gun is meant to be a, a very good gun. But we haven't got any mags for it. We could go to Tissy and try and get away with it, but we're actually not very geared for Tissy. Not very geared at all. So this is a modded Desert Eagle that takes 0 .50 rounds of some sort. So it's not like the, the regular Deagle in the game takes 357. This one takes uh, something way more powerful. Probably a specialist round that to go and try and find a mag for. Andreas, dude, thank you for the gifted sub. Very kind. I don't think there's anything else here, but they might have added something, so let me just have a double check. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else here. I was kind of hoping that they've added more buildings. It's a bit of a shame that, like... Having a gas zone here for high-end loot is kind of cool, but it's, it's not much of a building to check, you know. It'd be cool if there was a bit more, but never mind. So on this server, this is like the god-tier weapon. This is the best gun you can get on this particular server. And you have to make it, and you can only get it inside the gas zone. So it's a very good gun, but it's not much use to me right now. At least we've got both parts. We can go to Tissy. If we get lucky, we can get a mag. Now I've got to try and find where my fucking loot is. over here. Oh, please be right. If I'm not right, I am going to really struggle. I don't know where my loot is. Possibly it's one of these trees here, I don't know. For nearly seven years I've been watching you playing the game, I stopped playing back then. Hope you're okay. Leaderward, dude, thank you very much. Where the fuck did I put my loot? It was on the edge of the trees, it wasn't... It was like right on the edge of the trees. I don't think it was this one. I thought it was this tree here. It was a bit more up on the slope, I think, but I, I really thought it was here. I don't fucking know. Is it more over this way? I definitely didn't get that far diagonally across from it, did I? I don't think I did. Maybe I was more over that way. It 
It wasn't in the gas. No, I'm just staying on the edge of the gas now because I know I was on. I was above the slope as I left, so I know I was on this slope. Maybe it was a bit further over this way if there's more pine trees, but I, I, I thought it was those pine trees there. If there's more pine trees on this slope this side, maybe it was this side, but I, I can't I can't work it out. I don't fucking understand. I might have to go back and watch the VOD. Now, to be fair, what, what I've left behind is only clothing. It's not that big of a deal, but I should be able to find it. This is stupid. I'm sure I was in the right place where I was before. I, d I don't really understand. I think that was where I was. On the edge of that ridge where the pine trees are. It was in, there was two pine trees and I put it in the back one of the two, but I, I don't know, I thought it was here. are not correct. Put it between two birch trees, not pine trees. I thought I was in a pine tree, dude. I'm pretty sure I was. Right, there's only one thing to do. There's only one thing to do. It's pretty obvious what we need. Let's not get killed while we do it though, eh? That would be nice. Fuck me, this is stupid. Twitch. Channel. Mine. Running man's. Previous VODs. Videos. Last broadcasts. Today's. I'm in a pine tree just on the edge of a down. Done bad, sports star done good, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It is fairly limiting what you can actually do. So I'm in a load of silver birch right now. I know that sounds crazy, but there, there are billions of new stories to tell. They're smaller pine trees. They're not the same pine trees I, I I'm looking know, like around. Seeing some films can be really good in that way, you know, like when you've got like a That's so weird. It's just for such a weird area. This like right? taking the Willy Wonka one, for example, like when you've got it more of a like when he's a young. I suppose I can't eat it actually, so let's not. So let's see what line I I. So I'm right, going I'm straight up the just hill on the edge of a down slope, and then. Ah, uh, look, I'm, I'm way over. Really okay, kind of dull. Right. Uh, 
so you do watch yourself. Only in a rerun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was a pine tree. It was. My, I was actually going the right way when I went this way, so I was more on the diagonal. I might just put that one on just to avoid the stress. Zero, it's not cheating. There's plenty of people that record their own gameplay and go back and look and stuff. It's fine. It's not much different than writing down or doing a little map and drawing it on paper, like on your desk. It's not much different to that, but if you think it's cheating, then stop watching the stream and never watch again in an outrage, you know, it'll be okay. I'm guessing it's those trees there. fucking found him it looked like these trees here I think I just closed the window down as well I'll have to do it again Right on the... Okay, so that's the very... That, that's okay. There we go. We found it. And and it wasn't even a single bother, was it? No worries whatsoever. Basically, that was a piece of piss. No, no problem. We've got some really good stuff there, but right now it's not actually that great, is it? It's not going to do us very well right now. I actually wonder if I could just leave it. It's maybe a bit bright. I think maybe I shouldn't leave it. Oh, ah. I had one of those in there, but... I can load the org up as well. We'll do that in a sec. Make sure I've got everything. Scarface, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the gifted subbing, dude. Thank you. That's very, very kind, Scarface. Thank you for the support, dude. Thank you very much. Lots of people cheat, it's okay. First time chat at Discord. Well, thanks for coming in with your uh, massive wisdom. I appreciate it. Don't get hooked by the troll gene bands, it's okay. Scarface, dude, thank you very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Cheers for the support, Scarface, dude. Thank you. Scarface1930, cheers for the sub support on YouTube. And then Scar Sir Scarface on Twitch. Thank you for gifting Ghost as well. One shot, no. When the highest donor is taking part, I'll be playing with Sour Sweet and Mully Yogurt. So it'll be in January next year. It'll be in the new year. Bowening is, is the name of the dude. But he will be... Uh, the, the first prize, the top donor, would be playing with Sour Sweet and myself. And uh, this is just me. I think I might have to go for a piss after all that mucking around, but I think I need to go for a wee. We're not doing too bad. I really would love a, a like a plate carrier or something. That would be good.
I think I'm going to go for a piss before we get any closer to the Millie base. We could potentially go back and check that again. What we could do, we could go and loot all of Tissy. And then come back and have another look in there. We've got the gas stuff. We might as well have one more look while we're here. Another option would be to get a shovel. Get a shovel and hide hide the dry bag. If we can get a new bag, we could bury the dry bag with a shovel and have like a, a stuff for another day. Right, guys, I'm looking out at the server while I do this. I'm going to quickly go AFK. I'm going to have a piss. I'm going to make another cup of tea. Just for the Happy man. I won't be long.
Sorry, guys. That's Dinner ready, uh, so I uh, got uh, cheeseburgers in pitta. So I just waited, and I've eaten one already. But like being done, they were being done just as like she was dishing them up just as I was making my tea. So I just waited. Been questions about the artists and designers. Uh, so the the video bit you can see was made by Neuro Euro, one of the mods, <coughs> and the music was made by Wilson, who's made some of the other bits of music that are on my YouTube channel as well. I don't need the car, dude. I don't need the car. I'm right at Tissie Mill Base. I'm, I'm where I need to be. Have you got shares in Pitta Bread? No, but I should have. I'm afraid it's a boring boring reason, but I ha I, I'm gluten, fr gluten intolerant, so I don't eat gluten very much because it makes me shit through the eye of a needle. Uh... Gluten-free pita breads are much better than, like, if you want to do something like a burger, it's just a better option than gluten-free bread rolls because they're fucking terrible. Hi, Highlands. How are you doing? It's exactly like a burger, but it's just in a pita bread. So it's lettuce, tomato, cheese, burger, ketchup. I can't even remember the name of the brand, dude. There, you just go to the group for a line in Sainsbury's. There's only one, I think, or Tesco's. No chips, no peanuts. I quite like jalapenos or similar on the boat as well. God, that's that's some hot tea. Still mind, I'm on the changing server screen. I'm not in the game at the moment, dude. Day boss Tully, thank you for the resub and the Q sub. Thank you for the support. I'm excited for the lights out as well, Tully, dude. Can't wait for it. A little bit nervous, but excited. Babsus Disport, thank you very much for the uh, the new subs and Darkua, thank you very much. Once, cheers for the support. I don't normally do this, but because I'm logging straight back into Tissy Military Base, I'm not going to log in until I've eaten, because otherwise I'm going to be trying to eat this at Tissy, which makes no sense. Toby is getting a Christmas present this year, Village Idiot. Yeah. Gluten free naan breads aren't very good evening, unfortunately. Which views are flow flying down they are. <laughs> Soon. Or not. I'm just out of the same server for a minute, Hellman. I'll be back in again in a minute. Love watching your stuff, man. Keep it up, TRMZ love, TRMZ love. Liverpool to win the league? I hope so, Snapback. They're in with a shout, you know. City keep dropping points. It'll certainly help the chances. No, I'm nearly ready to get back in, guys. I've got uh, one more little pit of pocket to eat.
They haven't got enough servers to cope with demand, you reckon? They're different barrel and receivers, are they different? I didn't even know there was two different ones. I thought there was only one. Like to convince Arsenal will bottle it, uh, snapback. Like Liverpool bottled it when uh, when Gerrard slipped and Henderson got sent off for three games. And they should have won the league that year, and he didn't. But the experience of bottling it probably helped when they were going on to win it a little while later. You know, it wasn't that long ago. Like, there are a few players still around, maybe, you know, possibly. Uh, nonetheless, I, I think Arsenal are less likely to bottle it this year. players but I still think it was recent enough. I know it sounds a silly to say but Arsenal haven't won the league in fucking a long time so being out clear with it pressure was more come out like certainly because it was last season but even if it was five years ago mostly different players I think it still makes a difference in the mindset somehow of the players you know but nonetheless I think Arsenal are less likely to, to bottle it this year. I, I'm not saying they'll definitely win the league but I think that if they were in the same position again with a few games to go, they might do all right. Uh, Darkman, I think they've made uh, armbands with logos on, so I don't know. Does the toxic zone not affect the blood? Only if you've not got the full suit, dude. So... You can get sick, but if you're wearing a full NBC suit and a gas mask, you can stay in it as long as you've got filters. That back, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, cheers for the support, man. God, that was good. That was really good. I wish I had another one. Excuse me, that was really good. I don't like this gun at all. I, I've done alright, we got some kills with it last week, but a couple of kills anyway, but it's pretty, it's alright. I, I, I do give this gun a bad rap, but I just don't like the scope. No, Garrett, no. Not, not, in, not enough for another one. I had two, I had two, I had uh, so two actual burgers and two lots of pita bread, so you'd have like half a burger in each little half of the pita. Like a little pocket. This armour is worse than a stab vest, yeah. It's better if you get hit by a crossbow, but I guess I'm unlikely to get hit by a crossbow here. I wish you could saw off the scope on this, but no, you can't. Am I a fan of gyros? Yeah, gyros are pretty decent. I, I've not had not, not many places around here sell them. But uh, they're not that different to a like a Turkish kebab, really. It, obviously, slightly different in how they're sort of served. But we have a lot more Turkish-like takeaways in the UK. Like Greek takeaways are much less common, but it's not that dissimilar. So Turkish is way more common. Like that, every small town has got like a kebab shop or two. Uh, you, normally Never for Greek did. food, you've got to go to a restaurant, go a little bit like normally slightly bigger town, maybe slightly bigger, bordering on city, but. Yeah, Greek food's good. Greek and Turkish foods are they are they are quite similar. But what's not to like about like lots and lots of nice grilled lamb or grilled chicken or whatever? Uh Topper, thank you very much. Lebedev. Lebedev. So I got held up here yesterday and had some of my loot stolen. I really don't want to aggro the Zeds and do the same thing again. Oh, fuck me. OK. 
Okay, I'm dead. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I wish I'd got held up. <laughs> I I maybe could have overwatched, but I thought I wanted to get in and have a look from there, but there was somebody on the hill watching me. That sucks. Oh, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Oh, well. Onwards. I would potentially think about switching to my winter server, but... I've got a DMR on Winter Chernerus, but I, I don't really feel like... T I feel like I'm hexed today. Oh, that really sucks. I've just made you all wait while I eat my food and then logged in and immediately got fucking killed. That blows fucking massively. Deborah, well, I only got the DMR last week. I had the best stream I've had in ages last week today. A week today. So, yeah, just, just today, actually, yeah. Had a really good run yesterday on uh, on uh, Azalea. That was fun, and I had a great run. Second half of Sour and Muller team up on Tuesday. That was really good too. That sucks. Maybe could have waited on the hill a bit longer. It's really hard the tents as a lone wolf. It's not. It's hard because there's no really brilliant Overwatch spot, and you may get spotted yourself. You know, it's it's tricky. I wished I'd stayed on the edge and watched a bit more. Obviously. You know. But that's Daisy. It, it's not an easy place to go, and we do know from yesterday that there is a group that are claiming Tissy as their own. So it might be that it was being camped by a group the whole time. I doubt that was the same group though. They probably would have held me up. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I got held up by the men of mass group yesterday, Cyborg. They let me go, though. Darkman, yeah, maybe the shiny silver vest was not the best thing to be wearing, but it's the only thing I'd got, you know. At least we didn't waste too much time on it, you know. We stole a car and did that, rather than... Uh like, if I'd ran there and spent six hours really taking my time, and it took a while, but at least it didn't take as long as it might have. Fuck me. I play on Spaggy's server sometimes. Cool, yeah. I, I've played on them in the last two or three weeks for sure. Aaron, uh, unless you got it set up wrongly, you should still get picture in picture while I'm uh, while an advert comes up. Like when I watch Twitch, I get picture in picture even when I'm on my phone. And given that all I did was just get shot dead, you wouldn't have missed anything. If unless you've got your Twitch set up in a weird way, you shouldn't have missed a thing. Like nothing. I climbed up a building and then I fell down dead. You know, like even in the picture in picture, you wouldn't have lost anything. You should get picture in picture. I do. It sucks if you don't. Make sure you're on the latest version of the app and whatnot if you're on an app, but... It sucks if you don't, but not much I can do. Just the luck of the draw. Equally, though, I, it does suck, but it's not like you'd actually missed anything. I, I was I was alive and then I wasn't. There was no firefight. You didn't miss anything. game is a remake of The Division. No, I've been saying for a while that it sounds like it's going to be like The Division oh, the day before. Love, well, thank you. Yeah, it, it does suck when an advert happens at an inopportune moment. Like, I guess, uh, and it, what's, it's something like seven and, about seven percent of the stream, I think. I don't think that, that might not be right, actually, but Two minutes every half an hour, so 10% would be three minutes every half an hour, right? 5% would be one and a half, so yeah, somewhere around 7% of the stream. And as Ayala says, you can see no ads if you get Twitch Turbo if you want, but obviously you have to pay for that. 
The reason why, I, one of the reasons why I was put off from the day before, never mind the uh, the trailer and the uh, kind of bad press, the third person over the shoulder shooting is just not my style of game. You know? It's not. I, I, I'm not massively keen on that kind of crosshair on the screen over the shoulder shooting mechanic. I don't like it. I lose. It, 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 I never really liked Gears of War, and that was fucking ages ago. I, it's just not something I really enjoy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There, dude, you've been watching me for years. Like, absolutely years. You've been watching for years. Are you really trying to convince viewers to use ad blocker, having watched me for years? <laughs> Dude, that, is that what you, you think that much of me, right? GG you. Fuck me dead. <laughs> I've been reading out your name, like, just chatting, I mean, for, like, at least six years, I'd say. And after six years of watching the stream, potentially for free if you want, you think it's a good idea to be telling people to use ad block? Fuck me dead. <laughs> It's kind of laughable, but okay. Ublock Origin or something, I think it was called. Guys, ad blocks are available. I don't really mind if somebody uses ad block, but it does annoy me when people try to convince others to use ad block. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of a bit shit. People know there's an ad block though, don't they? Like, I, I, I've never used an ad block in my life, right? I, even before I was a YouTuber, it's not just because I'm a YouTuber, right, or a streamer, but some people use them and some people don't. But everybody knows they exist, you know. It's not like you found like some cheat code that nobody else knows. One year anniversary. Time runs fast. Carrot, carrot. So the, the tack back is good. I'm going to need some means to open it that's not this bat. It was a it was a, a smoke grenade for the uh, M79 grenade launcher, so not worth it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the ads for longer. It just that one particularly was interesting because of the name of somebody that was making it. That's that's a hell of a thing, right? I watched an interesting video from a dude that was, uh, uh, he was talking about his own business. I forget, it was somebody talking, about, he made a YouTube video about ad blocking, right? And he, he does, uh, he, he's, he, he makes YouTube videos, he's got a decent channel, and he also has a shop that does like tech, it does like PC fixing and tech support and whatnot. And it, he, he was talking about this guy that he used to have coming into his store every day. And, or every week, not every day, but really regularly. He never bought anything. He never, he never used their their store to uh, to like have any repairs done. But he used to come in for a load of free advice all the time, you know, come in for free advice. And he used to, this guy used to happily give it to him uh, for at least a year. And then one day he came in and said, "Oh, my friend had this problem, and I recommended he go to this other repair shop, <laughs> like not the one he's been getting free advice for a year." And at that point, he kind of said. Well, okay, enough's enough. I'm not giving you any more advice. So from now on, they just ignore them, you know. But uh, I think that's kind of a reasonable analogy for it. People use adblock. I really don't mind. You know? Like, if you if you can't watch any other way, and obviously I'm doing this full time, but if you're not going to watch, then I'd rather you watch with adblock. But if you're going to come in and try and sell other people an adblock, you're a c-word. <laughs> There's a big point of difference between the two. Clown, yeah, clown. It's it's kind of funny though. Some people they they act like they've like like Keanu Reeves in the fucking Matrix or something because they've worked out a block ads like they look at me, I'm so clever. <laughs> Just the fuck me. It's a, it's a Google search away if you want one, guys. It's, Oh, bollocks. Ah. 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 
Uh, Fox, thank you very much for the 12 months. Frazzo, thank you for the 41. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Oh, I don't really want to deal with these heads. That can of drink will just help me a little bit. It'll tide me over just long enough so that I can then get something that will uh, allow me to open the food. I don't. You can open a can with a baseball bat, but it's not a very good idea. Blue flag, that's very cool though. If you're getting a watch that your dad's owned, it's going to be the most important watch you ever own yourself, you know. mag for an SAV58 or whatever it's called. That's actually pretty useful. We might as well grab that. That'll have some, uh, if we're lucky, it'll have some rounds in it, yeah. Seven SKS rounds. Oh, do you know what? We could uh, we could try and get an NBC gear character together. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Go to the gas zone. It definitely won't end in tears. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, one sec. Brian Bear. I think I might just quickly check here. We need a knife. I need to be able to open this tack back, so... This can of pop is not going to last very long. It probably won't get me... It might just swing me into yellow apple, but it won't last very long, so... I need a knife or something that will open this can better than what I've got right now, so we might as well check here. Seems like there's no Zeds. I don't think Zet needs any defending, by the way. I wasn't exactly horrible to him, you know? Like, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm being quite reasonable, I think, suggesting that it's okay to use ad blocker, but it's a bit dickish to try and tell other people to use it too, right? I think that's kind of fair enough. If you disagree with that, fuck off. Whoever it was, <laughs> not use it. <laughs> it's fine. We may not be getting the knife, but we're getting other things. That's okay. <sighs> Gary, dude, Gary Neville. Wow, I, I must say your insight on Sky Sports. I don't watch Sky. It's, I hate fucking Sky. <laughs> you have to pay. You have to pay to subscribe to Sky, and there's still fucking ads, Gary. What the fuck? How is there ads on Sky? I pay. You have to pay for it, Gary. <laughs> Pay to sub and get ads? What the fuck is wrong with the world, Gary? This is free and there's ads and people moan. How the fuck are you getting away with it, Gary? Sorry, Gary, it's not the same one. <laughs> I know it's not the same one, you know. <laughs> Cheers for the support, Gary. I, I really appreciate it, man. I don't really like Sky Sports very much, though. Gary Neville's actually alright most of the time. He's, he's quite good at what he does. Oh, I want that. Ah, oh, there we go, a little bit more food. Probably is worth killing, isn't it? <laughs> I 
I, I still think of Paul Gascoigne years and years ago having a rant that was on the that was recorded about how he hated Sky <laughs> back in Gaza when he was still a pro footballer. I, and it basically his rant was about how Sky was putting football behind a paywall and the regular working man couldn't afford it, or the regular working person. Good old Gaza. Maybe he might show up to one of these streams with a couple of fishing rods and a tin of, tin of fewer beer, you know? He might, I might need it. Baseball bat's doing work today. Uh, <clears throat> Gain Miss, thank you for the six months. Fabsus, thank you very much for the support too. Been watching since the Trumpet Brothers, so nearly four years. Uh, anyway, never got around to subbing and all that, but na na how now's the time. Love your content. Oh, dude, thank you. Here's for the bits. Thank you for the sub as well. Dude, Gary, thank you again. Sorry about the sky, Ren. It's not really related to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fox, Carti, uh, Frazzo, thank you. If you could change one thing in DayZ, what would you change about it? And, and if you could, if you would change anything? Erin, uh, sorry for the first answer. It's sarcastic. The one thing I'd change about DayZ is that everybody that has played the game, will play the game, or will ever know about the game, already knows about the one thing I would like to change, so I don't have to answer that question anymore. <laughs> That's the one thing I'd like to change about the game, is that everybody knew what my one thing was, and then I would be set for life. <laughs> Sorry, I've, it's, it's about number five today, that, that particular question. <laughs> Oh, Pewston, is it? Dude, how are you doing, Gary? Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the answers I give, I, I do, I've answered this a few times today, dude, so apologies. I, I have to get the Otsaki one in, right? But uh, It always ends up with this, though. I'd really like them to make, make use of the ocean on Chernarus. I'd like to see some islands, like an aircraft carrier that's like, like half submerged. Some other things like that, maybe an oil rig, and then boats and potential to build a base on an island at sea and, and like, find some rare loot by having to, like, plunder it, you know. I want Waterworld Daisy. That would be kind of cool. The question was, what's the one thing you'd like to see changed? I think I read it out. But Erin, yeah, it's all good, dude. I, I do get asked that. It's one of the most common questions I get asked, but I really think the game is in a very good place right now. There are some bugs. There's always been bugs. There probably always will be, but the game's in a really, really good place by and large right now. The zombies need some serious love. I really would like to see the zombies getting a bit more attention. The devs already know that the zombies need attention. Like, it's not new news. Right, now we can open the... Uh, good luck in yeah. lights out, buddy. You tried driving? I've done a bit of driving on Deer Isle, not much. I've been round the racetrack a couple of times on Deer Isle, yeah. I think Cherno's okay with no rigs. Well, Gringo, I think it would be something you'd do as a fully geared player, right? You Like, you might need to uh, loot supplies to get a boat going or whatever, but I, I just think it would be really interesting. I... I I don't, like, we've got Riffy Boat right on the coast where you can get SVDs in the game right now. That's that's on the coast, you know. I, I don't think you're going to end up with new spawns off on the islands. There, there, there might not be any food on these places, you know. You might need to prepare to make the journey, you know. Like, you can't just show up with a baseball bat and swim it or whatever. No, I think it would be a cool mechanic myself, but I think it would be high-tier players that did it, not spawns from Electro. But yeah, I, maybe it might affect the flow, but I think it would make it very varied. It would it would give a new style of game. You can't do it on Livonia. There's no sea, you know. So it would it would only work on Chernarus because Livonia has only got a little river, you know. It just wouldn't work. What's wrong with the zombies? Garlic, I don't really want them to be really powerful or anything. I just want them to work better, you know. I, I want them to be able... Especially the pathwaying, but how they aggro... How they behave right now, you know, you, you could have a zombie that's standing just outside this window. And some dude shoots at me from over there, right? And he shoots from where that pine tree is. 
and the bullet misses me and it lands on the, the window frame, right? But because the zombie's heard the bullet impact, he doesn't think, or she doesn't think, whatever, the zombie doesn't go, fucking hell, that's a loud noise, and runs up to the guy that's fired. It aggro's on me. You know, the, the, the way the zombies aggro, the way they pathway inside of buildings, the way they behave, and, like, very often you'll have, you're playing with a buddy and one of them's meleeing a zombie, and halfway through, the zombie will just think, fuck this, and he'll go and start chasing after the other guy and stuff. They, the way they prioritise and the way they aggro and the way they work is just not... It's a bit janky. It always has been. It's, it's been worse than it is now, but it could be a lot better. Well, on Tuesdays, it, myself, Sour and uh, Muller, Sour especially, we, we came back to Electro... Sour and Muller died, and when they spawned in Electro, there was geared people there shooting. And so I managed to get the car back together, pick Sour and Muller up, and then we went back to Electro and killed them all, you know? It was really, really cool. The way, zom the way zombies aggro, like little things as well, they have this alert status now. So it used to be that if you were going up to a helicopter crash site, you could throw something to the other side. And the zombies would aggro towards the sound of the throw, and then they would go all running that way. And it was kind of, it made sense, you know. You you make a noise over there, the zombies go over there, you know. But what happens now, they hear a noise, and they go into that alert status where their arms pop out. And then they go around like that, and they instantly see you, you know. like So you can't throw a item to distract the zombies to an area. It doesn't work. I know they've added the, uh, the, the timer, but that doesn't really work either for the same reason. Like, when you use the little... Uh, alarm clock timer, or the other timer, the little, like, tomato timer, it beeps and the zombies kind of go into alert status, so as soon as they're in alert status, they know where all the players are within about 80 metres anyway, you know, like, that thing zombies have, where they can track you, you can be in a building with no windows, and they know where you are in the building, and they can follow you, you know, like, they, like, they, uh, they've got, like, fucking okay, ESP or something. So yeah, there's quite a lot can be done with the Zeds, really. I, I guess it would be interesting if they had a slightly different that time again. pattern to how they melee, so you can't just predict it always. But I actually quite liked it. Let's say you've got one zombie right now. If you do it right, you always get it right. If you've got two or three zombies to deal with, it's a real challenge, you know. And I, I think the zombies as a challenge right now aren't far off, but the way they aggro, the way they behave, personal choice, this is only very subjective, but I really can't stand that kind of crouching monkey run that they do. It just doesn't make any sense. It, I don't find that that little monkey run that the zombies do adds to the immersion of the game. It, make, it makes them look stupid. I, I've never liked that. I think it's only in the game because they had the mocap for it. They, they decided that they were going to add the mocap for it for some reason, so they did. And now now the zombies can kind of run like a little, like, like they're in Planet of the Apes. It just, for me personally, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, what do I think of roaming hordes? I've not played on a server that has hordes very much, but you can normally just avoid them, right? You don't normally have to deal with them. Erin, yeah, in the lore of the game as it was when it came out, we're immune to the virus the zombies have, because they're not really zombies, they're infected, right? So... The devs have always tried to call them infected. Occasionally, they might call them a zombie, but the, the idea, the premise of the game is that the, the zombies are infected humans that have contracted a virus, and we're immune to that virus, which is why we aren't one. So it's not really like Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's not really like, uh, like The Walking Dead, where you, you get bitten and turn. Nico, there's some military zombies that look a bit different that are much harder to kill, yeah. That's why they're not, like you say, Gringo, they don't actually try to bite you. They're just, like, trying to, like, beat you to death. <laughs> Complaining about the attitudes of the zombies. It must be a dad. <laughs> yeah. 
it is it is frustrating. There's nothing worse than getting a like if you lose a firefight. I've lost I've lost a five that last death. Meh, can't do much about it. Maybe you can you cannot go to Tissy or you can spend a lot longer Overwatch. I suppose, but the life before where I mucked up, you know that life. You just got to own it. I and mean, you make a mistake. So be it. Move on with your day. You know. But when you're in a firefight and maybe you've got a kind of bad gun and somebody with a crazily good gun, like an AKM or something, you're both in the same area, you're both at the airfield, let's say, or you're both at Tissy Tents, or you, wherever you are, and the guy starts spraying his gun like mad, and every zombie that there is in the area aggroes to you because they're aggroing to the bullet impact over the sound of the gun. That They, they, they should massively prioritise the gun being fired over the impact of the bullet, even if the range is off. So... If they're 10 metres from the, the impact of the bullet, but they're 30 metres away from the gun, they should still go to the gun, you know? It, because the gun is really loud, and that's what the zombie... Like, if the zombie's not aggroed on the player already, they'd be like, GUN! And then you'd think they'd run to it. That's the, that's the thing that really annoys me, because it, the guy that's the aggressor that fluffs their shots on you ends up killing you because their shit shots aggro the zombies onto you, you know? Like, it, that, that's really annoying. It's... It's one of the worst feelings when you've not shot yourself and all the zombies that have aggroed because of the shots are all on you. It fucking sucks. Niles, thank you for the new sub. That's really, really kind. Uh, cheers for the support. Thank you for driving. Easy, thank you as well. Another can of food. This this building can have hunting stuff in it. Fortunately, not today. It can't. But. There are other times when that's a fun mechanic, you know. So that's the thing. Like, if someone's shooting at you with a suppressor from 200 meters away, intentionally to aggro the zombies on you, I think that's kind of cool. But there needs to be some kind of cutoff when it's not a suppressed gun, where the zombies just go fucking hell, big loud gun. Let's go towards that, you know. Like. I think that would be much better for the balance of the game. Well, uh, scary. This, the suppressed shots aggroing thing is meant to be improved or fixed in the next patch. I didn't get a Sagorki bar, did I, uh, Gachi? Fucking hell, got you. This one's specially for you. <laughs> I hate you now, I built it up. There's a gawky bar, so won't buy. There you go, look, there's one. Elf, uh, El Safrasi, yeah. Uh, they had, they changed the sounds a bit, and they made they never used to impact, it, aggro to impact sounds in the past. But it's like a priority order thing. You're right. It, like the impact comes after the gun sound most of the time. I, I would imagine there there is actually some possibility, but that that the impact could come after the sound, depending on how far away they are. So, it, sorry, other way around. You might hear the impact of the bullet before you hear the gun fire. As such, it, it, it's feasible because. Bullets can travel quicker than the speed of sound, and you might be close to the impact or whatever, but that's really dull, right? I, I think it is a priority thing. Like, they need to be weighted more to the big, loud, shooty thing than the quiet impact of a, well, the quieter impact of the bullet, man. Thoughts of cream of rice? Cream of rice. Like, uh, right, I, yeah, like uh, ambrosia stuff, you mean, I presume. I haven't had that in ages. I haven't had that in absolutely ages. It is pretty nice though, like piping hot with a little bit of jam in the middle. It can be pretty good. I really haven't had that in ages, rice pudding, yeah. I haven't had it in three or four years, I'd say. <sighs> Niles Darwin, what a name. Thank you very much for the new sub. Yeah, I, I quite fancy some rice pudding now with a nice little, nice big dollop maybe of uh, 
like strawberry or raspberry jam in the middle. Brown sugar, eh? I, I've always been quite keen on the jam because you get just a bit of jam in the middle. Uh, to those that don't know, jam in, in America land is jello. Uh, but it's it stays a bit cool if it's out of the fridge and then you can mix a little, get a little bit of it with the rice pudding and you've got that hot cold thing going on, which is a bit of a winner, I think. Tomty, I don't mind a little bit of skin. I, I don't mind it. I, I, ideally, just a tiny bit bordering on slightly burnt is okay as well. Well, what, what the hell is a peanut butter and jello sandwich then? Is it jelly, is it? Okay. Sorry, jam is jelly, not jello. My bad. Yeah, jam is jelly. Okay. So it's peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But what a surprise. I'm not from America land. I get these things wrong, but at least I tried. That's the main thing. Convoy, that sucks. I've got your jello pudding pop right here. Uh, butter, Butterfinger, do you sub Malikia? Thank you very much, too. I quite like going to Prison Island. There is quite often action to be had, but there's nearly always loot, and, and that, that's a pretty good, pretty win, pretty good win. Oh, I, I really fancy some uh, some uh, rice pudding now. I've, re I've got the flavour. Marmalade is pretty decent. It has a real... For me, it, I have kind of like... I go through fads where I want like marmalade on toast for breakfast, like all the time. And then I can go like a year before I... Like I have like one jar and then like, oh, that'll do for a while. What's the difference between jam and jelly? But well, they're the same thing. One's, one's how we call it in England, one's how they call it in America. Whereas in the UK, jam is jam and jelly is what you'd call jello in America. If jam is jello and jelly is jam, what is with you guys spelling tire with a Y? So what what is what you call jelly like as in the thing that you buy in cubes that you then set with boiling water and then you turn it into jelly we call it. Oh, who the fuck cares? I don't I don't care that much. Even if I go to America, I'm not going to go to a shop and need this information. I really don't care enough. That's called jello. Well, that's what I just called it and then someone said no, he doesn't know he's wrong. Did I play Silk Road online before? I did not curse, dude. No. They make their jelly with powder, do they? Ooh. Ethan's. <laughs> I bought that Seiko. Only thing is it's too bloody big. Got to get the links taken. Oh, you definitely have to. Yeah, you do, dude. A any, local, uh, any local dealer. Do yourself a favour, though, dude. Don't go to a local dealer that sells Seiko because they'll think you're a bit of a dick if you didn't buy it from the store because it probably would have been the same price. That's the one thing. I, I didn't realise you were going to buy it online, to be honest. I would have tried it on in a store if I were you. But like, if you buy that watch in a store, you can just walk it. When you buy it, they'll fit it for you. You know, They'll take the links out. But you're probably going to have to pay like a local guy to do it. Don't do it yourself. It's not worth the risk. Don't do it yourself. I wouldn't do it myself. God, like, going the same way is okay. It's coming back that I ought to vary up a little bit. Oh, uh, you could say it was gifted, I guess. that That's a possibility. Yeah, you could, you could lie. They're still going to charge you, though. To be fair, they probably wouldn't care anyway, but I'm a bit funny with stuff like that. I've, like, if I go to a local store and I haven't... 
I could have bought it there and I didn't. I actually feel a bit bad because I tried to support the local stores a little bit if I can. That watch that I'm sending to Bowening that was a Seiko came from a local store, for example. I thought it was a light bulb on the shelf. I don't know. I'm not going back, though. to chair a bit. Adam, yeah, very cool. I actually saw it in a shop window in uh, some town or other the other day. They do look nice. I don't own a, a black, uh, like a DLC type watch, you know, with a, like a black strap or something. It's like a, I would quite like one, but I don't know. I'm sworn to not buy any more watches for some time now. A Jar Jar, I... I think that if there's a Vostok that you really like, they're, they're not that expensive and they can be really funky looking. But I personally wouldn't likely buy one off. I personally would be inclined to stick to... This might be boring, but Seiko or Tissot or Citizen and things like that. I personally wouldn't buy a... Boss talk. going to do very well. The, the, the dead zombie is uh, not a good sign. I don't know what's happened to the baseball bat, but it's been absolutely shit, but all of a sudden it's like what dreams are made of. Hi Janice. Uh, Janice Mack, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. So, there's a dude. Oh, shit. Don't waste your bullets, dude. I'm a fucking new spawn. That's no, hard, brother. You're all good. <laughs> I recognize his voice. I've, I've, I've met, I think I've played with him. I think I've, I've, I've met him or played with him. I recognize his voice anyway. Now to get a gun and try and shoot him back. <laughs> Glad he missed. So the, the shelves can sometimes have vests and scorp not scorpions, vests or pioneers and stuff. In fact, there's a pioneer right there, look. So we may as well look. No mag is a bit of a shitter, but it's a start. Hey man. 
Hello. Sorry about you. Don't you shoot. Here. Don't shoot. I'm an innocent yeah, no, man. <laughs> I didn't do it. Hey, do you want a stab vest? I, I picked up one here. All right. I, I could have done anyway. with that earlier. Thank you. Could have done with that when some di some dude was shooting at me. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. There isn't much loot actually. I, there's less than normal, I think. Yeah, there's not much. There's a pioneer here, but. Yeah, I grabbed one of them. No bullets though. I know time for talking. I want to go and loot in here. I think he's already looted this, to be honest. Elemental, thank you very much for the new sub. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. There's nothing, dude. This has like been picked clean, I guess. I'm not going to try and shoot him. He, he did talk in the end. It might be that my twatty voice has saved me because he recognised my voice. Or it might not be. It, it might be nothing to do with that. But whatever it is. Yeah, nothing, dude. I got, the best yeah. I got was a chambered Glock. Oh, okay. you have a mag for your Pioneer? I don't have a mag or any bullets. Oh, what? here we go. What did you shoot? Oh, thank There's you, dude. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. What I did you BK shoot at me with? So. BK. Ah, uh, I thought that. Thought it was that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go and check the tower, and then I, I guess I'm done. Cheers for not killing me. Yeah. Yeah. No problem, man. You take it easy. Love you, boy. I feel like I've teamed up oh. with him in the past. I, I feel like I have. He was a decent enough fella in the end. I could shoot him in the back from the tower. I'm not going to do that, but I could do. To be honest, the way today's going, I'll just miss anyway. I could try and shoot him in the leg. That would be funny. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Can't do it. It would be cruel. Funny, but cruel. There's only one place I bet he's not been, and that's that to the top of that tower. Where did I leave the gloves? I felt, was it in the barrack I got the NBC gloves? I'm going to go and get the other gloves. The green towers do spawn loot, but while this dude was here, I wasn't really wanting to check them. I could check a few now, I suppose, but... The green towers don't spawn loot on uh, vanilla, but they do spawn loot on this server. He did shoot at me, Kutasha, but there's plenty of people that I've shot at and then teamed up with, you know, like... If he then chooses to talk, I'm not going to try and kill him, you know, I haven't got... Do it there's no revenge mission in that, it's just kind of, like, low... It's like a low blow, like... And I, I'm struggling to get kills today, to say the least, but... Not so desperate that I'll shoot a guy that's actually talked and is now showing his back, you know. I'm not. I, there's no. There's no sport in that, is there? Oh, I'll keep the hit pack. I forgot I had it. Is it in here. Oh no! I, I, I might keep that, but I don't really need it. I take some playstyle from you in these scenarios. Yeah, well, there's no right or wrong. It's okay to shoot whoever, but... There's not. There's so much more enjoyment in a kill when... It's alright to kill someone if you've not spoke. It's alright all right to kill someone in any scenario, but... It's a lot more fun to kill someone that's trying to kill you, but when you've lost that, when it's now friendly again and you're double crossing it, it, it loses its allure for me. Not the same. And I shot a dude in the back earlier that I hadn't spoken to and just shot them in the back because I could, you know? That's, that, who cares? Do what you like, but I can't. I won't get any 
I won't take any enjoyment out of shooting that guy. I'd just as soon as sooner shoot a deer or something. <clears throat> Emil, well that's different, you know. If I teaming up with him for an extended period and then maybe handcuffing him and like doing some cool shit, you know, that, I can see the merit in it. Not really I'm not really good at it myself. I don't like I don't like uh if I'm friendly, I'm friendly. If I'm not friendly, I'm not friendly. I, I don't like becoming the bad guy. I don't like double-crossing personally, but I've done it once. We're playing with Tope years ago. We had a big group, group myself and Tope. We had a big group. Yeah, me and Tope had a big group. <laughs> and we were like, uh, we were killing and eating or saving the meat from the... There was like three, four... I think it was about five random dudes and me and Tope. And we ended up down to me and two others, and the other three, me and Tope had killed. Like, we'd get them apart, we'd get them apart, and then shoot them in the back of the head with a suppressed pistol. So we were, like, killing them, but making it so, like, we were in a firefight, but we weren't. And we got down to the last two, and then we got in a real firefight, and we died, so we couldn't carry on. This could have a mag for my uh, p my pioneer. <laughs> what a beauty! It's a beauty. Load the right, Maggie. Wonder if he actually did this building or not. He was outside it. He probably did. <gasps> he probably didn't. There's no way he's not checking that. If he, oh my god, the poor guy. He, oh, what, he's missed out there. Massive, hasn't he? He's missed out fucking massive. So I've interrupted him, and he's missed out on this fucker. He shot me with a BK, and inside the building he didn't loot is my, uh, is an SKS. Beautiful. best gun I've got from here for a while. He has got bullets for it, you're right. So this is kind of risky, but I don't think he will have checked this, which is why I'm checking it. slight problem is that he's probably going to go over to the Millie base and now we're going to be going the same way but Good. Look, another couple of bullets. Very nice. How long before the cut happens? When do we reckon? That oh, looks like I'm okay. This server may have slowed down the degradation of the gloves a touch. Possibly have. There are Santas in those chimneys, yeah. You need third person to be able to see it, though, really. You can't see it in third... I remember playing with a dude on Deer Isle. Some people watching now will have remembered it, but... Uh, we, we were playing with a couple of dudes and somebody said, oh, there's th this is that chimney stack where you can see Santa. And then he pressed vault to jump up onto it. 
to have a look down, but it's not a wall you can stand on, so he just vaulted into the chimney stack and became another one gobbled by Santa at the bottom. <laughs> that, was, that was a long time ago. He was all happy with himself. He was like, Lord, you can see Santa. And then he went, ah, and died. <laughs> Might be on YouTube that vod, Gringo. It might be, yeah. They've patched that now. You can do it. <laughs> I'm seeing quite a few likes on YouTube, guys. Thanks for hitting the like button on YouTube if you have. Cheers for doing it. If you haven't, hit the like button if you want. Don't if you don't. killed on me. <clears throat> Surprised I'm hungry actually. I, I know I had the tack back. It was I guess it was a while ago. So these uh, these towers don't spawn loot on console. Uh, well, certainly not on official. They don't spawn loot on PC either. I think I'm just reading the question about it in chat, but on on regular official servers, there's no loot in these towers. They took them out because they're really quite glitchy. They, it, maybe they could add it back in now because there was a time where you would fall out of them and they were really glitchy. And because people were regularly falling out, and when you fell out of this in the past, you'd break your leg every time. It wasn't like now where you can just like do this. If you fell out of that when they removed the loot, you you would be breaking your leg. So uh, they took it away, which kind of made sense, I think, at the time. But now maybe they could add it back, I guess. The ones at the airfield, I remember one event. I can't remember what event it was, but our team was struggling for loot. And we ended up looting all of the towers on the outside of the airfield. And we got really good loot. It was one of Happy Bombs events, I think. One of the True Colors ones, maybe. So there you go, look, I came back a different way, that's the main thing. Oh, oh thank god, I didn't think I would have to swim. Dude, that, that's uh, that's some memory. I, I don't remember it at all, other than the towers. <sighs> It'd be cool if there was another True Colors, you know. Like I think HB is uh, HB's got a lot on his plates with the servers, so I'm, I, I don't blame him. But there was a time where people would be going, "When's the next True Colors? When's the next True Colors?" I feel like that time has passed. I think he's. Uh, I think he's he probably is about ready for a new one now because he probably won't get hassled for it so much. But I don't know. I, I feel bad for H, HB. The amount of time he has to spend setting up the next server and missing streams because of the next thing he's doing and whatnot. It's a lot of it's a labour of love that I certainly wouldn't be able to do. I remember being here in 2016. I don't. <laughs> Too bad, I don't know. I know people are streaming it right now. 
In fact, my viewership's a little bit down right now, uh, probably because people are off checking out the day before. So me talking about it right now is probably helping with that. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I'm not, I might try it, but not straight away. I, I've, I've only got three more streams until the lights out starts. So next week I'm doing... I, my schedule's all over the place next week. So next week I'm going to be streaming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'll be off Wednesday. Lights out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll be off Sunday. So uh, I'm off Friday, Saturday, and then I'll be on, like I say, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I really was 38 back then. Ain't that a Craig David song? Took a bullet to the face on Monday. Broke my fucking leg on Tuesday. We were respawning on Wednesday. <laughs> I, I guess I, I didn't try to sing it at least. There is that. And it's 10 minutes of fresh spawns playing. It looks absolutely dog water. Blimey, well, it didn't take you long to make your mind up. Hero Slash, yeah, I, I was talking, I was in the DM group. Uh, ooh. Oh, I don't need that shit. Uh, possibly Tuesday next week. I might. There might be one Tuesday. We were talking in the Discord group earlier, so possibly Tuesday. Craig David. I used to really love that show, but looking back, there are ele elements of it that weren't very nice. <laughs> I have to say, I, I, this is a, a hot take opinion, but I used to really like Lee Francis, who did Avid Merian and... Uh, Keith Lemon, but I haven't seen much of him for a while, and since I've started, the only time I see him now is when he's pushing that fucking 32 Red Gambling advert. I've gone right off him. <laughs> I can't fucking stand him anymore. I'm so sorry, uh, sorry, Lee Francis, if you're watching. You're a funny dude, but I don't know. Bridges, the 1980s called. They want their put down back. Yeah, I'll get the jam in a minute. Don't worry. Jam, 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 jam. Did you know that in America that's actually called? <laughs> Fruit conserve. <laughs> I feel like uh, a weapon cleaning kit tonight in there do you have any hobbies outside of gaming masturbating with sandpaper and I'm going to leave it there for now I think that was the guy's BK18 to be honest It's a, it's a hobby you have to a approach with caution. Not something you want to do every day. <laughs> I think that's the red jacket guy. sounded just on the edge of town.
I don't think it was up the hill there. There's a lot of Zeds up there. Maybe it was. I don't know. I'm going to run this way. Oh, look, there's one dead zombie there. Two dead zombies. Yeah, maybe he was just leaving the town. I've not drank enough water there, unfortunately. I needed to drink more water, but the shots put me right off. No, any Merry hobbies, Christmas any hobbies other than uh, gaming. I uh, I really like films. Films, like watching films. I I've seen shitloads, like every sad bastard has. But I I really like films more than most other things. So sitting down, chilling out, watching a film or uh, TV series, maybe, but films mostly. I really really like. So I'm very keen on that. Quite like going to the cinema as a result. I go out like specifically for walking every day, like as in like a hike, if you like, you know. But I I like that. Uh, I don't really like sandpaper unless I'm like uh, doing some DIY and that's not a hobby because me and DIY is like uh, a dumpster fire I also am very keen on it I was trying not to talk about it Metascorpion but you've brought it up now I, I, I'm massively into watch collecting slash like I hate saying this it sounds so fucking pretentious horology in general I really am I, 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 I'm a bit of a bore on the subject. So yeah, that as well. Any good movie, movie suggestions? Uh, if you have not seen it, the latest Mission Impossible, the, the, of the films that came out this year, my favourite was Oppenheimer. I think my second favourite might have been the new Mission Impossible. It was really good. It's worth a watch. If you've not seen it, worth a watch. So the zombies were dead at the end of the town. I feel like he has to be coming this way. Got more dead zombies. Is that him? I don't think that's him. It's a different bag anyway, I think, isn't it? I was trying to raise the height to make the shot easier, but that didn't work out so well, did it? it I hope it's not the same guy. It could well be. It's looking like it might be as well. Oh God, it is. Oh, well. Poor dude. It is the same fucking dude. Paul, do you like sundials? They have a wonderful automatic movement and only lose 180 arch minutes every 25,772 years. <laughs> Regan, uh, I'm not that mad keen on sundials. However, in uh, Jaipur, I think it was, when, we, when me and the missus went to India, I think it was Jaipur. I can't remember which one it was, which, which what place we were in, but... There is a really cool thing there with like the world's biggest sundial. It's like the size of a, like a four-story building or something. That was really cool. I really liked it. I do feel slightly... Let me rephrase it. I can't help but feel slightly responsible for that guy's ultimate demise. I think maybe I might have had a slight pause in him no longer breathing. I've seen the Irishman. Yeah, it was all right. I think it was something to do with the, the bullets from my gun hitting the back of his back.
At least I didn't shoot him with the bullets that, uh... I don't remember him having that big red bag on. It Maybe he did, but I didn't think he had a big red bag on. I really didn't think he did. I thought it was a different dude. Yeah, my finger slipped. Yeah, yeah, twice. He had a blue taloon on, did he? Well, I, I, that, that, that's... Like people change their bags, you know, but it was enough to... I couldn't see his t-shirt because of it. Why can't Daisy buy modded maps like the mouse and turn them into official maps? Seems like a cheap and easy way to update the game. Forgive me if I'm wrong, I don't know much about game making. It would be great if they could. I think they did briefly explore trying to do it with the mouse. So they, I think they did look into it briefly to some extent. But other games have done it a little bit. It's just a very sticky situation, right? So the most players on, on the game play on PC. So there are lots of people on console, but there are more players on PC than anywhere else, right? That doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but the console side of things is a smaller end of their market, basically. Right? So... They're buying a map to sell to the smaller portion of their player base. And also, they then got this really big penalty own, like big penalty kick or own goal, really, would be better. It's a real big own goal to be selling to the console users something that people on PC get for free. That's a tough thing to say. Like, like there's enough people moaning in here about the fucking adverts and the stream is free. You know, imagine how much people would moan if, they, if you said to them, here, here's the mouse, it's $10. Oh, by the way, everyone's been playing it on PC for three years for free, you know. Like, I know there's, right now, there's some people furiously typing, I'd pay $10 for the mouse. There absolutely is, but there's also another ten much more shoutier people than you one saying, You fucking fuckers! It's a cash grab, you fuck! Why? Like, it's, it's a bit of an own goal, you know. Like, that's the challenge for them, is exactly that. They're then charging for something that we've had for free. And so... I, I, I still think it would be great if they did it. If they could charge and, and make the mouse available, it would be a really cool thing. It would. I people complain anyway, so the devs wouldn't base what they do based solely on people complaining. Because let's face it, they couldn't they could announce free blowjobs for everybody. Or equivalent if you don't have the relevant tools for blowjobs. And somebody underneath would be still going, Fix desync! <laughs> they could go, free blowjobs or whatever else kind of favour you fancy for everybody. And, and somebody underneath would go, When are you going to release new mouse gun? Like, everybody moans, right? Unfortunately, people, that they could release, the, like, the best news ever. And somebody underneath that on Twitter's going to moan. So, like, in other words... They're not going to base everything they do solely on the, the loud noises of the absolute fucking morons that tend to reply to their Twitter, you know. Obviously there's lots of non-morons, but there's a few morons too, you know. Uh, however, it's still a bit of a bad look. It's still a tough sell, you know, like... There is... Uh, it, it's not a good way to make your business appear, in a way, you know, in some ways, I think. I'd, I'd love to see them do that. I, there is a lot of talk. There's, they, they did say that they were going to have a big annou announcement this year. We haven't had the big announcement yet. So we're all hoping, we're all hoping there's a big announcement coming. One of the possibilities for that big announcement might be that there's a map coming, uh, like a modded map. That, or sorry, or there's there's like a new map coming. Maybe there's a new map. Maybe there's a DLC. Maybe there's a new game. Who knows? It's probably none of those things, and they're going to be like, oh, we've got this really exciting thing we're going to announce. It's going to be fucking amazing. It's going to be really, really good. And then it'll be like, we've got a new zombie model. <laughs> it could be anything, you know. There's a new zombie. It, it looks like, I don't know. Whatever, you know. It might be that they've got, like, a new zombie model DLC or something, you know. I hope it's not that, but you just it could be, couldn't it? Let's hope it's not. Kind of nice. Knifey booties as well.
There was once a uh, documentary on Channel 4 about people that liked things that were a bit weird. You know, like, you do get people that like to do things that are a bit weird. Like, some people like to, like, try to eat bits of metal and things. And there, were, there was a guy on that that liked to uh, do the thing with sandpaper, you know? Like, I'm, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't think it's worth it. Like, it's crazy. Imagine how, uh, the, the pain. Depends on the grit. I, I don't think it does, whether it's coarse or whether it's fine. It's not going on my bell end. In the movie Christmas Vacation, Clark watches home films of his childhood Christmases in the 1950s. This movie was just as long ago from today as the 50s was from then. In the movie Christmas Vacation, Clark watches home films in the childhood, of his childhood from the 50s. That movie was just as long ago from today as the 50s was from then. Oh my god, yeah. You know why? It's because we're, we're about Clark Griswold's age. No, that's why. Something else I keep getting advertised at the moment, or keep getting pushed down my throat every time I go anywhere near Instagram. I keep getting Chris Pratt rapping Eminem, and I keep getting this same company trying to tell me sell me a Clark Griswold, like, hockey shirt, hockey shirt with the Griswold on the back and the two zeros, right? I, I think they might have missed the mo boat on that t-shirt by about fucking 30 years. People are like flog trying to flog me a Griswold fucking hockey top. You keep watching it for 0.5. Well, I skip it straight away, but yeah. Something else I keep getting. I keep reporting them, but it won't do anything. Right? I keep getting adverts for clone watches on Twitter as well. Every time I go to Twitter, it's always somebody's name. So it's not a company because it's obviously it's an illegal product. So it's always some spoof account with some name like uh, I'd be faking watches or whatever. But it's, it's a name. Uh, and it's like we've got all these best fake watches for you. And the pictures of the fake watches are pictures of the real watches. They're not fakes. They're, they're not super clones. They're pictures they've just ripped. Of, so I wouldn't even be surprised if somebody buys one of these fake watches. They don't get anything like what they're expecting. They're, they're pictures of the real watches. Nocturnal. Do I import Who is watches? Who the most celebrated artist from the United Kingdom? Uh, is it Paul McCartney? I, I wouldn't... include music or movies. If you're buying somebody, uh, if you're buying a watch from a reputable place and it's something like an Orient, I wouldn't put you off. I've never bought an Orient. I like them though. Seiko are good. Orient are Seiko, aren't they? They're fine, but uh, I'm not keen on it. I'm not keen. Like, if you buy a Swiss-made watch, it's come on a plane. I'm on a plane. It, it, it's 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 arrived in the UK in transit from Switzerland. Right? If you buy a Japanese watch, it's come from Japan or whatever, obviously, or made in China. So they all have to be transported, but. I don't like giving people money for something and then it does the journey. It's not something I'm very keen on. I don't know if that makes very much sense. But at the level of, like, a uh, Orient, I think it would be okay. Try and do it on a credit card so you've got a bit of cover if things don't go right as well. Orient meant to be very, meant to be very good. Astro, well, uh... I'll try not to judge too much, but I'm about to judge though, but like proper clones of like Rolex or whatever, they are made by proper organised crime. It's not just like some, they're almost all related to organised crime, the, the clone watches. So they aren't ideal things to support, you know, like I really think it's not a wise move personally. Like there's quite a lot of watch theft going on right now. Imagine getting killed for someone trying to rob your fake Rolex, you know, that would be really silly, you know, like... Buy a Seiko or an Orient or a real watch and enjoy that because it's a much better watch and also it's not fake. <laughs> Amiga's great, yeah, yeah. There was some uh, documentary or some bit on the news the other day about gangs in London on mopeds, like having spotters in restaurants and then following people and robbing them of their watches, you know, so. Yeah, people are stupid though, you know. Anyway, on to the question, Dark Vet, sorry. Who is the most celebrated artist from the United Kingdom? Is it Paul McCartney? You can include music or movies. Uh, William Shakespeare. Maybe it's Shakespeare. 
Most things, most things have come from stuff like that, hasn't it? Uh, Huxker, I don't know the full details yet. Probably around lunchtime, 12-ish. You found a 16k Cartier, did you? EG, I'm returning it. Hey, <laughs> Neb, Wolf, there you are. No worries. I don't know who the biggest modern day artist is. That's a real tricky one. I, I'm, I think I liked some of the Beatles songs, but I obviously I'm they're, they're way before my time. I mean, I'm a, obviously their songs are huge, but I always found the Beatles a bit kind of meh personally, and I know that's a bit harsh. I like the songs when they're on the radio, but not not really my thing. I'd, I'd much rather prefer like Johnny Cash. I know not maybe the same time he was more fifties, but like if I'm going to listen to old music, I'd rather listen listen to The Clash or Johnny Cash or I don't know. They 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 were all talented, you know. They they were all talented. Even like George Harrison did some good songs on his own and stuff, you know. Like this is where the convoy would be. Unfortunately, it's now not there today. Ringo Starr maybe he hasn't done quite so much other than the Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> maybe he has and I haven't seen it but I heard it. Dear Experience, thank you. Regan, thank you for making me feel old. Pebbles, thank you for the two months. Shadow Boy, Regan, uh, thank you again. All of you guys, thank you. One sec, guys. Mel, uh, your granddad left you an Amiga from the 1950s. It would be really easy to, to find how much they sell for on a website like Chrono24. You could post pictures of it on, a, on the Reddit like other people have suggested, but Jambon's just given you a link there. If you go to Chrono24 and if you, you can filter it for Amiga Seamasters, you can filter it from roughly when you think it was made. You can then filter it by the colour of the dial and the case material. And then you just need to flick through maybe a hundred pictures until you see the watch that's the, your watch. You'll be able to do that real easy. The only thing to bear in mind is that when you're looking through, when you find your watch, it might be for sale at a dealer. So, although it's on Chrono24's website, they may be a watch dealer. So, let's say it's for sale for £1,500. That doesn't mean you can sell it for £1,500. It means a watch dealer might be able to. You might be able to sell it for 800 or or 1000 right? What you pay a dealer for it is not what you're going to be able to sell it for, obviously. And an Amiga 500, how much are they worth? I feel like 500 feels right, doesn't it? I should wear an expensive watch around town, then you can be the real running man. <laughs> I'd, I'd still be waddling. I don't restore watches, Gachu. I, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any technical now for stuff. I, I would quite like to do a little bit. Of, like I wouldn't mind doing a like a watchmaker's afternoon or something to really understand more about movements. I have a fair idea now, but nonetheless, I'm not. I don't know everything about everything, to say the least. You know, I, I, in terms of exactly how the movement work, I know I know a lot of the terminology, but I, I wouldn't be able to do it. You know. But the reality is, I I, uh, I don't have the hands like building something or, or repairing or servicing something of that small of a nature. My hands are not steady enough. To, I have quite shaky hands. I, I wouldn't be able to go anywhere near that. I'd never get the thing back together. Yeah, I've, I've seen some which, wristwatch revival. Their videos are good. Savage, thank you for the prime. 
you wanted to train as a watchmaker. It's kind of cool that you can do it, Rain. It's a weird thing, really, when you think about it. Sorry, guys. Boring talk, but I, I like it. So I'll bore you with, and you can stop watching if you like. I, I don't do that, though. I'll change the subject to something really exciting like football in a minute. <laughs> but the fact that you can train as a watchmaker, like, how often does that happen, really? You know, like, watches, wrist watches that, that require movements like that, that require servicing, are basically obsolete. You know, I, I really into it as an interest, but... They became obsolete pretty much when smartwatches, well before that, when, when quartz watches became a thing, you know, like like a G-Shock is a way better watch than any Rolex or Patek Philippe or whatever other brand you can think of. And it's much cheaper and then you've got Apple watches and you've got phones and all sorts, right? That a watch as it is now is obsolete and yet there's still people training in it, there's still companies developing it, there's still loads and loads of money being spent into R&D. On something that's basically obsolete about 50 years ago it's kind of weird that doesn't happen very often does it you know normally when something isn't it's like there's not like loads of people buying steam engines you know I know there's people really interested in them. there's one or two people refurbishing them and there's a few being kept alive but there isn't anywhere near the same I guess it's because they're so small and they can fit on your wrist it's a very different thing you know What is my taste in watches? Dawson, I don't really have a taste. I like kind of more classical looking watches. I don't like, uh, like, you get some really weird, weird dials and, like, all sorts of strange ways of telling the time and stuff, like MB and F type stuff. All way out of my, my, uh, price range, but I like just kind of classic looking watches. Don't really like square, just like regular shape. But beyond that, I like nearly any watch you can think of. Father, uh, well, it's a compliment, dude, but I don't know. I don't really sweat shit like that. Favorite, favorite steam engine? Uh, Stevenson's Rocket. No, yeah, they are quite, they are quite therapeutic. Nobody wants to pay for labour anymore and don't realise the time behind custom making broken parts so on. So it's not a family heirloom, not not much of a business. Well, a lot of people that train as a watchmaker CS Heart go to work for what for watch companies as well. They don't necessarily fix them. They're like, but you're right. Like, but there is a, there is there's a watchmaker in most fairly big towns. You know, there are they might do basic stuff like changing batteries and whatnot, but. There are, there are still quite a few, but a, a lot of the really good ones end up working for the watch companies. I think steam edges are possibly the most magical thing humanity has ever created. I tell you what's more magical than a steam engine. Watching that dude whose name I can never remember that gets like really excited about trains with his little fisheye camera attached to his head. What, what's more magical is watching how happy he is at seeing any train. <laughs> that, that's, a, he's fucking, they're infectious those videos. That's it, that's the one frog. Yeah, Francis Bourgeois, I don't know how to say it. PC specialist are Europe based, European based only, Christina, sorry. Penicillin is the greatest invention of all time. What about the ability to make fire? I like bell watches, Craig. I, I, I don't, I couldn't, set, like, off the top of my head, know what a bell pilot watch looks like off the top of my head, but bell watches look pretty good. Chris Pratt is magical. Uh, Dark Vet, thank you very much. Savage, thank you for the prime. And Addict, thank you for the resub. The electrical circuit is the greatest invention, but what use would that be without electricity? You know, that's that's like what what use is a car without the wheel? You know, like 
like surely electricity is a much more important invention. How to make electricity and transport electricity is surely more because without it you've got no like well, Gala Steve, as a technology that can be used, yes, it was, yeah. Harnessing it and, uh, like, you could say that the circuit board wasn't invented. It was just a, a way to move electricity around. The, the picture on your TV screen wasn't invented. You are being a bit pedantic, yeah. Sliced bread, by me. This is the only British person I will tolerate. Well, like, that that's harsh. And I guess it's good for me, Harrison, but that's harsh. <laughs> There's some good British people. Not everyone's Ricky Gervais, although I like Ricky Gervais, but... Whiskey is the best invention, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Christina, I literally just answered your question. They only ship to Europe. They're a European-based company. I, list I just verbally answered your question about a minute ago, maybe two. Whiskey or whiskey? Both are correct. One's from Scotland, the other is not. Hey Wilson, dude, you're right, man. Right, I need to get to the well fairly sharpish. Did that have a mag, by the way? Didn't really look. Oh, it's got a bullet, though. I think I'm going to drop that. I can't be bothered to keep I'm going to keep this. Casios in the 90s that could turn the TV over. So you mean a watch that had a remote control? I'll tell you for why they are not the best invention ever. Because little twats that had been given one of those watches by their dad for Christmas used to turn the sound up of the TVs in the window of the shop I worked in. That's why they were shit. Because little twats, little twats used to come into the store and then while you're trying to sell a telly they'd turn the sound up. It was probably hilarious for them. But my fuck was it annoying. Like, TV volumes can get disturbingly loud. <laughs> it was really fucking annoying. Uh, it was so, I, I'm sure it was a good laugh for them. But the thing is, when it happens once, the first time that ever happened, it was kind of original. But once you've had it happen 20 times, it's not fun anymore. You're just that douche. Or one of those douches, you know? Like, it, it's not fun after the first one. I think the first time I ever had that, I did find it funny, but never any more after that. I bet everyone felt like Tony Stark. <laughs> Mill Mauser. Tenant Mauser rounds. Right, we need to go to the well. I'm a bit disappointed I ain't got myself a uh, fifteen months of teen and watches talk. A water bottle. well spent TRMZ love. Now what you were talking about, Kensical. Why today? Oh my word. Whoa. I could really do with a scope and a mag for my savannah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, today, Kensical, we definitely haven't talked about fleshlights, your mum confusing a fleshlight for a cup and making you a milkshake in it, and masturbating with sandpaper. None of those subjects have came up. They were just on the tip of my tongue, is all. Did I watch Benny Hill back in the day? No. Uh, 
my parents didn't really like Benny Hill, and I was too young to be... Like, it was a bit before my time. I'm personally not that huge of a fan of Benny Hill anyway, but my parents didn't find him funny, so we didn't watch it anyway. Did I watch the young ones? Uh, replays. Bottom was my one. I, I think Aid Edmondson and Ricky, Rick May are like, I think of Bottom, not the young ones. Like, the young ones was amazing, but I loved Bottom. It, it was at the, I was the right age to really like it. I was, I think I was about doing GCSE's age when it was on the telly, roughly. Maybe I was about 16-ish. Uh... Bottom was my one, not not the young ones. That was I was a bit too young. Wilson, yeah, somebody was asking earlier about it, so yeah, that'll be good. When you get when you get it on Spotify, let me know and I'll. Have you ever closed your eyes and watched the different colours of red, greys, and black and wonder what the hell you're looking at? Crazy to think it's just the rods and cones of your retina firing while your eyelids are closed. Yeah. I've, I, I have some weird weird colours on. I had a, a, a yeah I I had a spell where I used to when I was much younger like sit there trying to change the colours in the, behind my eyelids. I had an exciting childhood. <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a spell where I could uh, like yeah like try like you you get like a swishing of colour when you close your eyes and try and make it turn blue or something. Magic mushrooms probably can help with that, yeah. Dark Vet, thank you very much for the support, dude. Rods and cones, cones and rods. I vaguely know what that is. All the rods are in the middle, and all the cones are around the edge. That's why if you look straight at something in the dark, you can't see it very well. Damaged, damaged. I don't think we need. And just like that, <laughs> probably not six thousand today. I think I think we're a little bit under that because of uh, because of uh, that new game. I think it's called to the day before. I did like Newman and Badil and the Mary Whitehouse experience. Yeah, I remember that fondly. I thought it was hilarious at the time. I don't think I'd like it very much now. But I like, you see that? That's you, that is, and all that. It was funny at the time. I used to think uh, Newman and Badil in particular were hilarious. Thank you for 10 great months of entertainment. Take they, care. They kind of split. I, oh, I forget, like, when you see Hugh Dennis now, he's on the telly, on, he's in nearly everything, right? That Hugh Dennis was in uh, the Mary Whitehouse experience, and it was, and they went on, and they became Punt and Dennis and Newman and Badil, didn't they? Newman and Badil like did stadium tours. They, they, they were big, huge. We're told I, could, I didn't get any kind of luck in Azalea today. I didn't really enjoy it much today, but I don't think it was the map's fault. I just couldn't get a run. Bell and Ross watches. Uh, Bell, and Ross, Bell and Ross watches look good, Craig. They do a, a range of chronographs called the Belly Tanker, I think. They look great. I think they look really good. <clears throat> I, I, I like Paul Whitehouse quite a lot. I have to say, I, I, it, it's an old man's TV show, but Mort Mortar and Whitehouse Gone Fishing is absolutely amazing I, I really like it I like I really liked the stuff that Vic and Bob did and Paul Whitehouse did when he was younger but like it would have been in the 90s about the same age as bottom maybe a little bit older but why I remember the fast show was on when I, I was doing my first job I'd have been about 18 and I, I loved it I loved the fast show so much and I really like that fishing show now it's so good I, uh, it's funny though, like, like, it's kind of sad in a way, but he used to dress up as an old man in a, for a couple of the skits, and now he is an older, older man, he's in his 60s, right? 
but he looks a little bit like he did when he used to dress up. You know, it's it's kind of weird. Like it's like it like things have come full circle. I remember Rent a Ghost. Yeah, I used to like the theme tune more than the the actual show. Royton, yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, I will try to. It's it's like on the list. Yeah, I really like Mortimer and White House. It'll be a shame when that show's cancelled. I know. I, I'm not saying. Well, I, I suspect it might get cancelled if one of them carks it. You know, if if Bob Mortimer keeps falling over. You know, but uh, yeah. Well. I'd seen Paul Whitehouse on Harry Enfield and Chums, and I used to, I used to quite like Harry Enfield. It was okay, and like I he used to be one of Smashy and Nicey, and there he was doing like he was like one of the bit parts. And then after the fight, fast show, it was now, it was then uh, the two of them more on the same level rather than like not, you know. But the fast show was just so much better than the other. It was much better in my opinion than the Harry Enfield equivalent. His his was good. But Harry Enfield was a bit before my time, and the, the characters, like loads of money and stuff, didn't really resonate with me, whereas the Fast Show characters kind of did a little bit more. I never really liked Little Britain very much, to be honest. I, I used to watch it, but I can't... I quite like Matt Lucas. I've never been a massive fan of David Williams, if I'm honest. I don't dislike him. I know he's had his issues more lately, but... I think I, I never really liked... And I used to find their humour a little... They used to do quite a lot of stuff on MTV before they did that show. I always found them a little bit cringe. Uh, Duck Missile, thank you very much for the 20 months. Some, some of the Little Britain stuff was, was pretty funny. Some of it was a bit... Eh, not that great. I think with Little Britain, it's probably a little bit like Avid Merian and the the stuff with uh, Bo Selector. I used to really like Bo Selector, but Bo Selector has aged terribly, and I think Little Britain has in some ways too. You know, like like what was funny then is not funny now in quite the same way. You know, and sometimes things are timeless, and sometimes things are not. You know. love to find a weapon cleaning kit and a scope for my I, I, let's let's go all out let's have a scope and a mag for the savannah and a weapon cleaning for kit for the SKS that that's what I'm after doing very well so far am I tragic Mike a lot of it was of its time I, I think I don't know I like some of one or two of the characters he does, which I thought was hilarious at the time. I don't know if I think they were as funny now, you know, like uh, in some ways. But yeah, I, I, I remember I absolutely used to love it. At the, like Bo Selector at the time, I just thought it was fucking hilarious. I used to particularly like the stuff with Avid Merian more so when he was like meeting celebrities and like absolutely uh, falling over himself about it and stuff, you know, like. The silly little interviews with the bear and that. God, there's quite a few zombies here. There's not normally there's not normally this many. I'm about to get shot, I suspect. <laughs> Doing very well finding a scope. one of the three things we're after. 
I'm going to use the whole thing. I don't want this gun getting ruined. Wire pan, I've been holding out. I'm not streaming it. It's been coming up a lot today, but I had no intention of streaming the day before straight away. Anyway. Like, it's definitely for me. It, it's not a game like, as a gamer, never mind a streamer. As a streamer, it's a game I should be playing straight away because there's an audience for it. I should be streaming it as a way to help my viewers and maybe find some new viewers decide whether they like the look of the game or not. But forgetting the fact that I'm a streamer for a second, I wouldn't buy a game like the day before without seeing if it was any good or not. I don't really, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a game pre-order that I have no faith in yet, you know. So I'm I, the same token. I haven't. I don't know what it's like. It's come out today. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I might go and have a look at how it looks. Someone streaming it later, and then I'll make my mind up, kind of thing, you know. It has no void. Well, that's the thing. A lot of people. It's crazy how... Let's try not to be too edgy, but let's go with it anyway. It's crazy how fucking stupid a lot of people are. People have been coming here and saying Daisy's going to be dead when the day before comes out for like 18 months. And the whole time I've been saying it looks nothing like Daisy. It looks like it's going to be more like The Division or whatever. It looks it looks more like a single player game with maybe a multiplayer element. And and like the amount of people that believe shit like that. Like, it... it I'm not surprised it doesn't have any VoIP. They never said it was going to be exactly Daisy like but they maybe gave people the impression that it was somehow, you know, like... I don't know how. State of my fucking trousers. I can't believe I've still got them on. There's no VoIP and you have to type to speak to the other person. Oh shit, what decade are we in? It might be a good game though, you know, I'm not... Like, but that's my point, I would... Like, if there's no VoIP, it's an instant no. no. Eating that. Eat, eat my daily potato, it might help things. That's at the military tents up ahead. No scope, unfortunately. So I've got three chances for a scope this way. I haven't got too much longer to stream today, guys, to be honest. So I'm going to go for this fight fairly quick. I'm going to quickly check the... Uh, there's some hunting things that are almost enough on the way that I can go straight to them on the way, but I, I've actually, at the end of this stream, I've got to spend an hour and 15 minutes watching uh, what will be Saturday's YouTube video. And Cooper sent me the draft just before this stream starts, so after I've finished here, I've got to watch the draft and then send any feedback to on Cooper and then record the narration, which might not include the Togorki bars on my... But anyway, it'll... Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've got another couple of hours of shit to do after the stream. Watch it at 1.25 and save 15 minutes. Buzz kill it's really hard to do that. I, I, it's harder to... Uh, harder to really formulate what's going on. And certainly certain things, like if there's a transition that's a bit wrong, or if there's something wrong in the edit, you don't spot it the same. I've, tr I've tried, believe it or not. But you make mistakes. And and it's how mistakes get in videos, you know. If you if you don't if you do that. So whenever I've watched a video, as long as I've ever been editing myself before, I've always watched it in real time because otherwise, stuff slips through that shouldn't slip through. Even just little things like, I don't know, there might be I might sniff and it gets picked up by the mic and I want it to be taken out, but that can get lost a little bit if you speed it up a little and stuff, you know. Just silly little things sometimes. Exactly. Proud.
I don't think I'm even going to overwatch because I've got no gun that's worthy of overwatching. I'm just going to go straight to the base and start firing SKS rounds if I can. I doubt the guy is still there. He may be. I've not been too long, but I think it sounded to me like shots at zombies, so he may still be there, but... Uh, there's a zombie in the hill there. That might be. It might Has be that he fired as a left. directions for their flashlight confusing? I am having trouble. Any tip? Uh, do they come with instructions? I hope it's not video instructions. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few Zeds in this. I think he might have fired in here. There's like four or five zombies all down here. I wonder if he shot a zombie just as he was leaving and then ran away. That might be what's happened because there's too many Zeds in this bit, I think. Nothing ever goes wrong when I go up these, does it? What the fucking hell have I aggroed, though? I think he fired from down there. Look at how many zombies are down there. They're not normally down there. I think we're going to go. I, I don't know. That's weird. I wonder if he fired as he left. He, he may well have done. Keep expecting to get shot from the hill. We'll try and get somewhere where we might catch him up, but I think that's what happened. I think he just fired as he left. A lot of people do that. It's not worth the risk to shoot zombies, but maybe if he was just like leaving, it's like, oh, fuck this, and shot the last couple and ran. But 
I didn't see him on the ground, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. They could have been like just in a little dip or behind a tree or whatever. At least we did get one thing from there, though. We, we got a scope for the uh, savannah, which is cool. If we go to the castle, we could potentially get a mag, and then we are properly geared again, except for the trousers. The trousers are a fucking horror show, aren't they? Might as well go and see if we can get lucky on the convoy being here, I suppose. They could have gone to the factory. There's, but given the time gap between the shot and them, I suspect they would probably already moved on from the factory by now. That. At the factory, there's really only two military containers that, that are worth looting. Maybe they loot the whole thing, but fuck knows what for. Unless they were looking for, like, stuff to bury, bury a, things in a base, maybe, or whatever. I don't know. Bury up stash. I don't know. I, I, I suspect it's less likely. It does, Andy Green. If you've got brass knuckles on, both punches count the same. So you've only got the knuckle on one hand, but it counts with both both punches. Has anyone else found the directions of their flesh like... Oh, I already, re I already heard that one, didn't I? Dude, thank you very much. Uh, Lev, thank you for the resub. Russ's Tanks, Dark Missile, thank you. Dark Missile, Ken Sickle. Uh, Addict, 2FX, thank you all of you for the support, guys. Thank you. There's no convoy. It would be just there. Let's come down just a touch in case uh, there's a little bit of loot on the ground. There isn't. What you did for charity the other day was goated. Also, do your gloves get damaged when you have knuckle dusters? They don't. No, your gloves don't get damaged when you've got knuckle dusters on. Either one. Well, you only... Your gloves can't, can only get collectively damaged anyway, but no, they don't get damaged. A, a knuckle duster is basically the same as any other melee weapon, really. It, it works. All swings connect with it. The same. Fraser, thank you very much. And it's what we all did, by the way. You know, there was uh, nearly 1,700 people, or certainly around that, 1,600 and odd people, nearly 1,700, I think, people supported the, uh, the fundraising. That's a lot of people, right? All in good time, Aaron. Too long, I say. Leroy, if you say so, I think it's, uh, I think it's eight years not enough. <laughs> Here's for the support, dude. Thank you. I used to like phone jacker. The one problem with phone jacker is it got a bit boring a bit quick. You know, like, like. When you're doing that, when you're setting people up with the sort of sketches like that, or you, you're ringing up, like, asking for advice, or you're being Terry Tibbs or whatever, it gets a bit samey, because it, it was the same thing, you know? It was, it's the same character, do it, or the guy that's ringing up, a, to, calling from your bank, and, and like, wants to transfer Ugandan dollars or whatever it was, you know? Once you've heard that phone call once, it's, it's funny as fuck. The second time, it's kind of funny. By the third time you're hearing a different phone call that's kind of similar, it's a bit dull. That that was the th phone jacker was it probably only wanted to be one season. 
Dutch roller. I, I, of course, it, I, I feel very proud of, of doing it, but there's a lot of people involved. You know, like I feel very privileged to be able to do it. I feel lucky that I can do something like that, but it it takes a lot of people to make it happen. You know, I know it sounds really like I'm, like I'm intentionally trying to be magnanimous or some shit, but it's true though, isn't it? You know, like it's not like I I gave Alzheimer's research sixty seven grand. I definitely didn't. Andreas, well, I hope you're good, dude. Thanks for coming in. Right, the train could be down here. We might as well have a quick look for that as well. Lord Vader, it, it's uh, 67,000 pounds, so that's... Uh, in dollars, it's about 85,000 or so, dude. So it's even more. But yeah, I, I, your sentiment is is kind of true. But I think there is there is value to it other than... Uh, there is value to things like that other than the fundraising, though, because it, like the subject of dementia and it being brought up to a large number of people isn't a bad thing, you know. It makes people think about it, make might make people think a little bit about their own health or their family's health or just making people aware of these things you know people really don't people think dementia is a, a really old person's disease in fact there was somebody on youtube that says i don't agree with this charity because I, I don't think we should be raising money for old people you know meanwhile there's people in their 40s getting frontal lobe dis d dementia and all sorts you know it's not just an old person's thing you know like but num that's by the by, you know, it's all well and good having that until it's your grandma or your granddad or your dad or whatever, you know. But nonetheless, it's a good thing to raise because there'll be, certainly on the day, there's lots of people that are aware of it from themselves and a family member. But there's an also lo a lot of other people that are thinking, fucking hell, this is so much more common than I realised, you know. And like, some people are lucky and they have, they've maybe got younger grandparents or they've got... It does raise it. It's a good thing to... Like any good cause. There's lots and lots of very good causes out there, but that's the one that I'm passionate about, I suppose, you know. But Forty years is ancient. Yeah, you won't feel that way when you get there, Kirkus. Fisto, thank you, dude. There we go. Chip chipper. Uh, Jacon, thank you for the nine months. Well, H, thank you for the five. Leroy, thank you for the six months. Salad, that sucks. It is crazy. It does affect people at younger ages, which is really, really sad, but Eisen, yeah, I've not I've not met anybody with early onset well I haven't known I've met anyone with early onset dementia, but it is incredibly uh, sad. Okay, that sucks as well, dude. Love say. Eventual demise, yeah. It's, it's a bit of a lottery as to where you live, whether there's much support or not. Like, with my dad, he really had to get, like, to the point where my mum just physically couldn't take care of him anymore before there was any, uh, any help at all. And he did end up in a care home that, uh, that was... NHS funded, you know, and we were very, very grateful for that, but it, it was three, four, five, probably more months beyond the point where my mum was at breaking point, you know, like, but nonetheless, we were still grateful to get it in the end.
I shouldn't be eating food here and just being blasé. There were shots at the last place. The guy could have come here. How about them watch wearing whiskey drinking footballers? <laughs> watch wearing whiskey drinking footballers. Apparently when they go, go away on European uh, football nights, they get robbed. Their houses get robbed. That's what I heard. That does happen, unfortunately, sometimes. Our loot spawn's pretty static on maps. Uh... You've got areas that are associated... This is an area... The castle's a hunting loop, so you can find hunting rifles, hunting scopes, and bullets for those rifles here. So you can get Mosin rounds, you can get 308 rounds, you can get Tundras and Blazes and Savannas. More often than not. Uh, so the loot is... It's not static as such. What can be, Like, sometimes you can come here and not find a single scope, not find a single gun. Other times every tower's got a scope and a gun in it, you know, so it's... There's a bit of potluck involved, but the the loot is associated to areas, so military loot in military locations and such like, you know, like. Do I like Talisker? Uh, come crawling, it's not my favourite uh, of the smokier ones. I'd rather have Lefroy at the kind of same money, personally. Uh, Talisker's okay, but I, I seem to prefer... Lefroy, or oh, there's another smoky one that I quite like, beginning with B, and I can't remember the fucking name of it. Uh, what's my favourite go-to snack that I can't live without? Uh, there isn't a snack I can't live without, but I do like crisps or chips. I, I am quite keen on them, but I can definitely live without them. But if it's an unhealthy snack, definitely that. Bowmore, well done, Lynn. That's exactly it. I prefer Lefroy or Bowmore personally. Uh, Pepsi, uh, there's 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 lots of things that can. I've uh, just gone back and read it. Your own genetic can definitely uh, have have a huge impact on whether you might get dementia or not. However, like you then then went on to say exactly what you said is is kind of basically correct, isn't it? But the li the lifestyle that you lead can have a big impact on whether you, uh, you potentially get it. Not not just because of carbohydrates and and excess body fat, but some people can be quite fit but have high uh, blood pressure, for example, but having high blood pressure can be a, a risk factor as well. Uh, and, and one or two other things. But yeah, certainly uh, how healthy you've been. I, I'm, I'm not been particularly healthy for the last 15 years or so, to be honest. More so this year, I've been healthier than I have been. But even things like alcohol consumption, you might not be uh, having like much body fat, but you might drink to a reasonable standard, and that can raise your, your blood pressure, and that can cause it too, you know, the alcohol itself can have a bit of it. The PU scope was damaged, I don't think I need it, I've got this for long range. I, I think I'm happy with the red dot on the SKS. First half decent bit of, uh, but yeah, I certainly, uh, like, in my family, my, my grandma, my dad's mum had Alzheimer's, my dad had dementia. Uh, so I am, obviously there's a chance. It doesn't mean I've definitely got the genetics from it. That's not how genetics work. I might I might not have it. I might be more from my mum's side of the family where uh, there is no dementia in the family. As my, well, there is very little anyway that I'm aware of. But who knows? It's certainly the life you lead. You know, my dad was 71 when he died, but he, he smoked 40 a day for 40 years. He'd been overweight for most of those years and... His health, he, he'd got type 2 diabetes, which is a massive uh, red flag for potentially getting dementia later in life, is is being type 2 diabetic. So it's one of the reasons why I've been trying to be so healthy this year, because I was classified as pre-diabetic two years ago. Uh, last year I was down in the risk factor, kind of just on the edge. This year I'm not classed as pre-diabetic anymore. 
I'm still going to have to have another test in a year and such, but my, my blood level went from 6.4 to 5.9, and then this year it was 5.6 or 5.5, I think. But anyway, it's, I'm out of the risk area and need to keep it going in the right way. Mr. Lynch, you're talking in code there to the layperson. I don't, like, what that means to, to, to me. It, I, I'm not an expert enough to, like... I'm not a scientist, dude. So what the main neurotransmitter and acetylcholine production or whatever, that, that that might as well be that that's like reading the script to the last the last series of uh, Loki. Just utter gibberish. <laughs> it, I'm sure it's correct, by the way, but I, 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 I can't uh, I don't know what that means, you know. Cheers, true, dude. Thank you. play official sometimes brandon official is a bit uh you're a bit more likely to get killed by a hacker on official so i don't play official as much as i play uh daisy on the community tab but you can still play vanilla or very lightly modded on on vanilla servers yeah. so I, I tend to play more survival daisy but sometimes this server's lightly modded so for example this sks mount is a mod you know, can't put this scope on this gun in vanilla Oh, my dad smoked a lot. He, he smoked. I'm 40 a day is underselling it, but my dad smoked a lot. He, did. he gave up. He got emphysema. He had so, all sorts of health issues later in life, obviously, as a result, as you would expect. But he managed to avoid the big C with his lungs, but he did really wreck his lungs. He had emphysema and his lungs were pretty bad. Anytime he got a cold, he was risking bronchitis really quite heavily and inhalers and all sorts. He wasn't asthmatic, but he was having to be medicated like he was because of what all the smoking he'd done you know but i guess that's the choice you make I, I think he knew for an awful lot of that time that smoking was bad for him you know he still did it it's that's his choice though isn't it you know he had copd yeah my dad had copd oh have a restart uh, baseball, blue bottle. Oh, uh, Max, thank you very much. Jacon, cheers for the resub. Guys, I think I'm afraid to say I'm going to take that opportunity to put that screen up. I think that's where I've got to end. Uh, like I was just saying, I've still got, I've been on seven hours. That's about a tiny bit more than I thought I'd be on, to be honest. But I think I've got to call it there. And then I've got to go and prep the video for. Uh, yeah, prep the video for uh, Saturday. It's probably going to come out. So I'm going to call it there. I think I am done for today. And I will be back again. I'm not streaming until Sunday. I know I used to release videos at, on 3, at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. But because I'm streaming Sunday, I'm probably going to drop this video that's coming maybe 3 p.m. on Saturday or maybe a little bit later, 5 or 6 p.m. UK time on Saturday. But there should be an edited video on Saturday. I'll be back again on Sunday from uh, a little bit earlier, actually. Me and the missus are going down the pub on Sunday night, so I'm going to be on about, I don't know, 11.30ish on Sunday, and I'll be on for about six hours from then. Uh, cheers for coming in, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Not the best day today. I've added a little bit on my YouTube channel. I've added a like a best of uh, stream section, so the streams that are really good will be on that. So today's stream, for example, won't be on it because <laughs> it's not been the best stream, but we've had three streams in the last week that have been really good, so there's there's three decent streams on there if anybody wants to go and have a look at one. I'll be back again on Sunday. Have a good rest of the night, guys. Thanks for coming in. There's many streamers you can watch. Thanks for checking out my stream. Appreciate it. Uh, take it easy, Twitch. Take it easy, YouTube. I'll catch you next time. Love you. Bye.